All right, we're here, we're here, we're here. Let me just check a few things out here. Make a few adjustments. I guess uh, first things first. Let me mark out my levels right quick before we even do anything. Mark out the old levels. Then we'll get Tom on here. There we go. I'm gonna make an adjustment to my camera. Gotta make room so we got time to throw Tom got room to throw Tommy on here. Make myself a little smaller. Alrighty. I'm calling Tom right quick. Calling Tom. What's up, Tom? Yeah, good morning. It's eh, it's not so bad. I mean, I was I never sleep good the uh, night before these streams. I don't know why. Good morning, Predator. Yeah. All right. Let me. I'm going. You you got a screen share. Or or not or at least camera share whatever it is share your camera. Maybe I'm gonna have to do the uh, virtual camera. Hold on, because my camera was flickering last time. Let me hold on, hold on. I have a virtual webcam. I'm gonna start it. All right, can okay, you guys, uh, can somebody confirm that you can hear Tom? Hold on one second. Uh, let me know, uh, guys. Audio output capture. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let's see. There it is. Confirm or deny you can hear Tom. Sasha, good morning. Lubomir says, yes, Tom is, you can hear Tom. All right, all right, all right. The problem is uh, now it's sharing my screen, but I, it might have been better if, it yeah, only shares can, my you can only do yeah. the camera if you want there's an option there yeah i can i can do that but i think it's gonna be flickering so, um i'm just you. changing it now it doesn't matter however you want to do it i mean i can work with both yeah trying to switch but it's not working out hold on so okay. you're currently in a trade looks like long yeah i'm call. in the long on nasdaq yeah hopefully going into that one hour order block that's what I'm aiming for. Looks like the Asia highs are. Did we just double top right there at the Asia high? Um, could be. Can't tell could if we be. took them or not. All right. <clears throat> Morning, I'm not... Lyman. All right. All right. So I'm not. <clears throat> methodical <throat> man is here. All, All right. So stream, I just methodical okay, man. I... Is... No, tried just, to put okay, this I, camera right, but it's not tried to put this. Can you guys hear really the methodical it's man not, over there on Tom's? Yeah, not really it's, it's, it's methodical, methodical man, man all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me try something else. Just a second. Let me try something else. I'm gonna turn off the virtual webcam. I don't like this uh, driving me crazy lately. Why in the heck does my charts do that? Do my what? um my trading view keeps signing out. It oh never, really? It's never done that before. I guess I need to click the remember me. Um I mean completely or from just you have some trade await connection or something? No trading view, it's just um my normal connection. Oh yeah. Well <coughs> that does that happens sometimes. All right, we got five minutes until blast off here. I yeah, think we yeah. run through the five ten. Uh, Tom has his TP at five twenty four. Let me see what he's seeing there. And then let me also check this double top and see if that's actually a double top or not. Just checking on Quine Tower. 
the high on that candle, 509.50, the high on this candle, 509.50. Now let's check the ES and see if we have a bearish divergence here. It looks like we might. Yeah, the ES has already ran the Asia high and the NASDAQ did not. So something to note there. Wait. Hold on, let me reload because I might. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at that wrong. Never mind. Never mind. Stupid charts. You always got to reload them. All right, so either way, I'm right. ES did run the Asia. And the NASDAQ did not. We're so very close, you would expect us to, but the ES is also pretty close to the Asia low there. Good morning, JX. Gorwal. Good morning. Uh, Southside play in the house. It's own. Yes, it is. It's own. It is own. So, anyways. Maybe we run through that area right here and open. We'll see. No, my name is Alan. Alan, Sasha, no John. Erkan, good morning. Let the show begin. All right, let me... uh. Let me get a link to Tom's channel here. We're going to post it up there. If you guys don't know who Tom Sabo is. If you don't know who Thomas Sabo is. Uh, let me find the link to Tom's channel. So if you guys aren't aware who Tom is, there's the link to his channel. Get over there and hit that subscribe button. I don't think I can hear Tom right now. He must be exit the call. I don't think I can hear Tom right now. He must be exit the call. No, I mean, I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? No, I can't hear you. I can hear you on your stream, but that's it. Can you no, hear me I can't now? Hear you. I can hear you on your stream, but that's it. Oh, my God. I expect God. kind of a blast right through the like 0950s here at I Open. I expect kind of a blast right through the 0950s here at Open. kind of want to jump in, but usually... Yeah. I kind of want to jump in, but doesn't work well for me when I do that. Usually doesn't work well for me when I do that. You guys can hear Tom? Oh, okay, maybe I just can't hear him. I don't know why I can't hear him. Can't hear him. Maybe maybe there's something at your side. I can hear you, but um Well, you guys can hear him because I'm turning him on my headphone, turning them off and on. Yeah, that's why. Cuz I keep Tom and I keep turning Tom on in my headphone. You're not in the uh, chat anymore, Tom. That's why. You're not in the call. Let me end it and recall you. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. There we are. Um, Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. All right, there we go. Right. Blasting through the There we go. There. Okay, the only... Thing that that's left is actually to to share only my webcam but it's not working out if i switch it all around i'm gonna mess it up i don't know because tom is not I, a uh mechanical no, i kidding. am not <laughs> i am not i absolutely not so so you can just put me on the speaker and so the guys won't be that much disturbed <laughs> but no i can throw I, you i can still throw you on the screen i'll, I'll do it in a minute don't worry about that. Don't worry. 
the thing is the main thing the the best thing is we can hear each other that's all that counts you know i can throw you on there in a moment it's no it's no big deal i got you all right <clears throat> Dude, what is your channel's uh, address? You have to or... go to the channel to get it. Yeah, I, I, I went there, but where is the about, about section or whatever? I just want to... You have to click on copy. the uh, click on the name. Oh, there you go. Okay, I I get it. Oh, I, okay, okay. You see, I'm I'm super. I'm I'm so good in this kind of stuff. I'm very good. Very Actually. good. Excellent. All right, Tom, what do you so, think? So you think the draw is higher? I wanted to take that entry there, but just as, you know, if I would have taken that, it would have pulled back. I want to enter uh, that. Well, I think, actually, um, if we go out to the uh, one hour, um, I see a bearish order block, and the top of the order block is at 570, 570-ish, uh, actually, 71 maybe. Let me see. The top is at 571.75. So that's the top of the bearish order block on the one hour. And the order block starts at at 521.75. Now, before that, it also it already tried to mitigate, is, is that a word? Mitigate the order block uh, mm -hmm. at 520, 526.25. So uh, I'm in this trade. And if somebody wants to go in this, there's a good take profit level, I think, at 526.25. But I'm in this, um, hold on, I'm in this trade since 490, but I'm willing to exit at 524, actually 2475. Yeah, the order block, which starts at 21, is also a good target, but I think this should break the previous high at 26.25. That is a very, I mean, I would say it's a high probability target at 26.25. I'm going to exit at 24 just to make sure. That's my target. But right. uh, if, if you want to enter here on this pullback on the one minute, if anybody wants to enter, it could be good. But, you know, a risk reward, I mean, you should put your stop way down to... 490 ish area down there you know because it can as you can see right now it's pulling back down again so yeah. you know what i'm going to do if it closes below this one minute right i know <laughs> i know i know <clears throat> that's your thing so, short we will short yeah 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 how am i not surprised that they're always go against each other on these scenarios but you know <laughs> I'm going to try to get the pullback here. How do I put your screen on my stream? Or how do I do that? I can actually do that somehow, right? Yeah, you can just do a window capture and you can uh, list capture my stream and put it up there. That's what I'm going to do. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm going to do. Right. Good idea. So I'm going to take a short at 507 if we get a little pushback. Normally, I would already just jump in. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try to take a pullback entry here. Which is going to be, I'm going to be mad if, you know what, I'm going to jump in one. Order filled. And then we'll mm -hmm. take the pullback entry on the other. Yeah. So market sell, limit sell on that one. Uh-huh. And I will target... The 82s. Stop will go to break even right about now. All right. Uh, man, I, I'm, yeah. Now I'm a little bit pissed off because of this drop. <laughs> I'm still in profit, <laughs> but oh man, I'm a little, I'm a little bit pissed off right now. This was a very strong reaction here. Um, I was really, really hoping that I will get something here, but oh man, this is just not going to be, I think it's going to break through the, these lows, very, very high chance for it. So I might even close this yeah, manually. I'm going to target the Look 82s. At this. Yeah. Yeah. It will. It will. I think this is such a strong move, impulsive move. I think it will go there. It was crazy how beautiful it was, and it just, you know, in one 
minute or less it just turn around like that yeah i moved my stop down i'm gonna lock in 165 and then nice i really shouldn't though to be honest i should just lock in say 100 i think it goes down uh, to the 83 as far as it looks right now i think it's just gonna burst through 82 and then it's just gonna go where let me see next sell side is at 74 it can easily go there. There is a small liquidity void at uh, 501. I don't know. Maybe it can reprice it. Uh, uh, the one I, don't, I don't know if I just want to break even, stop this, or take the 115. I guess it's... I moved it down to 115. Mm -hmm. Order filled. We'll just take the 115, I guess, and then we'll... Uh, We'll see if it pushes back up here. I may re-enter, but probably going to be. Oh darn it! I didn't even notice. Is that um? Yeah, we're bouncing off the VWAP. I should have just left it at break even. My bad. Your your rules prevent you from trading until Thursday next week because there are no clear structure visible. Oh, <laughs> there, Eric. Oh, oh. Well, that's a good rule. Nothing wrong with that. Good morning, EMH. Yeah, I didn't want to miss that trade there. I think we're going to hit the 74s. Yeah, there's a very high probability. Uh, if I look at the uh, one hour, this was a clean rejection. And uh, the only way it can go now is really go south. So... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of minutes it would be a very quick drop, like 20 points quickly. I'm still in the trade. I don't know what to do. I'm in break-even-ish area, so I don't know if I should close it manually or just hold on to it. There's a very small chance that this one is going to hold right now. So yeah. uh, we closed. I, think I, should... um, I mean, if it were me, I'd probably close the short, but you know, it could go either way, right? But yeah, I think yeah. we're going to sweep the... You know how I like to play the Asia range. Yeah. So. Yeah, this was actually a very <coughs> nice move here. Sweep of, the, uh, sweep of the Asia high and then target the Asia low. I should have just yeah broke even, stopped that. My entry could have been better. I really could have entered at 504, but I don't think I got in until 501. And then uh, I was thinking of a retest because uh, I think I think it will go down to uh, eighty two for sure at this point. At least it looks like it. But you know, well, we're out for one hundred and twelve bucks times three. So on our three express funded, still in drawdown on those, but that's all right. Hmm. Won't be much I can do here unless it pushes back up. So let me go yeah. ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get Tom. First of all, let me make an adjustment here on the, my screen. I want to I wanna put your screen out there too. I just have to make sure that window capture is on. Okay. Uh, let me do it this uh. way. Kind of funky how you have to do this, so. There it is. Well, I'm going to put you on mine, so I don't know if you're going to. But the video feed is not coming through from your YouTube. Why is that? Because, oh, yeah. I don't can't, know. I, can't, I just can't do that. Man. It's all right. I'm going to put you on mine, so no worries. All right, let me go. Window capture, we're going to go. Window capture. Maybe it's because of the of my video card. I don't know. Yeah, Tom, it's your terrible video card. I'm, I'm terrible, yeah. I know. I know. Try, uh, still trying to figure out what this wants here. Uh, is it going to break through that 72 level? I'm sorry, 82 level and then go to the 74s? I wonder. 
or or what <laughs> or what's gonna happen here hmm seems like we had this drop but it doesn't really want to go through i mean es is dropping which is it should be pulling nq down so yeah trying to get tom to fit up here in this section here <laughs> So you I'm guys trying, can, you can see what I'm he's doing. I'm trying to figure this out. You know, I'm trying to read this somehow. But I think it will go higher a little bit. Maybe reprice at 500. But it's so hard to read at this point. This drop was really unexpected. There was no news, actually. Oh, yeah. That's so, what I was uh, going to check a minute ago. I, was, I forgot what I was checking. No news. No news, absolutely. I mean... I was trying to. But what do we have this morning? Is there news this morning? Like uh, unemployment claims in the U.S. session, but London session, nothing really. Um, UK GDP, uh, UK GDP, quarter on quarter. Nothing special, really. But that was like. I don't know. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm, Still wait. trying to decide what's going to happen here. It feels like it's just building up uh, momentum and it can also go back up there. It's a little bit tricky. I could just shrink this down to uh, Tom's head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this. And just put his head over here. Maybe that's what I do. Yeah. Or you can just... Leave my voice on, and it's it's also good. And if Tom in enters a trade, then I'll uh, then I'll make him bigger. <laughs> yeah, Je yeah. <laughs> and just do the opposite, and that's it. Now we don't want to do the opposite. All you have to do. We don't no, to I do mean you just have to fade me, and that's that's all that matters. That's I don't try to fade. <laughs> that's me. how you make fade you. That that's how you, that's how you make money. You know, pretty violent drop, exactly. Illuminati illuminated. Good morning, Dennis. Uh, Zach Zabak. There's only about 180 contracts inside that drop, which is odd. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how long I'm on my five top. They're all funded. Well, Urkon, these are funded now. I only have this one says ineligible. I don't, they never, they didn't, they said they were a lifetime reset but they'd never reset them at the price. So I don't know, but these are all from the fire drill. So I passed all three and funded them and they're all in drawdown about somewhere between six and 800, $900. So we might, um, eh, you don't know. I don't know. We might run some, uh, we may run some, uh, aggressive trades on one of my express funded later maybe we might do it for the uh, uh what you call it the unemployment numbers for fun yeah so we passed all of those and then we uh we funded those and then we're just we took a max loss hit like the second mm -hmm. day trading those so unfortunately that's just kind of where we're at but That's just where we're at. Well, you just have to wait this one out because it's kind of strange. I mean, this drop happened. It's not really going down furthermore from this area. And I still don't know what to do. I closed my uh, position at a break even, so I'm just waiting, trying to figure out what to do with this. And well, yeah, the ES kind of quadrupled bottom there at 300, 302, and it was mm -hmm. only one tick off from the Asia low. 
So yeah, yeah, we yeah. could get a bullish SMT here and maybe want to run higher. Um, yeah. Potentially. Would like to see the ES I'd, sweep that low, though. I do, like, I do like the one hour. I mean, it feels bullish on the one hour chart. Still feels like uh, NQ wants to pop higher to break that 526 level. But I have no entry. So, yeah, on the um, on my other, you know, like I got, we could, like I said, we could full send one of these. Um, I, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I might full send a top step on the numbers at 830 and then uh, full mm -hmm. send maybe a Bewley or something. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll see. Let me look and see uh, what time the news is. I think Tom looked a minute ago, but I'd like to pull it yeah, up. Yeah, there's so. going to be news at 8 30 and 10 a.m pending home sales pending home sales yeah 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 uh, i mean the pending home sales are going to be at 10 a.m and revised and have, uh, consumer sentiment. we also have pmi at 9 45. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so pmi 9 45 um yeah pending home sales so we have news 8 30 9 45 and 10. yeah 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 i think we run through here like i said i want to see the es push back down here let me run back through these equal lows here at 89. i don't know if nasdaq sweeps the asia or not it probably does yeah it has a high chance for it uh, it's like only yeah. like 15 points to NASDAQ. It's nothing. So it can easily do that. Yeah. I think the same thing, uh, Rich, I probably should have just left my stop at break even, but cause it would have been stop would have been somewhere around the five Oh one, I think on that trade, but the Asia low is 74 50 or somewhere in that area. So for the NASDAQ. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't know if we get to the Asia low. We'll see. Greg entered a short. Let's go, Greg. Yeah, nice, Greg. Okay, okay, good morning. Tom, are we full sending anything today? Um, at the um, New York maybe, Open maybe. Or... Maybe, and the New York Open, we have more volume, I think, and I'm going to do something crazy there. I think so. That's my plan for now. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys saw that uh, Apex extended the 80% off in the one day pass. I was a little disappointed. I wanted them to hit the hit us with the 90% uh, in one day pass at least for today. Oh yeah, yeah. That they, that would have been didn't. awesome. Yeah, they didn't do it. So I did pass uh, five Apex 25k accounts yesterday. Nice. So I'm considering. Doing five more today. We'll see. It sucks you into another combine, Riley. Let's go. Uh, got to do what you got to do sometimes. Exactly. Trying to watch what ES wants to do. Yeah, I would definitely keep an eye on ES here because if ES sweeps the 30250, which is only a few ticks away, one point away from. Yeah. Then we could get a bullish divergence here. We could get a push back up. Could get an SMT. So let's see. Yeah, that's why I'm watching too. Uh, of what what is ES doing right now? But the way it looks on the ES right now, to me, this little push up that we have here is probably going to give us enough room to at least sweep the seventy fours, maybe even. Mm -hmm. I mean, the eighty twos, maybe even the seventy fours. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very high chance. Very, very high chance. Because I think we sweep that area just to come back and, uh, you know, maybe come back up here. We kind of left equal highs at 514s as well. Mm. I don't know if they're exact, but they're pretty close. Yeah, they're definitely close there. Pretty much just going sideways, ES. But uh, as you said, it should be just a few ticks to go. Uh, 
I don't know. Let's see. If you guys haven't already hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Once again, if you're not subscribed to Tom's channel, please go over and hit the uh, like button on his channel and also give him a subscribe. Guys, try to pull up both streams if you can, if you're watching one versus the two, because right now, this is the only way. <laughs> uh oh, it looks like my OBS is disconnected. Is my internet acting funny? Come on. Come on. All right, it's back. So my only concern, some concern is these things sometimes do this. He was oh, long, yeah. seven micros on the opening price. Now in the shorts from the lowest fair value gap because of our side divergence. Already protect your position. Nice. What's up, Dylan? Trade your plan, not your emotions. Looking for a nice short today. Yeah. Yeah. Komodo Dragon, those who don't know, you trust Mr. Meth. <laughs> Push many hours. Yeah. I'm a machine. I try. <laughs> I try to be a machine, but we're not really a machine, let's be honest. We're not a machine. If I were a machine, here's the thing, Tom, one thing I would like to say, if yeah. I would if I would have entered this short with full position, then mm -hmm. uh then I would have taken one off at 10 points there and I'd still have a runner on, but I only entered half position, which is kind of disappointing i was waiting on i was trying to be logical and i was like it's london we'll probably get a pullback yeah yeah and the one yeah. time i look for the pullback it just doesn't happen ah, well that's how it is sometimes i do have a couple of accounts uh, that i would like to pass this week um <clears throat> well we have this my funded futures 50k you know if i pass this before the 6th of april it's there's no activation Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a very good thing to keep in mind. And then also this um, 30K, which the 30K doesn't have an activation anyway, so that's not really a concern. Mm -hmm. But, um, Tom, have you heard about the Flexi trade? Uh, I heard about um, someone on the chat posted them. Uh, I, I saw that you tried them out and you already found it with them, right? Yeah, I just sent one in one direction and one in the other. Mm -hmm. uh, but they did not send me an invoice yet to pay for the activation fee. So mm -hmm. I'm not activated the account yet. But that's uh that's a brand new prop firm, right? Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, you would think that they would have sent an invoice already, but they didn't. So maybe at the US open hours, who knows? Buenos dias, Rafael. Buenos dias. Yeah, we're pretty much stuck here uh, right now. The question is, is it going to go down below 82? If it goes down to 82, we're definitely going down to 74. Oh, Rodion says he has FlexiTrade PAs. There's a link in the dashboard. Oh. Okay, well, let me check that out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, PA, there's a link. Okay, okay. I was waiting on an email. Um, a link in the dashboard. <laughs> well, I don't see a link, but... It might be because I can't, maybe I can't see the entire screen. Target reached accounts. <laughs> hmm. Greg enters the trade and uh, start start price move sideways. Yeah, that's me. That's what happens to me. <laughs> oh, okay, activate. I see it there. I see it. Okay, then. So it's kind of like the same at Bulanox, right? Yeah, Bulanox. You have to. What's it say?
It says the rhythmic contract agreement must be agreed to first. All right, where's that at? You know, Beulah Knox, they send you an email. They'll they'll send you an invoice. Price definitely died. Oh, yeah. Somebody pulled the plug again. So not much to do. Feels like it wants to sweep those lows. So, um, yeah, but... Yes, slightly going higher on the one minute, not too much, but that doesn't look like it might want to retest the uh, VWAP there on the ES. Yeah, yeah. NASDAQ definitely stopped here. That was a very dirty drop. I was in a beautiful trade and boom, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, well, once it swept those Asia highs, I, I didn't want to say anything because I was hoping it would just run through your target. But yeah, I was... yeah, I was very confident that that's the thing. But yeah, I mean, See? usually we don't really get that sharp drop right after the Asia highs. Usually it tries to form some kind of a structure before it starts to drop. But now it's just boom, went down crazy. Yeah. Could you reintroduce your guest? Oh, yeah. Rodion, do you know where I signed the uh, forms at? Do I go into R-Trader Pro? Because I don't see where I signed those. Oh, yeah. Rodion, uh, this is Methodical Man. For, sorry, guys. Methodical Man is also streaming every day, London and New York, mostly New York. And uh, we trade differently, but, you know, he has some awesome trades, awesome strategies. He's funded with many prop firms. And he's really doing something special there. So go check his stream out. Uh, link in the pin message right there. And yeah. So sometimes, actually, this is the second time we do something like this. We just, you know, do a joint stream and try to analyze the markets, take some trades, and most likely fade each other. That's it. <laughs> I don't know why it's um, not letting me. It's being weird. Being weird. I'm trying to pay the activation fee because I want to get that thing to funded level as quickly as possible. I see some volume popping in now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't really know what to think of this volume coming in here, but uh, definitely interesting. Could be a fake out, trying to lure everyone into some long position then, positions and drops. Tomorrow is a holiday, yes, illuminated. Yeah, so if no I understand markets. it correctly, there's going to be no trade on futures, right? So no market open, absolutely, right? Yeah, no market open tomorrow. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, relax. Uh, do we have a link for what? Uh, Tom pinned my link for my YouTube channel at the top of the chat there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's methodical man's channel at you the top. Do. Okay, you got an email with the link. I didn't. Uh, Marco, I passed the twenty five k. I think I don't know. Was it was a twenty five. Let me see. Yeah, I think I just did the twenty five. Dennis, good morning. Good to see you, Dennis. I don't. I didn't see anything in the email. The only thing I saw was let me check my junk. Let me check my junk folder though. Maybe it went there. Retest and drop. Yeah, it could. Um, market won't be open until one p.m. tomorrow. NASCAP got. I don't think so. I think I don't think it even opens up uh, at all tomorrow. But. That's from what I'm hearing. I was going to do a short stream tomorrow, but then uh, someone said that. You can do a that, backtesting stream. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. Or I could just take the day off. I will be on vacation or next you, week. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to hmm. be on vacation. Yeah. Nice. Leaving on Monday, April the 1st. So, Joaquin, we took a quick short scalp for $100. You see my, you should see my P&L up there in the top green. 
Um, Tom took a long duck dong before I got on. I don't know if he got out for break even or profit. I think somewhere. I, I got out. I got out of break even. Yeah. Yep. So I don't see anything in my jump folder. Flexi trade. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Maybe they did. Pending signature pending. All right. I guess I just didn't see that. I did not see that. Dude, I type. <laughs> All right. Initials. Is Flexit le Trade legit? Well, all we know is that a, it's a new company. Methodical Man is already funded with them, but I really don't know too much about Flexit Trade. But yeah, I'm just all, all I know is new. I'm trying them out. Um, like I said, just to kind of take one for the team here, just to see if they pay out. So we're gonna get it to. We're gonna try our best to get it to pay out, and then um, we'll wait and see if it actually pays out or not. I mean, I would assume they would, yeah. but, you know, I don't really know. It sounds like um, Don Rodion is already funded with them. I don't know if Rodion's taking a payout or not. Oh, there's the drop. Oh, yeah. We could be seeing some. I mean, this one uh, should be taking out that maybe even 74 down there. I mean, it failed to go higher. That's clear. And um, I wonder if it might try to claim that Asia low down there, which is at 74. Let me check it. Good morning, Max. Cute pets and animals. How many contracts did I use? Um, for Flexi Trade, I used three because that's all they would allow. I think it was like 101 ticks or something like that. Marco's going to wait for Methodical Man to get a payout. Well, we'll see. I'm going to try my best. We're going to give it the old college try. Max Kaufman, good morning. Kaufman, good morning. McLovin's in the house. I mean, we kind of have low resistance liquidity here to the left, right? Um, yeah. Oh. So kind of this. And this 74 level is not far, so I think it has a good chance. It shifted down on the one minute once more. So it would not be a big deal for it to drop down to 74. Uh, the $100 trade only had one contract, cute, cute pets. I uh, normally take two, but... You know, R three ten. Do I trade full time? Yes, Tom and I both trade full time. Yeah, yeah. we're a couple of local bums. <laughs> Something like that. Look short from the five minute gap. Well, let's hope that uh, it will go for you. I mean, it, it, there's a good chance for it to drop down, especially if I look at the one-minute NASDAQ. This one just shifted down again. I mean, looks bearish, but, you know, it's hard to predict. But it looks bearish. Yeah, SMT. Yeah, there is an SMT right now. This is... Kind of tough to read, to be honest. I mean, I expect this to move lower, but there's yeah. a chance that we don't. Yes, sir. I mean, the Asia lows in. are definitely uh, Asia lows are definitely around 74, 75. So, um, the question really is, the market wants to take that out or not? But uh, ES looking very bullish here, though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely is. <clears throat> well, I guess it's bullish as a five point four point move can look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
I'm kind of tempted to take this long. You know, it looks good, and and you know, especially if we're targeting those order blocks, order block highs on the one hour. But it's tricky because this shift down on the one minute, and we have the Asia low so close, and we're still at the midnight opening range. So that is why it's hard to read. No clean direction yet, and um, but it feels like it can be a dirty move. Like it can just pop higher again and take out those. 520-ish levels. But, um, yeah, so it's tricky. <clears throat> uh, McLevin says, what do you do when NQ inverses a gap but ES fails to do so and bounces? I'm not watching the ES for inversions because the ES inverses back and forth all day long. There's no real rhyme or reason. So I only use the inversions on the NASDAQ the nasdaq so i only watch es level to level so i'm watching it at vwap you know midnight open asia high low so i'm just using levels just for confluence on the es and watching for smts that's the only thing i'm doing with the es that's all we're doing yeah 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 I do kind of expect this area right here to hold. I expect us to move back down, but the market doesn't always do what you expect it to do. No, I mean, it, it, I mean, now it feels like to me that it just wants to pop higher. I mean, uh, let's pull out our friend Fibonacci. Let's see what he says. Let's see. So if we make it to equilibrium on a pushback up, which we almost already did, to be 501. And 504 would be OTE. Mm -hmm. It's funny because it feels like a much bigger move than it is, right? We're looking at eight, nine more points up. It's wearing yeah, pretty, yeah. I'm pretty zoomed in here. We're in a pretty tight range. Absolutely. And it feels tricky again. I mean, it didn't really drop and maybe everybody wants to go short and they're just going to squeeze everyone into the order block. But uh, I don't know. Rodion, this is your go. first time seeing me trade. Am I in the U.S.? Yes, Rodion. I'm in northeast Georgia in the U.S. It's currently, uh, what time is it here? 4.39 a.m. Optimal trade entry. Thank you, Illuminated. Yes, Riley. So basically, it's just the percentage of retracement. You can just say it's a 61% retracement back up, 62% if you want to get technical, whatever. You're from North Florida. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to uh, Fort Lauderdale um, Monday. So be kind of in your direction. That's awesome. That's awesome. Be there for a week. I'll still be streaming. No stream Monday because obviously I'll be traveling. Uh, but I'll be still be streaming the uh, London and New York while I'm there. Just be a little shorter sessions. What time is it over there, Tom? It's 9.40 a.m. So it's very, very comfortable for me here in London. <laughs> so Tom has the light shining in through the window. I, yeah, I have everything, guys. I <laughs> know. He's getting a tan sun. right now. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm over here in the darkness. You guys can't tell that it's dark here, but it's it's very dark. I was thinking about to use a green screen so I can do all kind of magical stuff in the background, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know don't even need do. a green screen for that, Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just I need the hot tub and the penguin suit. I know. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a green screen anymore. I, I got rid of it. So I'm just using, uh, I just use that NVIDIA broadcast. Oh yeah, NVIDIA broadcast, yeah. That does magical things. Jamal, good morning. Good morning, good morning. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Once again, jump over to Tom's stream, subscribe there too. Same thing to Tom's people. If you're not subscribed to Methodical, yeah. man, come yeah. on over. Yeah, yeah, Hit yeah, yeah. Button. I forgot to tell that. Go check out his channel. It's on the it's on the pinned messages up there. So go check him out. Give him a sub. 
Let's do this together, guys. Tom, I don't know. What do you think about this three-minute gap? Is this going to hold? Well, uh, this bearish three-minute gap, I think it's not going to hold. That's what I think. You think it's going to rip? Gun, yeah. Gun to my head, I think it's going to rip. Yeah. Well, I, I will long duck dong that probably above there. Um, I think it's going to rip. I'm watching that. I think it's going to rip, definitely. There's not I'm, really a I'm, gap. I'm the, there is a small five-minute there, but it's not very obvious. I think the three minute is the most clean. I don't know. I don't know how we don't run this low resistance liquidity here to me. That's the trick. Everybody wants to go for that. And now it's just going to rip higher. Yeah, <laughs> it could course. be true. Could be true. I, I assume that many, not just retail, but institution level, everybody's eyeballing that gap down there. Oh, let's go for Asia low, and then it's just boom, goes, takes higher highs. But it's just, we're just speculating here. You look at the one hour. I don't normally look at the higher time frames. Bro, Dion, thank, you, thank you so much for dropping in, and uh, thanks for being here and for the info. Have a good rest until then. <laughs> thank you, Rodion. <clears throat> oh, Rodion lives in Australia. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Illuminated. Sometimes they telegraph a rock and flip scissors as you play paper. <laughs> it's just rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Yeah, you know, it it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Illuminated's over there in Japan. I think McLovin's in... McLovin, you're in Japan too, right? Pretty sure they're both in Japan. So uh, amazing. Many people get it around from all around the world. Like, wow. R310, have I gotten top stuff payout? Yes, I have. <laughs> I think, um, let me check my account right now, R310. There might be a top stuff payout in there right now. Because I requested one a couple of days ago. Oops. There you go. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. You know, that's uh, gambling money for when I go on vacation. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're a pro gambler. When did you play poker last time? Uh, It's been a couple of months. Oh, really? I thought yeah. like only in the days or something. Well, no, it's been a couple of months. Uh, Let's see. No, no payment in there yet. That's okay. Yeah, I don't get to go because uh, it's... Too often because you know it is two and that's two hours and fourteen minutes away from my front door. So mm -hmm. I use the fifty k account R three ten, the fifty k account. But I closed out the other one that I had um, because I have these on. Um, I have these on Top Step X here. So closed out the oh. other one. Just took the money okay. out. Now, now it could be going lower. Yeah, I mean, Interesting I, drop. I expect it to go lower, but like, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah. I don't know that there's an entry unless I just took it off the three minute there. You got to chill at the one minute or higher and keep you out. That's, you know, man, scout God, you do whatever's best for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we got 69 viewers. Nobody do nobody move. Nobody move. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's going to go lower. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, the ES pushed back up to OTE there. Uh, NASDAQ did not. So could just run lower. I don't really want to just jump in on this even though I think it's going to go lower. Should. I should, I think. I think if I did jump in on this, a stop would have to be, yeah, you'd really have to have at least a 10 point stop here. <coughs> yeah, still looking pretty strong. Bounce off the VWAP there on the ES. Same for the NASDAQ. Mm. 
He has his edging higher, so, you know. He's trying to trap people here is what he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to trappy trappy. It's a trappy trap. So what time is it? It's 46 minutes in, and, I mean, we've only really only moved about 15 points, maybe 20. Oh, yeah, it's it's not doing anything special here. Now that it's having a hard time pushing higher, I mean it would re I mean <laughs> it's it's hard to read. But why is not why is it not reaching down to at least for the eighty twos and then we would have some confirmation to go for the Asia lows, but Yeah, illuminated. Know. It is just idiot boxing, but we renamed that. It's no longer the idiot box, it's the <laughs> Tom Sabo box. Oh yeah. It's my personal personal brand. <laughs> the Tom Sabo person. box. It's my brand. Where's um? If we find, I'm gonna at Sugar Bear today, because Sugar Bear, he has something going on that he's gotta he's gotta change his YouTube name if we see Sugar Bear in here today. So we'll show you guys the Sugar Bear guarantee in a moment. Sugar Bear guarantee. <laughs> anybody anybody that was here yesterday knows the Sugar Bear guarantee. Let me find it. I like that phrase, Sugar Bear guarantee. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe maybe we didn't get there. Did we, though? I thought we did. Yeah, we did. Where is it at? Bob's saying the 30-minute looks short. Let me check. Well, 30-minute, everything looks... I mean... All right. Here we go, guys. This was the Sugar Bear guarantee from yesterday. Do you guys see it? If we hit 18470, Sugar Bear was going to change his name... And there's his new name, Captain Cock. <laughs> so we got to get him to update his name today. Because we hit that 470 before close. So Jared from Live Traders, it's better to be right than be first. Yeah, true. <clears throat> so yeah, Sugar Bear, when you get in here, we got some updating to do. I'll never see Sugar Bear again. Um, it's 4 a.m. Eastern, cute pets. That's when the London technically, well, that's when I say it begins. Some people will say 3 a.m. I don't know. I you know, it's not now it's now it's special because there's going to be a daylight saving shift uh, at this weekend in Europe. So we're going back to regular kill zones from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. So once it, so it's going to spring forward in uh, London as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. This weekend is changing tomorrow, I think. So Monday session will start back at 3 a.m., right? Yeah, Eastern. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Better to be out exactly. of a trade wishing you were in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Illuminated, that's a good point. Uh, it, once you get into a trade, you just sit through. I mean, like, if I was already short from the 500, I'd be fine right here or whatever. But, you know, I just took my little five-point scalp. Thank you for sub, Nae Ong. Thank you so much. Camille, what's up? Who is Jared from Live Traders? Mm, not really sure. You got that pop up? Let's go. <clears throat> In and out. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, we're holding that three minute gap pretty strong there, so I don't think that's a oh, bad yeah. area to uh, short from, but. It's not really my model. It's not what I do. But you could. Yeah, for now, um, we're still just ranging here. And the logical step usually would be to take out the Asia lows. Yeah. And then if it takes it out, I would go for those highs again. But this is just coin flip right here. You could kind of get a little better than a 1R if it retests that three-minute gap because your stop has to be about 17 points and your take profit to be about 25. Mm -hmm. So if it pops back up. Yeah, I like I use ATM strategy illuminated, but like I like to still – during London, I like to look at levels. I don't know why. During New York, I do the same thing. Um, I'm just looking – like in New York on my PAs, I look for 15 ticks with larger size. With larger size. Thank you for the sub. Tom, I see the devil in the mirror. 
What? In the mirror, you might trade. What are you talking about? <laughs> I see the devil in the mirror. My trades suck. Don't there you all. I mean, why do your trades suck? Don't tell that. Oh, you do 44 it's just, in New York? It's all just speculation. Yeah, there's not much to do here. We're just going to wait and see. I mean, if we retest yeah. the three minute, we might. I stress the word might, might take an entry, but. Right now, I don't see anything special happening. Uh, it's very close to Asia lows, actually. It's like 15 points away. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if it wants to sweep some liquidity, it's very close to do that. But that can be also just a trick to lure everyone into shorts. And All right. ES is right there. Yeah. Doce de Ben Cal para su vida. Alessandro Nunez. <laughs> Welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thanks for the <laughs> subscription. You the man. Let's go. All right. I'm sure I butchered that, but <laughs> I gave it the college try. It sounds legit, so I think you did it right. <laughs> Uh, YM just went up 64 points. Wow. Pure Vida. Like Pure Game Vida. Over. Black Beauty, I like that new avatar you got there. It's uh, That gun's pointing straight at me. Maybe it's always been like that and I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, I was I was trying to figure it out too, and I like that. <laughs> Black Beauty, that is uh, the name of her gun. Oh, okay. It's, it's Black Beauty. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. The name of the gun. The name of the gun. She will shoot you. <laughs> if provoked. Max, it's too early in the morning to be trying to bark. Yeah, I mean... Probably, what do you think, 5 o'clock, we just get a quick flush down to the 74s? Uh, maybe. I mean, at the hourly close, we should see some some movement, but um, I don't know. It's really hard to tell at this point. One hundred twenty three sell orders at four ninety six. That's a lot. Does my younger brother smoke weed? I, if I had a younger brother, <laughs> I don't have a younger brother. I have an older brother. He does not smoke weed. Banana and mayonnaise, south side. I like it. That's one of my favorite combinations. I don't smoke, Sasha. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I'm just an overall, just uh a boring person. You play poker, hey. <laughs> yes, we do. We gamble, but we don't smoke or drink. Yeah, you gamble. Yeah, yeah. Tom, do you smoke or drink over there? Oh, well, I could tell a lot of stories about that. Not now, actually. No drinks, no smoke. But hey, like 15 years ago, I was a complete idiot moron. So I drank, I smoke. The but uh and the rest of it is a secret <laughs> tom i got news for you yeah yeah what just kidding okay <laughs> <laughs> uh oh uh, why am i not up on my stream did i turn myself did i turn my camera off what's going on i don't see myself on my uh screen there what happened <clears throat> what happened my camera What's malfunction. Happening? Fert says, no smoke or drink usually means sex addiction. Well, you're getting there, Fert. You're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Why do I not see myself now? Sex 
sex edition. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be the case. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Let's see. Well, now we have a slight drop here. Apparently, um, I don't know why I'm not up on my thing there. Tom's hacked me. Uh oh. I, I did. I did actually. So it is what it is. All right, now we're going. We should just run right through the seventy fours here, I'd imagine. Well, I don't know. Are you sure? ES is back below the VWAP and it's dropping like a rock, so Oh, what is happening? Are we going for the 74s, really? Yeah, I kind of wanted to jump in, but I'm not going to. I mean, are we really going for the 74s? What is going on here? Oh, yeah, we're going to hit the 74s. I think we even go lower than that. Hmm. That's interesting. So if anybody took that three-minute short set up there, it's paying. It's paying. Well, it's retracing now, but uh... yeah, it looks like we can reach lower than that. In my opinion, based on how the ES looks, we'll see here though. Play the Donald Trump informational <laughs> to troll me. <laughs> I'm Maybe. not doing that now. I think everybody's bored of that. Greg's TP is the Asia low. Let's go, Greg. No, Fert, I actually never drink. I got drunk one time in my life, and I was like, who would do this more than once? So you can tell it must have been a bad experience. Must have been a bad experience. I mean, if I was being aggressive, I'd just jump in here, but, you know. The market can manipulate you here and put you through some stuff. We did just bounce off a pivot right there at 85 on that push back up. I'm going to unplug my camera and plug it back up right quick. For whatever reason, it's like I think the camera froze when the uh, internet blinked. So let's see here. We can do it without moving it too much. Um, <clears throat> I plugged it back in and it didn't come off. Oh. Mm. So the question remains, uh, is it going to break the 74 or not? It's very close. I think it does. All right, we're back, although the camera's kind of. All right, good enough. Hourly close is in right now. Okay, have a spike up there. Oh, I Let's do see. it just like that in that scalp guide, just like that. Thank you, Southside. What do we get here? Anyways. Okay. Hmm. Should I take a risky short here? Why not? Order filled. Well, well, you can go it. aggressive. Call we'll, it. Um, but, yeah. We'll take a risky short. You guys aren't here for me to stare at the screen. And if we end up red here, we just blame Tom. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's that's what happens usually. <laughs> oh, nice job, Sasha. We'll just enter aggressive. Yeah.
Yes, pushing back up here. Maybe it want to retest the VWAP. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, who knows? <clears throat> or it can go back to, I mean, NQ can go back to midnight level and just continue to hover there. But... Mm. No, we don't want it to go there. That's where my stop is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 12 hours absent. We'll be here. We shall be here. Tom, how do I get my account upgraded from evaluation? Which platform are you talking, Camille? Uh, if you pass it uh, at Bulanox, um, there's a menu you can request um, your uh, master or funded account. What's it called? So there's a menu. Past evaluation request. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're asking Bulanox, Apex and my funded futures are emailing you uh, to pay the activation fee and top step as well so we get back below this wick i'm going to break even stop this thing because below that apex wick, is going oh, apex go is going to email you camille yeah yeah below this wick we should just run right through the 74s and so i'm comfortable with the break even stop there if yeah. we're going to you know if we're going to go yeah yeah Well, let's just see what happens. You shared the link to Market Talk on Discord, my Fund of Futures Discord. I kind of want to see this thing stay below the uh, 85s there, below that pivot. I mean, that's 74.75 74 is the low there, uh, which is really close, and that's why it makes it a little bit tricky. But... Um, since what's the time it's 5 a.m eastern standard time so if it really wants to take it it should take it in the next uh hour i mean until 6 a.m it should take that if that's really in the cards so it might be a slow run but uh it's like so close to it i mean usually if it's a, it's a few points away i don't know but um uh, we pop back above the pivot strong. I'm probably just going to kill this. We'll see here. Mm -hmm. Not going to give it too much rope. Yeah. Obviously, the ideal scenario would be a quick run through the 74s. But when you enter a trade, that's never what happens. Yeah, that's <laughs> always different when you do that. I mean, yeah. For right now... Uh, this can be also just another trick to lure in a lot of shorts and uh, starts to squeeze them higher. Tom, to I don't want to be. Everyone. I don't want to be squeezed, man. I don't want to be squeezed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens, man. <laughs> no worries, Camille. Rebecca, hey there. Thank you guys for saying gold earlier. I won my yo really third trade ever. Let me give you an applause. It's still new. It's good to see more ladies who are trading successfully. Congratulations, Rebecca. Do you trade NQ in Asia? No, not really. Uh, it's moving slowly. I know some people are trading NQ in Asia. Uh, I don't know if I would have the patience for it or the nerves. Tom, you can't just gloss over that B. Livingston comment calling you handsome. Oh my god, I totally, I totally, I was blind. Morning handsome, thank you so much. I was totally blind there. I was watching the chart. I mean, one second I watched the chart, the other second I, I watched the stream, I mean, the chat. I'm blushing. I'm blushing now. All right, I think I'm going to kill it. Order filled. Yeah, we, this one is. Uh, we tried it. Yeah, this one is tricky. 
This one is tricky. Look at this. It's just that's, gonna that's pop. what happens when you try it. Um, mm -hmm. when you shouldn't. When you shouldn't exactly. What a bummer. Yes to the moon. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Kind of retesting the VWAP there. Yeah, the question is, is it going to be enough for it to act as resistance and drop it? Leslie, I missed my entry time. Oh, go ahead. Sasha's. No, 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 no. It's nothing. You're nice. short from 96? Well, not me. Sasha is. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, the wire, I can't, I don't know what's the word because we're pretty much ranging. I exited with a break even trade earlier. And since then, I was tempting, I was tempted to uh, jump into some aggressive trades here, but. Gotta be honest, I got a little bit confused, so I'm just trying to read price action and trying to figure out when to pull the trigger here. But um, it's hard. There's and, a sell side at 74, and it's not taking it. And to be honest, he's only confused because I like to confuse him. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. The Tadical Man is always saying the opposite of what I do, so... <laughs> This is just not. <laughs> but, we, a, uh, we had a structure shift on the one minute chart, Tom. What do you think? Uh, I don't even know what to think anymore. I, I, I don't think. I don't know. But so, yeah, we did have a structure shift, but it's. Um, so I would I, consider this as a minor structure shift, so I don't trust everything here. 88. I mean, I don't know. We traded back up into a three-minute gap, right? So let's watch. I'm just going to kind of think out loud here. We traded back up into this three-minute gap. If you guys are short, your take profit should be at least partially at 74. But your stop loss, if it goes above the 500s, you should be out from this trade. So um, no reason to hold it because it can pop higher to the 515s. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm watching. Um, there beyond that 506. So we swept, we swept some liquidity here. We tapped into a three minute. So if this does inverse, I think we hit the 74s. That's kind of what I was just thinking out loud. Um, watching, yeah. Yeah. but conversely, if that three minute doesn't hold, then we probably are just moving higher. The scantological effect. <laughs> Very scant. Could go either way. Is London easier to trade? R310 in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's a slower market. So as far as analyzing it, um, it it's makes definitely. it easier. Yeah, it's, uh, the moves are sometimes cleaner, but it's slow. So, uh, hmm. so it really depends on your psychology. Mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens here if you guys haven't already hit the like button for us subscribe we got the link to Tom's channel pinned in the top of the chat there so jump over there give Tom a subscribe as well and a like yeah, same goes for Methodical Man as well. Guys, check his stream out. The link is up there. And uh, just follow him, subscribe, you know. Maybe we're going to do... 
We're going to do another one like this, maybe like next week or something. Who knows? No Jerome Powell. Yeah, that's true. They're in London. There's no Powell. No Papa Powell. Yeah, there's no Powell. No Powell, which is a good thing. New York gives you five seconds to decide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot of time to decide sometimes. I'm good with the less time. The less time, the better. Tom, did you eat breakfast yet or what? Yeah, I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had my breakfast. I had my coffee. I have. I had everything. What so, do we, what do we have for breakfast? Just the usual sandwich, you know, with salami and uh, yeah, <laughs> with cheese, a, some sal paprika. A salami you know? sandwich with cheese yeah. for breakfast. That doesn't sound yeah. like a breakfast to me. Of course, it's a breakfast. It sounds, it's, like, a, it's, it sounds like a lunch. <laughs> lunch. I, I eat that for lunch too sometimes. <laughs> Breakfast over here, you know, in America, we we you do, you know, like pancakes. Yeah, you know, pancakes, uh eggs with cheese, bacon, sausage, there you go. biscuits. There you go. There you go. You gotta keep us plump. Mm-hmm. Sounds like something Captain uh, Cock would eat. <laughs> I love pancakes, by the way. I love I love pancakes. Oh, uh, all right. Well, here we go, guys. We're getting a move here. I may take this short again. So when I go visit you there in the U.S., I want to eat pancakes all day. All right. All right. We'll go to IHOP. All right. International House of Pancake. Gr great. <laughs> I'm going to camp there. Uh. I mean, I don't hate the short setup, but we'll see what happens. I mean, this one minute gap is not very obvious. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing I would say. It's not very obvious. We also have that pivot right there at 85. 84.50, 85. Per day, R310, I usually average about 10-ish. Somewhere in there. Depends on the market. Yesterday, I think I took four. And so if we're in a choppy market, I take less. But if Tom's on the stream, I take more. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right now, it's just super hard to decide what the hell is going on. So, we're in this range, and you know, I really don't know. You've gotten funded, but you haven't gotten to pay out. Yeah, it's just a grind. You'll get there. It's a process. It's a grind. It's a it's a process. Definitely, it is a process. Order filled. All right, I'm gonna jump in here. I mean, if this one um, goes through right this level, I mean, yeah, right here at 82, 81, then this attempt should be successful to finally break the 74. I mean, chances are high. So, yeah. I want to see us get back below this swing at 78.50 and move quickly through that area. That would be ideal for me, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. The swing here would be my break even stop as well, 78.50. Actually, yeah. Seems reasonable enough. Actually, probably, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take one off at the 78.50 area. And then uh, break even stop. 
Yeah, I'm going to kind of just take the low-hanging fruit here. I mean, it's pretty close to that 74. Uh, it's just like right now it's about five points down. I mean, it should be breaking lower, I guess. Stops in at break even Order here. Fill. So we're out on one. Can't lose on it now. Just going to target the 7450 on that runner. Just try to take the low hanging fruit if we can get it. I would have preferred price to just sweep right through there. Instead, of course, it's doing what it likes to do and be a little bit dirty. Yeah, it likes to do that, definitely. Almost ready to take out 74, 75. Uh, R310, I use Apex and Bulinox. They're both good. Apex has the edge because of the 20 funded accounts. Bulinox is very good because of the cells that they have. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're both very good. They're both very good options. So Both very good options. Order filled. Boom. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Booyaka. Booyaka. What now we can expect to see some uh, clean directions after this one. Anybody else take that IFVG trade right there? I mean, it was an A-plus setup, really. We pushed back up to OT of this price leg. We held a three-minute gap. We swept some liquidity, and then we inversed the one-minute. So, to me, this was an A setup. I like it. Nice trade there. Thank you, sir. So, that puts us up 268 times three. So, 268 times three, all on three funded accounts. Still in drawdown on these accounts, but, you know, chip it away, chip it away. That's all you can do. Exactly, exactly. So. Appreciate you. Nice job, server Thanos. Let's go. Enter short. You love higher time frames, so this nice, is what's happening nice. daily. Yeah. I think, um, Sasha, the higher time frame is easy to, I mean, like, it's better for level to level, but. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You hit your trailing, still ended up in profit. Let's go, Muhammad. Nice, nice. Someone called out the 60s earlier. I think I mentioned earlier that we could certainly go lower, and I was considering maybe leaving a runner on until there, but, you know, price is sometimes um, unpredictable, so. There is a 15-minute order block starting at 61. My level would be at the body of the candle at 55, so it can go down to 55, I think. That's the 15-minute order block. So. Yeah, you have the up, up close candle there at the order block. So, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Could and, be going there. And the ES just bounced off the Asia low. Didn't take it yet. So, wanted to short from Asia high, but the structure isn't my model. Same thing with me, Muhammad. Like, I, want, I, sh I did short from up here, um, but I moved my stop too quick. I did actually take that one minute short up here i think i entered around 501 and so like that's kind of the the problem i have sometimes i move my stop too quick just to lock stuff in but stop could have just went to break even it was never in danger um, we never made it back to the 501 and then it hit the target but look at that it's still going down so it's going to hit the order block i think at 61 Seems to make 62. sense. ES still has not ran the Asia low yet. Do I trade Asia? Asia is too slow for me. R310 can't do her. Yeah, that's slow. That's slow. I cannot navigate the Asia. Now, to be honest, I've never tried, but <laughs> I I see the price action and I'm just like, nah. Especially um, sitting through some of the New York price action the last two weeks has been like I'm trading the Asia, to be honest with you. The chop. Yes, the take chop the high, is real. Uh, Muhammad. Yes, took the high already. Three hundred eight was the high, and it just took the low, so we may not hit sixty two. So it took the high at uh, two one fifty one a.m. Now I I mark out the Asia high and low between seven p.m. Eastern and midnight. So you may mark it different, and that might, you know, 
some people market different than I do, but but to me the ES took the yeah, well, it's all different. Yeah. Right now, if it takes out that fifteen, I mean, if it taps into that fifteen minute order block, uh, I would definitely be looking for some long positions. Although, if we zoom out to the one hour chart, there's still like yesterday's low below i mean below yesterday's low there is still a fair value gap uh from a one hour candle but i'm i'm gonna say i'm bullish on this one i want to see the one hour order block up there at 521 <clears throat> to be reached again and also one of the things we don't want to see we really do not want to see price back below 61 because that is yesterday and the day before, well, yesterday's chop zone specifically. Like, this is just complete chop in this range. Well, we don't want price to get back in this range. It's not going to be good. We could just pull back in here and just do the same thing. We don't want that. So I prefer it to kind of stay out of that area. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if price wants to close below this 15-minute gap here or not. That'll kind of be our indication, right? If it closes yeah. below this on the 15-minute, I think we could see these wicks down here. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to wait for a structure forming on the one minute uh, because I'm bullish. So I just wait a structure and to break it. But... Since we're approaching 6 a.m., we could see volume slowing down again. I don't know. 62.5 since Americans love quarters, I guess is what you're saying. Or quarters? Quarters? Thanks, Erkan. Uh, Greg took a W. Nice. Congratulations, Greg. The next level down I have on the ES is at 52.99. We're pretty close to that, but we don't have to hit it. Yeah. I'm going to kind of watch the five-minute chart here. It's the cleanest. It's got a single fair value gap in the leg here. I think if we, if we hold this 15-minute and we close back above that five-minute, we can... Be pretty certain that we're moving up. We're moving on up. You got to oh, wear yeah. your dress whites yeah, tomorrow, definitely. white mild. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> got to put the tie on. You got to put on the monkey suit. Tom, where's the penguin suit? Get that thing on. Uh, the penguin suit is for special occasions, but I might put it on. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. When's the wedding, Tom? You got a fiance. When's the wedding? Oh yeah, the the, the it's gonna be um, well. There's two dates actually. The uh, one is maybe at September or early October, or maybe we have to postpone it a little bit to next year, March or April, maybe something like that. So we're still figuring it out, but actually it's getting close. We have to make some decisions here. <laughs> oh, Navy chief. What, what's the deal? You're making decisions or she is? Well, most likely she is, oh. <laughs> but you know, in the rest of the stuff, I make the decisions, but I, I let this one to her. <laughs> yeah. Tom has a fiance. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, I, I have. And, uh, and they are always, always debating when we should do the the big day but you know it's just uh it never i mean we're we're planning it since like i don't know like a year or one and a half year something like that nice so we definitely mild. have to we appreciate we to... you tom we're gonna dig into tom's yeah. personal life a little bit here how long have you Hoy? been dating how long you've been dating uh said girlfriend fiance 
Sorry, she was just asking something. What what was again? <laughs> how long you've been how long have you guys been dating? Oh my god, we are together since the beginning of times. So we are together since almost seven years. Oh nice. So so yeah, I think it's about time that we now now <laughs> She, she was asking because she's cooking a lunch and uh, she's using all kind of equipment in the kitchen. So she's asking if she can turn on the oven and we have not just the oven, we have that. How do you say this in English when you cook the food on the electric? Uh, what's that called? A cooktop? I don't know. Yeah, stove? maybe. I don't know. Yeah, stove or something. Stove, oven, whatever. So all kind of electric stuff have to work together. And, you know, we have a super perfect 22 century fuse box. So if you put everything on, everything goes off. So if she turns everything on and if my stream just cuts out, then you guys will know that we're cooking lunch and that's it. <laughs> the power just goes off. That's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, I actually have a similar problem in my house. If I use the air fryer and the uh, microwave at the same time, it will flip the breaker. Oh, there you go. So that's what's going to happen now. So I'm just going to go out for now for a brief minute. I'm going to tell her, all right, turn everything on. I'll be back here. And if you guys lose me, then you will know this happened. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. This, this is a risk I have to take right now because if she can't cook the lunch, because then I'm going to be... I'm, all hell is going to break loose if she can't cook the lunch. <laughs> you, you just ate breakfast. The salami, I know, but the salami to, sandwich. What are we having for I lunch? I know. We have to prepare for lunch, guys. You know, that's how it goes. <laughs> man, I've, right. eat, I've eaten nothing so far. So, Oh, man. I'll be right back in one minute. <clears throat> <clears throat> that's what happens when you use the air fryer and the toaster at the same time. Breaker flips. Yeah. it's. I don't know why they do that, but mine does that, too. I live in an old house. This house was built in 1972. So... um. It happens in my house, too. All right, now that Tom's gone, uh, tell me what you guys really think about Tom. You're going short now. Want mild? I don't know about that, man. Good luck. <laughs> I hope it works out. <clears throat> now, Greg, I don't drink at all. If I go to Vegas um, and the alcohol's free, then I might have a drink or two. But, like, I can literally remember the exact last three beers that I've had. So, I drank three beers when my former brother-in-law moved to South Carolina, like, 2016. Those are the last three beers I had. <laughs> you need to get a Hungarian girlfriend to come and cook for you? Let's go, NASCAL. You can find those anywhere. Doesn't have to be a Hungarian. All right, so... All right, so the fiancé said she's turning on everything in the kitchen. So, that means, guys, my... I, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe in one second, everything is going to turn off. So if you lose me, you will know. That's she's, what happened. Uh, she's turning on everything, including Tom. Everything. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and she's in the kitchen cooking naked. So uh, I might have some duties to help her. <laughs> so. Tom will have oh, to yeah. leave. All right. 61, 62 just got hit. <clears throat> so there you go. It does feel like we could even move lower. ES is at 301 right now. But I would kind of anticipate this level maybe holding. Like I said, I don't really want us to move lower here just because of the the price action we got in this area recently, yesterday. I mean, she, she needs to turn everything on because um, she is cooking... Um something in the oven i don't even know some chicken and she's also making uh some uh, stew is that the word um you call it the short from soup. four soup 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 he's she's making soup 90. she's making oven uh, she's making some chicken in the oven and she's also making something else so there's like three different kind of foods is in the making so yeah nice job walters Loot, it tickled you, but no exit. I probably would have front run that by a tick or two, that 61, 62 area. I mean, we'll probably make it through there, but. 
Tom needs to put a sausage in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, are you guys planning on having kids? Like I said, we're diving into Tom's personal life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kids like, oh, my God. Uh, I'm, I'm terrified if I think of that. But, yeah, <laughs> it seems like we're, we're going into that scenario, too. Yeah. So, kids. Oh, yeah. Kids, kids. Yeah. We're planning to have kids. Definitely. Definitely. So, Tom, do you know how many kids I'm responsible for? Uh, no, no. I think you mentioned it, but I forgot. It's more than two, right? Maybe. Yeah, it's uh, at it's, least it's two. Two, time, two times four. Two times four. That's eight, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's eight. So. Eight kids. Oh well, well you know that <laughs> is uh, that is quite a responsibility. <laughs> It yes. really hurts, says Tom. Enough of the food talk. We're making him hungry. <laughs> Volker, is it possible in my channel and Discord to learn your strategy? You can learn the uh, the strategy just uh, by watching me every day in the lives. There's nothing special about it, Volker. It's really very simple. <laughs> yeah, he just flips, flips a coin and you know whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that that's how that's how he trades. No, I have uh, eight kids. I'm responsible for. They're not all mine. Uh, my girlfriend has. All right, let me do the math. She has three of her own. Her um her first husband passed away. Oh and so she has three from him and then she adopted her niece and then we have one together. And oh. then uh and then uh me and my ex wife have two together, but she also had a child before we got married that uh I take care of. I've been in her life since she was like one. She's twenty years old now, so wow. So, so technically, uh, biologically I have three, but I'm responsible mm -hmm. for eight. So. so you used to do those uh, family vacations with the RV or something? Oh, we have to rent a full-on bus now when I go, like a huge 12-passenger uh, van. Oh, wow, nice. So, so when, yeah. I, when, I, when, I, when I imagine you doing that, I, I, I imagine that movie vacation, you know, that's how you do it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's expensive. You go out to eat, it's a couple hundred dollars if everybody goes. Oh, wow. Look, Sasha says, good luck, Tom. I was married. It sucks. Worst six months of my life. <laughs> Worst six months? Well, Sasha, I can tell you, and maybe it's going to um, be very strange and uh, out of nowhere, but I was married once as well. It it, it lasted for two years. So uh, I married my high school, uh, high school love. And uh, it was the one of the biggest mistakes in my life. So, uh, yeah, that that was that was crazy thing to do. I was actually so glad I got out from that marriage because it looked good when we got together and immediately got married. And after that, we knew that okay, this is just this is just very bad. So, man, Tom, you can't use those kind of words. I mean, it was it was. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. Thank God we are separated in in friendship, but it was a good decision that we we separated early because we did not have children or anything. But it was a good decision because we realized that that it was a huge mistake. Totally Here. different uh, personalities. So here's anyways. my here's my little man. He's only he turns a year old tomorrow. So this is him. Let me check. Hold on, because I'm all over the screens here. He turns one tomorrow. Oh, look at look at that. He's got bright blue eyes. And my girlfriend oh, has man. blue eyes. And there's my smoking the hot boy. There's my smoking hot girlfriend, guys. There's my there's my girlfriend. Come on, zoom it out. Huh? You can't see. You can't see anything. This from is that her when we were, she point. was pregnant. So, mm -hmm. all right. We were in nice. California. Oh. We, were, we were at the national title game for Georgia. There. Wow, that is that is awesome. That is awesome. And obviously, she makes uh, tumblers, right? So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that is great. Look at him with the finger over here, Tom. See him in the pumpkin. Hold on, hold on. He's shooting a bird. Check him out. Oh yeah! Oh my God, that is 
It looks like yeah, it wants to eat that pumpkin. <laughs> she does stuff like that, guys. You know, you can't you can't control women when they get stuff like that. But hey, if she wants to eat that, I mean, <laughs> wow, that is that is just great. That is just great. Anyways, price is ripping. It is. We got to pay attention. Thank you, McLovin. He looks like a John too, Sasha. <laughs> Oh, here is one picture somewhere. Oh, it's not a good picture. Let me let me show another picture. Where is a picture from me and my fiance? I'm I'm gonna try one that is already photoshopped. So, uh -huh. not much okay, for so me here, to do. But let's see. Here's one picture of me and my my uh, fiance. So, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I have other pictures, but. But yeah, so oh, nice. um, being on holiday in Croatia, but yeah, no other pictures, I think. The other pictures are adult only, so. <laughs> you can show those too. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Not even YouTube, right? <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. <clears throat> Well, what is what is um, price doing right now? Uh, I think it's just retracing back into this uh, five-minute fair value gap, and maybe go down. I would like to see it go down to that fifteen-minute order block. Actually, <clears throat> Tom, you filthy female magnet. <laughs> Tom must have like twelve-inch incher at least. At least. No, we can't talk what are you guys that. talking about? We can't talk about that without about? his uh without his fiance in the room to confirm or deny because you know a man's <laughs> that, gonna that, a man's gonna go. lie. Oh oh yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> it used to be a twelve inch he just made a salami sandwich. <laughs> now it's <laughs> nine inches. Come on. Oh, uh, Oh, guys, you guys and your dirty fantasies. So let's see if the ES kind of turns that Asia low into a little resistance here. Maybe NASDAQ does the same thing, 74. Mm -hmm. Maybe push back up into that area and then kind of continue to sell down. It's too low for me to take a short. I would only really be interested in longs here, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So I don't really see anything that clean for an inversion setup. There was a very small 30 second. I mean, very small that you could have taken, but that's very tiny. And we're not trying to be that aggressive. Well, I would like to take a position, actually. I was looking to go long, but as, as much as I... I mean, on the three minute, it looks nice for a structure shift, but until we, I mean, we have this 15 minute order block down there. I'm still bullish. If I go to the one hour, uh, I'm still, I'm still bullish on the one hour. I just want to see it go higher, but uh, especially because ES, I mean, all time high, where is all time? All time high is at 320, uh, 53.22. So it's like 20 handles. And if we're anticipating that we can have a relief rally, as this is the last day of the week, I can imagine that if ES starts to go higher, then I want to see NQ pulling up too. But... <laughs> oh. It's not the size of the bore in the rifle, it's the muzzle velocity. Oh. See, once we get started on that subject, Tom, no, nobody's going to leave it alone now. That's why Tom likes the long trades only. <laughs> Reminds him of nine inches. <laughs> if you guys haven't already hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Uh, yeah. Help us out. Subscribe right. is free. Let's hit Tom's channel up and get some subscriptions over there too. And do uh, the same as well with Methodical Mainstream. You have his link up there in the pinned message. 
go check his stream out subscribe you know guys that's the drill and if you're not on a mobile device and you guys are able to pull up both streams do that absolutely how many likes we got over here let me look I don't know why my thing's not showing my likes. Is yours showing your likes, Tom? Uh, OBS. Yeah, mine's not showing my likes today. It didn't do it yesterday uh, either. I'm not sure why. I, I don't have it. On, I have Streamlabs OBS. I don't have that function, or I don't know if it shows anywhere, but I don't see it. Also, guys, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to do some giveaways today? Should we do some giveaways? Um, Is it possible to learn? I mean, Volker. I'm telling you, man, like you can just watch my streams. You can join the Discord if you want. It's 10 bucks a month, but there's not like some kind of lightning rod in there or special. There's nothing special in there. It's just a community where you have access to me. And sometimes I private stream in there and sometimes I call out trades. So, but same goes for me. But I have to tell, I mean, my Discord is very slow nowadays. Only a few people there, and it's my fault. I promised some content. I do have some content there entry models, setups, and Dominic is always uploading very good entries and setups. And but yeah, it's mostly for supporting. And as Metallical Man said, uh, you guys can access directly to me, and that's it. Oh, we got Gabriel just joined. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Sometimes I call out trades in here. Let's see, like this one here. The other day I said, uh, trade setup, basically long if we close above, stop to break even and scale. And then boom, this one, uh, it hit. And then I got stopped out on my runner. So I do call out trades occasionally in there, but like, is it, you know, is it going to give you anything like special? Not really. Thank you, Nescalp God. Yes, you can use codes here and there. I'm not going to tell you guys what to use, but everybody has affiliations. Yes, that's true. Uh-oh, let's go. Camille in the house with the subscription. Thank you for subscribing. You the man. Welcome to the Methodical Crew. All right, we're going to do some giveaways today. I'm gonna, I'll do a giveaway in just a few minutes because, let's be honest, the market's going to just kind of chop around here. So let's get Streamlabs open. Uh, now the giveaway guys, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do five $20 giveaways because uh, Bulinox is 90% off and you can pick up a 50K account for like $17. You will have to have a uh, PayPal or, um, what's the other one? Cash app, those are the only two options for me to send you money. Craig asking, Tom, we can, can we do another rig giveaway? Well, we can do that. I promised you guys for uh, last week, and I didn't do that, I know. But I, I couldn't figure out how. Actually, I wanted to do it with the Google Forms. And uh, anyway, it was my fault. But nice there's going to be a giveaway. Yeah, Tom, you can use um, Streamlabs to do it. It's easy. Stream Labs. Well, I say it's easy. Sometimes it works for me. Sometimes it doesn't. What in the world? Please connect. Why is it telling me? Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. It's not the size of the nail. It's the hammer that's banging it. <laughs> that's good. I'm trying to get logged into Stream Labs here. giveaways all right so let me make sure all right let's complete this giveaway um i need to update this one let's update so it's gonna be twenty dollars we'll do five twenty dollar five twenty dollar accounts today <clears throat> So I just started the giveaway there. You got to use the code exclamation cash. I've never done a giveaway during London and I realized that I meant to do one last week and I forgot. So exclamation cash, you got 15 minutes. So about 6 a.m. here, we'll do a, we'll do the giveaway. Let's go. Tom, get in there. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not because if I win, they're going to say it's rigged. So I'm not. <laughs> it, it, it can't be rigged. 
<laughs> it can be rigged. No, All right. it's going to be a random choice. Of course. All right. So let's I completely get this giveaway trust you. going. It's random. I mean, I'm serious. It's uh, you're doing. It I, I know. Now, so. So we're going to do five twenty dollar giveaways today. The only kicker is you got to use my code or Tom's code, either one. I don't care which to uh, purchase the account or just take the twenty bucks and have a beer. I don't know. Whatever. Oh yeah, I would take the beer actually. Yeah. One or the other. <laughs> have a beer. Do what you want with it. <clears throat> NASCAP got 20k days maybe eventually what is the crime I love that I love that name what is the crime I'm pretty hungry this morning guys oh no I don't oh I'm on the 30 second let me see here I'm going to try to keep a lookout here we might get an inversion set up out of this area it kind of has to do what it's doing now where it has to kind of um, we need some structure here as far as like what I like to see is something along the lines of this, this, a little manipulation leg, lower low, then a higher low and some sort of inversion to go higher. So that's kind of what I'll be waiting for. Uh, let me turn that off. I don't know how to do that using top step X where you just turn it off. <clears throat> so once again, guys, we're going to do the giveaway here. You got about 10 or 11 minutes to get in there. Explanation point cash. There you go. Jump in there. What was that noise, Tom? Did you hear that? Yeah, uh, there's a dog in my at my neighbor right here. It's a huge dog. It's barking. So that usually means long, long duck dog. Yeah, you guys that, know you heard that. Yeah. Also, some strange noises coming from the kitchen. I don't know. Pots and pans banging. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Smoke a little bit of smoke. The smoke yeah. detectors going off. Lawrence, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Welcome By to the, way, the guys, Tom Sabo thinking, crew. Exactly. I'm just saying I opened up the membership, which has no special benefits right now. <laughs> if anybody wants to be a member, uh, maybe I can do some OnlyFans content for you guys, but not like that. <laughs> no, that's stupid, actually. Never mind. All right. OnlyFans membership. OnlyFans membership on YouTube. <laughs> All right, Tom, I just became a member. What? Really? Yeah, why not? No way, Methodical Man just joined the Winners Club. Oh, my God. Kind of jump in there. Oh, oh, holy baby Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. Oh, look at me, Dan. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm honored, actually. I'm honored. So uh, should I start the dance right now or something? All right, get up there. I want to see you do that. I can. I can. What What if my fiance just steps in and she sees I'm I'm dancing in front of the camera or whatever? She'll say, I Tom, know. I you're only supposed to do that in the bedroom. <laughs> For me. So. Yeah. <clears throat> my Let's God. See. What do I get? I'll get some sort of fancy in my green. Let me see. Oh, I got a little dollar sign. Um, nice. Yeah, and, and there's some some um, some pump and dump and uh, waffle uh, emojis or something like that, which I uploaded. There's a pile of shit, which is the dump, and there's a <laughs> and there's a pump. <laughs> All right, Camille says, if I win this voucher, you'll buy. I'll buy OnlyFans. Let's go. Full size short for Valters. Looking for a six K day. Okay. Uh oh, NASCAR God wants to know if your girlfriend has OnlyFans. Uh, we're thinking about it, actually. <laughs> no, She's, actually not. She but... sells uh, feet pics. Feet pics, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I can say that. You know, she she has 
all the benefits to do it. And so I told her, hey, you should get some uh, sexy bikini and stuff like that. And you would, you should never work again. Like at your, she works as a teacher right now. And I said, why work for that? So it's super low money there. Just open your OnlyFans page and you will, you'll be a millionaire. Like <laughs> anyway, but no, she's not going to do that. She's, she's too conservative for that. <laughs> it, she would either be a millionaire or she'd make $47 and cry. <laughs> exactly. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who uh, knows? <clears throat> so, but guys, yeah. we got about eight minutes left on this giveaway, and we'll choose a winner. Get in there. Let's see how many people we got in there so far. I haven't seen Tom enter yet. No, I can't do that. I can't. Oh, you can. Or, or should I? Oh, you know what? I enter. But if I if I win. If I win, uh, I'm going to... I know, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. We got 21 people in the giveaway right now, so not very many. You got pretty decent odds to win right now. One out of 21. Eight minutes left. Nice girl got my girlfriend. Uh, she, I'm not sure if she's uh, into that OnlyFans thing that much. So, uh, Thank God she has the figures for it, but uh, I, 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 she's too conservative to do that. No, no. Pass it. It's going to be exclamation point cash in the chat. So just exclamation point cash. So that's true, Nesco. Well, if you you win, you hook me up with the account. All right, all right. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you a uh, bad news, Nesco. God, the 150k account which I won, I blew it. Not even a joke. Super real. Super super serious. The 150k account which I won with my funded futures, I blew it the other day. I went in with like I wanted to go super aggressive with scalping, so I went with minis. I went there with three to five minis, you know, trying to scalp for a few points here and there, and so I immediately got down to like two thousand dollars of drawdown. And I know it was stupid, but anyway. So I said F it and I blew it on this I mean on the other day. <laughs> the Frank, whole account. Um, Frank, no no space between the exclamation point and cash. So try that one more time. Tom blew Come the it account. Says, It'll be all right. Camille says buy uh I bought buy the bikini if Tom signs it. <laughs> okay. I told you guys it's huge money in only only fans. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was an inversion here. I would have taken it long, but there's just not anything clean in here that I could take. I guess. I mean, that's uh, the only not... thing I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm bullish for the one hour. That I'm sticking with my analysis. I say during the day we should be breaking into the one hour or the block, so higher than five fourteen. That's my daily bias for now. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I think as long as we hold this area. I mean, I could wait for the five-minute inverse, but it seems so late, right? Yeah. It seems so late to wait for the five-minute. I guess it's only ten more points, though, honestly. I might switch over to one of my other accounts. There. Oh, yeah, what was I was doing something earlier, and I forgot. I was looking... I was trying to figure out. I signed those things on Flexi Trade. Now I need to. Um, I need to pay the fee because I would like to trade that Flexi Trade account today. How much is the activation at Flexi Trade? I think it's 148 or 150. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure okay, exactly. It's the standard. We're about to okay. find out. Pretty much standard then. So I signed the contract. All right, I guess I'm about to click on it up here, so Tom will disappear for a minute. But no worries. I mean, it doesn't. Sh where's does it show? I don't know where I saw it at earlier. See more? Okay, there it is. It's one thirty-nine, Tom. 139. Okay, so that's also not that bad. 
And do they, uh, is that the prop firm which is not taking monthly payment, just a one time payment? Right. I'm not one sure. time, one time payment. And okay. They only pay you once a month, though. They only have one, a monthly, once a month payout. So, okay. I mean, that's, oh, that's, that's all right. It's not a big deal. But one time payment, that's, that's strange. But I guess, I mean, yeah. All right, so I just paid the activation fee. So we'll see how long it takes them to activate the account here. And I did apply for a uh, affiliate deal with them, but I haven't gotten a response from them yet. All right, it says the account's active already. What is this? It says I got a YouTube membership to Tom Sabo. I never did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. I got to select that who as fraud. Did, who, who did that? That's, that's oh, my God. <laughs> They're going to ban me. Put that down as fraud. I don't know that guy. I don't know who that is. All right, looks like we got three minutes, guys. If you want to join the $20, the $20 giveaway. Let's go. Um, we could do a couple of, uh, I do have a couple of custom tumblers that I was supposed to be giving away that I haven't done yet too. We could do that today too. I can mail those out to you guys. One says buy the dip and, uh, don't remember what the other one says. I think it says like, I'm feeling <laughs> bullish or something like that. Mad Moxie in the house. Let's go. We only got 33 you know what entrants. Comment? What's that? I was just thinking to subscribe to uh, your membership as well. Uh, you don't have to. Oh, I want to. But, but listen, there is a slight My problem. membership is cheaper than yours. Is it really? I don't know because mine it says uh, it in Hungarian. So I don't know how much is it in dollars. I have no idea. How much is it in dollars? Six ninety nine. Six nine and that's too much. I have to do something about that because I can't I can't add it in dollars. Some somehow I just I can only select Hungarian but Hungarian foreign, but I have to change something about that. Luke about got long at sixty six, he's exiting at seventy eight. Nice Luke, that means you're out. Let's go. Buy the derp. <laughs> you need some coffee, mad mad moxie, I don't blame you. If I drunk coffee, I might would have coffee, but so here's the thing. If we close above here on the five minute, then I certainly think that's bullish, but like, do I want to risk 10 handles? Probably not. So I think if I do take it, I'm going to take it on my, my funded futures. And so I may, um, I may put this away. Let's do that. Let's put this away. So 268 times three on our express funded. You guys see there, not uh, hiding anything from you. And I'm going to go ahead and put these accounts away. Boom. And we're going to bring up our other charts. And we will take it there. So here's my funded futures. Let's make sure we're on the right one. Boom. Throw in a little stop loss here. A little TP. We'll delete some of this nonsense. Uh, Sugar Bear's got to become Captain Cock at some point today. <laughs> oh. See, people say stuff in my stream and they think I'm going to forget. So. <laughs> uh, Olivier, yes. Uh, she sells them. There's a link in my description for her TikTok. So if you just go click that link on TikTok, uh, you can go right here to J-E-M Tumbling Creations. It takes you into her shop and then uh, shop all. And she has all of these listed here for sale on her website. Uh, this one would be good for Tom. Don't be a cunt cafe. No, wait, a cunt cake. I always <laughs> think that says cunt cafe. Uh but yeah, she has a bunch of uh, options here. And if you want a custom one, 
then what you do is you just uh, you click on the ones that are blank, and you can kind of tell her what you want there. But she's very good at what she does. So I could get you this one, Tom. Swear bears. Swear bears. <laughs> I like that. Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> You wouldn't expect swear bears to have that on there, right? Well, I never thought. But anyways, let's get over to the five minute here. Let's see if we can take this trade. If we close above, we're pretty close, huh? Oops. Let's mark this out. Tom, you thinking about any entries over there? Or what you got? Uh, well, I actually I was training in hindsight, and so I entered the trade without anybody, you know, without telling anybody. I didn't even tell you. So I'm in a trade already. Yeah, we I entered secretly. I entered secretly into a trade. So I'm in a long position from four sixty six. Tom's in a long yeah. position without saying a word. Without saying a word, keeping it secret from everyone. And uh, yeah, I'm in a long position and I just closed it right now. So I already exited because uh, I'm a chicken. That's it. Uh, the VWAP. Yeah, I do see the VWAP there. <laughs> it cracks you up every time I say it, McLovin. Hey, um, Frank, I mean, not really. Um, I already take, I already took two or three entries this morning, but not really, but we did sweep a key area. We are delivering from a bullish 15 minute gap. So there was just nothing clean on the lower time frame. So like this is pretty late to enter on the five minute. So you kind of want it to go quickly. Um, if it's going to go, but this five minute gap's not that big, right? It's not for a five minute gap. It's not that big, 11 points. So, but um, I did resume the entries there, guys, for just a couple of more minutes. So if you want to enter, this is your last chance. And you also got to subscribe. You need to be subscribed to the channel, obviously, to enter anyway. But subscribe to Tom's <laughs> channel as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, please, guys, uh, go and visit Methodical Man's channel. He's a super nice guy. He's trading like... Uh, I, have the, I have the number right here. Uh is trading 141 funded accounts right now currently with uh, six prop firms and he's the best friend of michael huddleston and uh, he was his first student actually so we have proof of that go subscribe to his channel and follow him <laughs> yeah if you if you want to see I the mean, video yeah Oh well, we have a phone. I was I was talking uh, with Michael on the phone, and I recorded the conversation. So ICT, aka Michael Huddleston, admitted that Methodical Man is his best friend, and although he's his first student, so so I mean, yeah, we have proof of that. Yeah. All right, guys. In about two minutes, I'm going to end the giveaway. I'm Long Duck Dong here. Uh, Tom, what's your target? I I exited the trade. So he I, I exits because my, he exits when yeah, I my, enter. My, my, yeah, my my target was this uh, this price range from um, four hundred eighty five to eighty six. Uh, I wanted to see it rebalanced, and it did it right now on the five minute. From this point, it can also drop back down. But my entry was based on actually partially the one slash three minute. But there's a there's an order block, bearish order block on the on the five minutes slash three minutes, so that's why I exited here. And I was in a drawdown because I also did not tell you guys, but uh, I was losing a little bit of a profit because I was going crazy with some micros, so I had to regain those losses. But uh, that's it. Thank you, Dylan. I can't believe the that Tom entered that trade and didn't say a word. Yeah, I feel bad about it. Where's actually. the transparency? Um, I know, I know. And, and actually, it feels bad, to be honest. Feels bad. All right, uh, last chance, guys. You got one more minute. We're going to do this $20 giveaway. Last chance. We'll see who's in there. I'm I'm currently long. You guys see my position here. Um, 
at that swing at 93 will be my break even in my first TP. We do have the VWAP right there at 90. It's a little bit of concern, but we'll see. What All happens. I can tell you guys is I was trading on two accounts this morning, uh, one Bulanox and my funded futures account. The my funded futures account, I am down a uh, hundred dollars today, and the Bulanox account, I'm up a uh, hundred and fifty dollars today so um that's all the trades i took i'm a little bit down on the my funded futures but um it is what it is all right so i'm a little bit closed. confused yeah it's closed i closed because i i got scared uh from this five slash three minute order block very short block i expected the reaction to the downside and there was a uh uh, a void or let's just say not liquidity void but an unbalanced price range as michael huddleston would say it so it was enough for me to regain my losses and i just exited and uh, overall in the one hour time frame i still think this is bullish so i'm staying bullish my daily bias is bullish for nasdaq i'm staying with the bullish side so if i see a very good entry uh with the new structure i'm going to enter to a bullish trade yeah. Folly, Folly Garris, you have won the twenty dollars. Folly Garris, that's my second name. So I won. You won. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome, thank Folly, you. Folly, send me an email to methodicalman at I'm sending it gmail dot com. And all I want you to do, Folly, is screenshot. Just click on your comment. You should it should pop up to show that you have the ability to delete your comment. Click on your comment, screenshot it, and if you don't know how to screenshot, Shift, Windows, S, all at the same time should allow you to screenshot that. And then um, just send that to me through email. Send me your PayPal or your Cash App, and we'll get that over to you promptly. Congratulations. And we'll do another giveaway right, so I, later today. Uh, I can't subscribe to your channel, Methodical Man. I just can't do it right now. Oh, you poor guy. Yeah, actually, I'm poor. I, I actually, yeah, I just checked my account balance. I can show it to the, uh, to the webcam or screen or whatever. I have $1.56 on the, on the card, which I use for online payments. So oh. one, $1.56, that's the money I have on it. So uh, I'm pretty much poor right now i mean get the uh, yeah. credit card from the from your girlfriend yeah <laughs> i think that's that i'm looking to i'm yeah i, I might do that actually <laughs> gotta get the credit card get in there if you guys yeah. haven't already hit that yeah. like button for me subscribe if you're not yet subscribe let's go es is kind of holding up here at the vwap i'm assuming that's why price is kind of holding up here in this area don't worry, guys. I have some extra saved up money. Don't worry. I'm going to survive. <laughs> Actually, I have to fill. This is a debit card. I have to transfer some money into this. I have a separate card, a virtual card, which I use for online payments. I just have to top this up because uh, because I didn't know it's it's low on credit. I mean, sorry, low on cash. I mean, I got scammed two times before on my physical uh, debit card and since then i'm using virtual card for every online payment yeah that makes sense and uh, i just have to top it up all right That's so it. we did create a swing here so like based on my rules i have to break even stop when we move back above the swing which we just did so this probably will just end up being a break even trade there's not much i can do about that i have to follow the rules here So I feel like it still goes. It will. It will, I think. It might just going to accumulate some positions, but uh, it feels very bullish to me. Right. We're stopped out break even there. But that's kind of the way I choose. That's the way I do this. So if we create a swing and then we move back above the swing, I have to break even stop it. That's just my rules. And that's how you keep the win rate very high. You follow mm -hmm. the rules. Yeah. So we'll do another giveaway probably. Oh, I didn't even notice we had a pivot right there at 85. I forgot about that as well. So it's kind of right where I went long at was 85. 
So we're just kind of wedged between a pivot and a VWAP here. I might have should have gave that a little more time now that I noticed that pivot's there. Maybe, maybe, yeah. So by the way, are you going to be on stream all the way today? I mean, or how is it going to go? Oh, yeah. Four, we'll be on until 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay. So you can so stay what, on as what, long or as short as you want. It's up to you. Oh, when is your next guest coming? Is, is it going to be Husk Trader? No, next guest is Rat Lord Trades at around 9 a.m. Eastern. Okay, so I can stay until 9, right? <laughs> you can stay until you want. You can. It's up to you. So... Loot doesn't feel bad at all about getting out 12 minutes. No, nah, Loot, you got to take your profit, right? And there she goes now. Just being dirty. I followed my rules, though, and that's what you got to do. Hey, if you followed your rules. First that's... TP would have been 93, and then that would be a break-even stop. So, And there it went. Oh, so Look dirty. Look at this go. I should have gave it a That second. is why that if, if you guys, uh, just everyone, go to the one hour and – Check the level at from yesterday, um, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is that wick uh, on the one hour candle. The high of that wick is 526. Uh, I don't want to say personalized guarantee <laughs> because that's usually nowadays it's not working, but the 526 is something I'm really looking for today. So I think that level is going to be broken i i feel like it's a high probability that it should be broken and also he knows if he says personalized guarantee it goes on my chart immediately oh really you do that right now okay all right <laughs> banana theory why did i close my trade i closed my trade because we created an internal high here right price pulled back and so once we get back above that high that's based on that's my rules i move my stop to break even there right now obviously this is the time of day i don't normally trade so things could work a little differently because like typically in new york if we get back above this wick we just go if we're in the right direction so like in new york yeah. moving the stop to break even would be fine um so that's why uh if i wanted to be more patient obviously i could have just waited i mean the risk on this five minute trade is not very big 11 12 handles so you know so would have hit our uh, would have hit our first target there for about eight points. Not a big trade, and my second target would have probably been this volume imbalance here, or even the high that swing high. So, but that's why. Good morning, Asham. Greg, you're looking for longs. All right, all right. Well, let's check the uh, economic calendar right quick. Just refresh our brain with that right quick. Yeah, and 830. 830 is the next. Still 830 is the next news, right? Mm -hmm. So nothing really before Unemployment. that. And let's think about this yeah. at 830. What do we want to do at 830? Do we want to full send some stuff? Mm, um, I mean, not really. I think you should, if you want to full send, you should wait for the 930. You don't think 830 news is going to do much? No, I don't think so. I mean, it can, but uh, we need more volume after the first minute so i think it's just gonna you know spike in both directions and it's just gonna this is gonna go sideways for until 9 30 open and uh that's it michael j fox back to the future to the moon to the moon to the uh is michael j fox there oh yeah it's there oh wow Let's i mean he's there this, michael uh, range. J. Fox. So we just hit OT on this range. So this could be an area where we turn back down or we could push through here. Let's kind of see what happens. Yeah, so let me check. Uh, we have also, the 60s, nice. also on the five minute chart, um, it's not that significant, but on the five minute chart at 4.05, uh, a.m. this morning, there is a liquidity void uh it's it's clean it's a clean yeah. liquidity void so that could be also a possible target for price yeah it's also oh, in the yeah. one minute as well yeah yeah yeah. it can be seen on the one minute five minutes so that is something price likes to revisit so keep that in mind 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's take a look at Mancini's tweet. I like to look at this usually like kind of like going into New York, but we can go ahead and mark the levels out now. Uh, basically, he just gives, if you guys aren't following Adam Mancini, he gives really good um, updates. Uh, I guess he hasn't made a tweet yet this morning, so maybe we have to wait. But yesterday he was leaning towards the longs, and you can see the buy area was 74 to 60, 67 to 74. Price traded off 74 down to 70, and then we pushed all the way back up at the end of the day to the uh, 99 target. So that was a nice uh, winner. But, yeah, I like to follow Adam, Adam Mancini on Twitter. He gives a lot of uh, good updates. And, you know, so if you're not following him, check him out. You can also follow this other fella. Um, he's on Twitter too. Yeah, it's me. No, wait, why is it? I'm not even on my home Twitter. I don't know why I have to figure out what the deal is with that. So you're following Adam Mancini for quite a while. I checked his tweets, uh, a few times, but you're following him regularly. What do you think, uh, about his levels? Is he really good? Is he really on the spot with those levels? You know, what's your experience? Yeah. Yeah. So for example, yesterday, if we look at his levels from yesterday, it, I mark them out every day. So his buy zone yesterday was 74 to 67. So this was his buy zone, 74. I had it marked out to 67. See there? Uh, and you see what we did? We sold down at open. We tapped the buy zone. So if you just bought at the buy zone, you took three handles of drawdown, and then his target was 99. And so you made 25 points. I mean, like, that's it's just his – I mean, it's just technical analysis is all it is. It just keeps mm -hmm. me from having to do it. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, if you if you're building up positions, uh, for example, with micros in those buy or sell zones, I guess he has a good win ratio, right? Or target. Yeah. So he much. sends out a newsletter every day and this newsletter has all those zones in there um, dictating like where he would buy directly and stuff like that. And I post the newsletter in my discord every day. So Adam Mancini, Dylan, Adam Mancini four on Twitter. Frank says, you mentioned if you had noticed the pivot point, you would have held longer. Um, so, yeah, there's a pivot point. If we're on – I don't have the pivot points on my chart, but there's one right here on uh, at 84.75. So we're just kind of wedged between the pivot and the VWAP. So I got long at 85. So I should have expected some resistance in this area, just kind of maybe ping-ponging through there for a little bit. So that's all I was saying. If I had noticed the pivot was there, it was there I might have would have given it a little more room. That's all. Once again, if you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Um, yeah. So we're going to kind of go over what we're going to be looking for today during New York. Since we're kind of inching our way there. Uh, let's take a look at my accounts. Ideally today, I would like to be able to get um, this account five hundred dollars and we could take a payout on it um and then the bulinox account i would like to be able to get four hundred and fifty dollars on that to be able to take a payout on it so like those are going to be my concentration today the big concentration that could be potentially twenty five hundred dollars in payouts that we'll take we already have that bulinox account to pay out we're going to be waiting on that one we have this one fifteen hundred in profit and then I have these other two that I just started on. They're just a little bit in profit there on the Buleys. So I'd like nice. to get those two accounts to pay out today if possible. Um, it may not be possible. It depends on price action. If price action is trash, then I'll pump the brakes. We will pump the brakes. But these are my PAs. Um, they're all about 600 ish dollars, 600 to $1,000 in profit. Um, yeah. And then this 50 K we just started a few days ago. That one's up $116. So and we do have five more that are just in waiting to be activated. So that's what we'll be looking for today. I really, I really want to get the Bulinox and the Apex account to pay out today. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't happen today, is it a big deal? Nope. Mm -hmm. So We'll just wait. Um, can you? Yeah, I mean, Frank, they don't really correlate with the uh, 
with the NQ. So the only thing I can say, I mean, it's not really a way to, you, you just have to have two charts open. Like I just have another ES chart open and I just put them on there. So yeah, Robert, I have more accounts than kids. You're not lying. I don't even know how many funded accounts I got right now. I, I lost some, so I don't know exactly how many <laughs> there are. Maybe like 25. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. That's a good problem to have. Not yeah. to remember how many funded accounts you have. I have no clue. I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, I know we got like 12 Apex, and then I got five that I don't really trade right now, and then I got um, five waiting to be activated. I have five Bulinox funded accounts. We have three Top Step funded accounts, one Take Profit Trader, Nice. One my funded futures. I think that's it. So I don't think I have that many right now. Maybe 20, 20 something. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, Robert. Metallical man has more accounts than kids. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't really buy that many accounts anymore. Pretty much Apex accounts I buy just to keep those kind of loaded up. But I'm not really failing evals that much anymore. Not that often. So. You know, I do pretty good with just passing the evals, um, especially. Nice. You know, you can do really good with them if you just want to full send them. So, yeah. You can full send yeah, them if, open if you want. Yeah, if uh, if there's a good sale going on uh, and if you have a good entry method, entry model to go for a good risk to reward, <clears throat> then, you know, chances are high. I usually, if, if I try to full send them, I go for at least 1.5 or most likely 2R, which means that you know, at least I should be getting at least two or three accounts to being funded from 10 accounts, which I did not do last time. Last time I bought like five Villanox accounts and uh, I made it for $2,600 on two of those. Unfortunately, I already blow one. Well, uh, um, Tom, though, you got like when you full send, you got to full send. I know. You got to go all or nothing. Um, what is the daily loss at take profit? It's $1,100, seven money bag. And if you hit the $1,100, it will blow the account. So. Oh, look at gold. Denrick just said, what is happening with gold is spiking higher. Okay. Well, don't really trade gold, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Gold started to spike higher. Black Beauty, are you in the uh, gold long? Folly, I got your email, uh, and I'm firing off the Cash App right now. You should get it right now. So yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about Take Private Trader. You have to be aware of that eleven hundred dollars fails your account in funded and in um, in in the evaluation as well. So it's one of the things I don't like about it. Um, and also, it switches over to an intraday trailing drawdown once you're funded, which that to me is not a big deal. But I don't quite know why they do that. It's a little silly, I guess. A little silly. See, Methodical Man pays his debts $20 to Folly, just like that. He pays <laughs> his debts. You took the short and did the long on gold. Done for the day. Let's go. Nice, nice. Black Beauty, you didn't tell me to take that long on gold, though. What's the deal there? <laughs> She's my gold consultant. The gold consultant. She had me in a long the, uh, yesterday for $2. $2 there of profit. There you go. So, two big dollars. Hey, profit's profit, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Profit is profit. So, let's look at this trade here. I would have been stopped out break even, so I did leave eight points on the table because um, I would have I would have scaled there eight points and then put my stop to break even. On that retest, I would have been stopped out, so... There might have been a 30-second setup there. Uh, yeah, there kind of was. 
NQ is starting to go higher again. It goes for that 501 gap, I think. It's very close. It's only a few points. I think it's going to cover that liquidity void that we were talking about. No, that's one of the things uh, with 7 Money with Take Profit Trader. You can take a payout as soon as you hit the threshold. There's no scaling, and there's no minimum trading days in the uh, funded account. So as soon as you hit it, you can take a payout. Robert, I don't know. Is Black Beauty from Birmingham? I, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Where are you from, Black Beauty? I don't know. I think Black Beauty's... Uh, I can't remember exactly. What is MES, Black Beauty? Are you talking about Micro ES? <clears throat> oh, she's in Texas. Of course. Texas. Texas. Wow. All right, there's that gap, Tom, that you're talking about, right? Or Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So are close we to reached it. that. Yeah, close, close. It's it should be closing above that gap to rebalance it, and after that, it's a whole different question what's going to happen. I'm still standing by the five twenty six area um, and higher. Actually, um, my final TP, if I would be in the long, I mean, I could see the five hundred seventy one area, which is the top of the order block five seventy one can go mm -hmm. all the way up there maybe he's gonna do it in new york uh illuminated uh folly jerris won the raffle for twenty dollars we'll do another one probably nine o'clock maybe maybe we'll do one around nine o'clock once um once we switch over to uh rat lord kind of give each person's uh stream a little chance to win there i don't think nutty will be streaming when he gets on this afternoon he said he has a business meeting to go to, and he might be on at like 2, 2.30. So he probably won't be streaming at the same time. But, uh, yeah, he'll still join us. Okay. So, Tom, are we going to be full sending any accounts? Are we going to buy some and full send them or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is maybe going to try with a few Bilonox accounts at the New York Open. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about mm -hmm. that. Well, 7 Money, they have a discount right now. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. I got the code. I got a link and a code for that. I think it's 50%, no activation. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know, Tom. I got this 50K uh, Bully here mm -hmm. that I haven't traded at all. Um, it just reset right there. So I got that one. And I also have this other 50K Bully that's already passed that's just kind of waiting. But so I could. Oh, you know what to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Full I could port. could full port this. I really am interested in getting this My Funded Futures pass, though. So maybe that's the one I should full port. Uh, that's the starter account, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have a scaling plan for two minis, right? Maximum. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, it's <clears> still <throat> okay, but yeah. If I get a chance, can I explain how you use the ES levels to make your trades? So I don't really use the ES levels, Frank, to make my trades. Um, <clears throat> but morning, if we're... Wonder. If we're approaching an ES level that I have marked out, then do I really want to be shorting into an ES support? So, in other words, yesterday, this right here, I took a short oh. right here on NASDAQ, and ES was right here. What happened? It just ripped right back off there. So, I was I closed my position sooner than I might have normally do done if I didn't see ES ripping off that level. So, it's just a little extra confluence. That's all it is. Amadal Rodriguez just subscribed on Tom's channel. Let's go. <clears throat> nice, nice. Congratulations on your profit, Amadou. Nice one. 3%. Cool. So we're kind of entering that time of day that I'm really, really unfamiliar with. So I don't really know what to expect. <coughs> 
Well, good question. This high is almost 10 points away. 514. I don't know. I I still think it's just going to go higher. It's just going to edge slowly higher. I think it's going to take out the 514 and then the 526. That's that's it. That's what I think, but the ES this is approaching the, uh, uh, the London high now. It's going to take it out. It, it should be taking that out. Actually, I think ES right now is at 307. So all-time high is at 322. I can see this take a new all-time high by the end of the New York session. So. Well, kind of, I don't think it'll take that long. It might take it before New York. Maybe. And also, not just the one hour, but the 15 minute uh, time frame on NASDAQ looks beautiful. I mean, if you guys look at the 15 minute time frame on NASDAQ, a beautiful bearish order block. The top is at 571. So that is a real juicy target up there. So I think it's that's why I think it's like a 90% chance that we're going to go through uh, 526. Also, we inversed on the 15 minute as well, and we kind of have low resistance liquidity there. Um, not really much holding us down here. We do have that yeah. small 15 minute gap up there that we kind of rejected off of a couple times, but I'm actually thinking to, to enter a position, but I don't have my entry. But I'm so tempted because I, I feel like we're going to burst through 26. Also, look so. at the equal highs at 572.25 there on the 15-minute. Uh, 575? 572.25 on the 15-minute. 572.5. Hold on. 572.5. Equal highs. Oh yeah, I oh yeah 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Sorry, yeah. Those are equal highs. So definitely, that's why it's a very very juicy target. So, so yeah. Mathis, everything's going good. We're green this morning so far today. Yeah, I guess I probably let's see five seventy one seventy five. I guess technically it's worse than that. There we go. It never wants to go right where I want it. So, yeah, that could be the draw today. Of course, I thought that was the draw yesterday. At open, it looked very strong yesterday. And then, no, wait, that was made at open. Yeah. So, I thought yesterday we were going to push up into the 605. Because if I'm not mistaken on the five minute, I think we have equal highs at the 605 as well. Let me look. Yes. Uh, do we? Where are those 605 levels? Yeah, we have equal highs on the five minute at 605 as well. I mean, they are right next to each other, so I don't put as much weight in those, but they are there. Would prefer that they were a little more spread out, but that's okay. But yeah, Mathis, I think we're going up. I mean, that's kind of like seems what we're going to do here, but you never know. If the if we start pulling yeah. back here, we will we'll have an SMT with the ES right now. Well, I guess technically not yet. ES has got to run the high by one tick, and it didn't do it yet. So you can see, if you look at the ES, so it didn't run it yet, but if it runs this high, then it would have ran the high, and NASDAQ would not. So that could be a turn down. It could push us back down here for a minute. I do ultimately think the draw is higher here, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. 526, I do love that level. I think it should take it out, but uh, but whatever. You know, it can just turn around and everything starts to sell off. Well, we are in OTE here, so like if this inverses on the three-minute here, I expect it to hold, but if it does not, I will take this. You got a wick down here at 85 that looks pretty juicy. 
So you got a little bit of stuff to the downside here. We'll just kind of see what price does. If we close below here, I'll take the yeah. short. Um, but I don't expect it to close below, but it might. Yeah, you can uh, see 15 right minutes now, downside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right now on the on the one minute and three minute, it looks very good for a long entry. So um, it's, I'm actually thinking to enter. Yeah, so you got that marked out. I was wondering if you were actually taking that or not. No, I'm 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 eyeballing it right now at this level. I'm just measuring what risk I should take on this one. Uh, I'm looking for at least a one to two risk to reward. Um, right. You know what? I'm entering too long here. Yeah. Nice job, Mathis. I entered. I'm in I the mean, long yeah, position. You you know how I, what I think like I I expect this gap to hold but I just don't know, right? Yeah. You expect it to hold. I mean um uh, stop loss is below this 484 swing somewhere down at yeah, I mean 84 83. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Head and shoulders looks to seven money bags. Yeah, I could see that. We could create another shoulder here, a little inverted look. Yeah, last day of the quarter, Joey. Also the last day of the week here. Last trading day of the week. And my take profit will be at twenty four fifty ish. The only thing I don't like is they left equal highs. It's good for you, Tom. O six fifty, they left equal highs there at O six fifty as well. Mm. So I would imagine it at least makes its way back to there. Don't know. That might Oops. stop me from shorting if we close below, to be honest. Let me update my chart because I just closed it. Accidentally closed the chart again. Let me see. If you guys haven't already hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. We got a link to Tom's channel, who is the guest here that you see the guy above me uh get the link to his channel in the pin in the top of the chat jump over there give him a like hit him with a subscribe as well see if we can uh have a pretty nice t nice day today with subscribers uh my personal oh, yeah. goal i'm going to be streaming for 12 hours i want us to hit 2750 so we need 110 more 111 more today and uh let's do it yeah, same goes for you guys here. Just check out the Dedical Man stream. It's pinned up there. Just go check him out, subscribe. And we're doing this joint stream today. And I think it's awesome. We're looking for some some good entries, although my entry is already in drill down, but <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, I don't know. There'll be decision time for me if we close below. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. We have a pivot at 85. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit strange for sure. It's we strange. A, we have the VWAP here at 90, the pivot at 85. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Only trades. I'm just some weirdo he found on the side of the road. He decided to bring me onto his stream. Luby, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. I think so, MB Crypto. Still looks bullish to me, too. Oh, uh, only trades. It's Methodical Man. Check his channel out. <laughs> Check his channel out. It's in the pinned message up there. Go give him a subscribe. We're doing a joint stream right now. 
Hi, Tay. Thank you so much for the comment. <laughs> I look nice as always. Thank you. Price, Price blew a kiss at you and then went along without you. <laughs> he said, how's it that's, going? That's, how, that's what Price does. Yeah, we're definitely ranging. Yeah. That's a clean bounce off the VWAP there, though. Tom's Long Duck Dong from 95.50, if you're not watching his yeah. stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully I will get some something good. I'm risking $200 on this trade. Um, we'll see how it goes. Actually, not even 200. It's about 180. Started to go a little bit aggressive um, here. All right, I'm going to join Tom in this trade just based off his analysis. Thank you. <laughs> that, that puts up the pressure. <laughs> I'm going to just target the low-hanging fruit here, these little equal highs at 506. Hey, Roa, welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for your subscription. You the man. Do you guys use indicators? Um, I use the VWAP and pivot points. That's basically it. Yeah, sometimes I use uh, exponential moving averages and RSI. So, yeah, but um, that's it. I do have the VWAP on, but I don't really use the VWAP, but it's on. What about that veneer indicator? Do you use that? What veneer indicator? The one yesterday in your chat, veneers. What? You don't remember that? No. You call it wieners? Oh, wieners. <laughs> yeah, I always use that. That's that's my go-to indicator. The wieners indicator. <laughs> so I'm just going to look for 10 points here. Tom's targeting a bit higher. I think he's targeting the 25, 26 area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the 25, 26 <clears throat> this is the NASDAQ, Sunwell. This is the NASDAQ. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put my stop at 85. Seems reasonable. If you guys did subscribe and you didn't get a shout out and you want a proper thank you, then uh, just let me know down in the chat and uh, we'll hit you with it. We'll also be doing another $20 giveaway, um, probably 9 a.m.-ish. We're going to bust out a 12-hour stream today. I don't know if Tom's going to do 12 hours. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, he's got the live-in chef over there. She can come in oh, and yeah. get the massage. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, girlfriend is making lunch, you know. I'm, I'm actually... Everything smells very good. I'm getting very hungry. Something good is cooking in the kitchen. Salami and uh, something? Uh, almost. Almost. <clears throat> oh. oh, look at this trade. Oh, my God. We're going down. Tom, you told me to enter. I know. <laughs> What can I do? What can I say? It is what it is. I think I think this is it, you know. <laughs> I was really hoping that this will turn out good, but you told me you're going to you're going to fade me. So why did you enter? No, I was <laughs> going to wait and see if we close below I take the short, but I still think mm -hmm. we still hold this. We'll see. Sasha's stop loss is my take profit. <laughs> Use VWAP, pivot point, and TDFI V2. I don't know what that means. It shows if you're ranging in a trend, if you break out of the range, bullish or bearish. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, the Thank God is Friday scenario. Okay. Tom makes a salami, he puts it on sandwiches. I don't know what it is. Exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, that's a metaphor. I don't want to go into details, actually. <laughs> we inverse the five-minute. Did we make 11? Let me see. Oh, we did. 
Although I will say the five minute gap's not. Eh. I mean, it's five points. Not that obvious. <clears throat> but yeah, that does give you extra confluence if the three minute does inverse that we're probably going down. So. Tom Sausage has its own category. Oh, definitely. This is Quan Tower Mathis. <laughs> Deej09, welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for the subscription. You the man. Colonna, thank you. Colonna Stevens, thank you so much for subscribing. Go check out Methodical Man stream too. His link is up there in the chat in the pinned message. Just click on it. Do subscribe. Follow him as well. <clears throat> streaming live. I'm the guest right now on his stream. So that means actually I know he's using my trades to fade me. I, I know secretly hindsight is putting on the opposite trades all the time. Yeah, I'm sure that's how he... on my other stream. Oh yeah. And that's how he makes money. Uh, this is Quan Tower, Mathis Quan Tower. That I'm using Tom's using Ninja, I believe. Uh I'm using Quan Tower. Oh, yeah, Quan Tower. I'm sorry. You were on Quan Tower, yeah. too. Yeah. I was using Ninja for a while and no issues with Ninja, but I went to Quan Tower. It's simpler for me to copy trade accounts. So, that it so. is. Yeah. Ninja Trader is also good, but for me, it's more simple to use Quan Tower. <clears throat> Camille, what do you know about Tom Sausage? Uh, I mean, Camille talks a lot about my sausage. <laughs> yeah, the copy trader is free on uh, Quantire only trades. Unless you want to trade across multiple props, then you have to get the advanced features, which is $25 per month, Yeah, yeah. which is still very reasonable. Yeah. Quant copying better than Replicanto? <clears throat> well... Uh, it's hard to compare. Replicanto is also very good. Uh, I was copy trading with Replicanto too, so I had, I mean, both of them are good. Every every copy trader is going to have um, lag if you're if you're pointing on that. So every copy trader is lagging sometimes. So they're both exactly the same. Like. <laughs> uh, goodness. Camille says, Tom Sausage is so big when he goes to the movies, the cashier asks him, tickets for two? <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what are you on XM? You put the same trades as me, and when you're in profit, you're still in loss. What is XM? Well, I don't know what that is. XM. That sounds familiar. What is XM? So many, you know, acronyms and everything. I, I, I just don't know them all. <laughs> we're crazy yeah <laughs> we are crazy that's why we're trading nobody in the right mind should be trading <laughs> but only trade you're going to have issues with any co copier that you use replicanto i do think is a little bit smoother um if you're trading on a single prop firm or a single account or maybe one trade of eight and one rhythmic but to trade across multiple rhythmic connections you kind of have to use quant tower it kind of squares you in but it's it's pretty good you just yeah. have to be aware of the uh, open orders and position tabs. Make sure you got those open at all times. Oh, man, Tom, this trade, I like immediate gratification. I don't like to sit here and draw down. Uh, welcome to my world. What's know. up, only trades? Oh, we're back in the green. Should I break even stop it now? Yeah, you should exit. One exit. point is it's one. Uh, yeah. You should, you should, you should take profit, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about taking profit here for sure. No, I'm really, I'm, I'm serious actually. <laughs> All right, there we go. Come on, come on, rip it. To the Let's moon, go. come on. To the moon. Um, that was weird. You got a little nice little pump there, but for why? What reason? I don't know. ES is also it's ripping. Just, 
Yes is ripping. Let me check. Yes. Oh yeah. Come on, yes. Come on, baby. All time is the historical high is three twenty two. Yeah, three hundred twenty two. Twenty uh, fifty three twenty two exactly. So it can go for it. I'd like to see it go for a new all time high. That would be awesome. That can help us out big time. Oh man. And just like that, the volume went away. And just like that, somebody pulled the plug again. Yeah, I thought about just uh, putting the stop there in, but I said, nah, we'll just wait. Tom says we're going, so. Well, <laughs> so we're going somewhere for sure. That's 100%. Tom Sabo guarantee says we're going to uh, 26. No, no. Uh, no, that's no. I cannot guarantee anymore. I'm gonna go full broke. Yeah, I did see that one minute close their loop, but we rejected it as soon as we closed at it. Yeah, uh, just barcodes here. Just barcodes. The only thing that keeps my spirit alive trading wise is that I see this uh order block up there, which I would really love to see these levels. I mean I want the 526 to be broken. That's it. I'm standing by that analysis. Okay, so if we get back above the high of this candle here, I will go break even stop. If we get back above 500.75, that will be me moving my stop to break even. There. Tom's not going to move his. I'm not I'm I'm going to stick this one out. But guys. I'm going to move mine. Methodical man is taking his chips off, and uh, that's it. And I'm going to just standing here alone. No, I'm not going to take the trade off. We're just going to put it at break even. Oh, yeah, that's true. I got a worse entry than you. I got 496. Wait a second. My entry is 495. Break even How could stop. I enter 495.59? That's not even an entry. That's that's how Quant Tower got. It was a market entry. So uh Yeah, mine too. Four ninety five. Four ninety five point five fifty nine. How is that possible? Okay. So I am now break even stop. It should either run to the O six fifty here or stop me out. There Let's you go, happens. there you go. Ideally we'd like it to just run, but Yeah. Who knows? But it's not. <laughs> not yet, at least. If this one's gonna go to twenty four fifty, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy here on the camera. I don't you know. Backflip? No backflip, but maybe I'm not gonna say I'm gonna twerk or something, but maybe I'm gonna do some celebration dance or something. I don't know. The streets need a body. <laughs> come on rip her up there I don't want to come back and stop me out which symbol do you analyze on trading view because I'm using NAS oh because you're on the CFD uh, this is NQ you're you're using the NAS 100 which the prices differs from the futures contract so on NAS it says eighteen thousand two eighty two, but on Nasdaq it's eighteen thousand four ninety seven. So you're on CFD. You're trading on CFD, not futures. Nice job, yeah. Luke. Way to take some profit. Nice, Ludafish. Nice, nice, nice. Stop me out. Dirty girl. Stop you out. Oh, my God. I told you I'm going to be here alone. Well, so. the thing is, I just, you know, I don't like how deep we traded into this gap. I expect above that wick that we run, mm -hmm. and we just didn't. Yeah, it doesn't look good, unfortunately. So, also, we created an internal high there, and we moved back above it. So, when that happens... You can see on the one minute we created an internal yeah. high. We move back above it. So to me, that's going to be my cue to break even. 
Because if yeah, the draw yeah. is yeah. higher, I expect it to run higher once it gets back above there. It just didn't. It could just be the time of day. It could be several things. Yeah. <coughs> but I once it goes know. and hits uh, Tom's stop here, then he's going to be like, I should have put my stop to break even like methodical. Yeah, I should have. I should have. I mean, I could still exit here. No, I no, no. To. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm in a slight profit. I could just close it. I don't want to give you a, I don't want to scare you. No, I'm scared already. So who cares? <laughs> Let's go loot. Nice job. We all have those degenerate days. I try to limit mine or at least not do it in front of you guys. Yeah. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, I think the sun's coming up here and yeah, not quite yet. Oh, Not quite yet. Need a hundred dollars to pass the compine. I mean, let's go. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. We know all I too well about that. I was eighty dollars away uh, on a Bulanox account for passing to fund it, and I blown the account. So, yeah, happened. True story. Going to micros, yeah, probably makes sense. You know what Tom did when he was only 80 away? He was like, let's see, five minis for yeah, one Yeah, five point. mini full port. There you yeah. go. Immediately, boom. <laughs> Four ticks. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the account. Uh, sad thing is this, it's a true story. <laughs> it's, either, it's either all or nothing at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, look at this. I think it's going to... Slide down, maybe. No way, Tom. Might... You're you're good. Well, I might gonna close it if it starts to aggressively go down. At least save some, some profits there. I'm sorry, some losses. <laughs> All right, Luke. Hey. We appreciate you watching. Oh, yeah, I mean... thanks for being here, little fish. The moon said it's happened several times. Yeah, it's happened to me before. For sure. Look at this dirty move. It's going down. Oh, such a shame. I was really hoping for that. I mean, it, I, I'm still looking for the 26, but I think it's going to sweep some more liquidity before it goes higher. I might have told Tom to exit the trade. He didn't listen. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> that's Another what happens. Off the VWAP. It might, it might, Carlton. It could. Yeah. Looks like it's going to close below this time, though. Yeah. I mean, if it starts to uh, go down again, let me just check. Um, By the way, there is a bearish SMT with the ES here. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah, we can also go down to that 15 minute order block, which we couldn't get down earlier. So <clears throat> this one can be very tricky. All right, I'm short. You're short. All right. See if it rips against me. We do have equal highs above, which I don't like, but. My break even stop will be this swing here at 85, which is where the pivot is. So. There's probably a higher probability that this just ends up being break even than anything. But we have the bearish SMT with the ES, so it's kind of my thought process for entering here. There's an SMT Thank you, there. So if there's any if there's one thing I like about ICT is that it created a what? Nomenclature, what? Nomenclature for us to communicate trading idea. What does that mean? That word's above our pay grade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Tom, did you get stopped out there or no? You're still in it, aren't you? Uh, I'm still in, I think. Yeah, I just switched off the screen. Yeah, I'm still in the trade. 
I don't know how, but I'm still in. Yeah, it closed below the three minute there, and now it's just bouncing. ES bounced yeah. off the VWAP. NASDAQ made it below the VWAP. So let's see what happens. So I don't necessarily like shorting at the VWAP or at a pivot, but hey, you know, we'll take a chance. Yeah, of course. And if it rips our face off, it just rips our face off. We're good. Yeah. I didn't even check to see how big of a stop this is. I guess it's not too bad. 10 points. <clears throat> I'm in the drawdown both ways. Oh, no. Uh, buyer's trying to pop in here. No man clature. Noun, the body or system of names used in particular specialty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's good to know. Only trades. <clears throat> no man clature. No man clature. Interesting word, but yeah. Looks like I'm going to get wrecked. So I don't take the short with equal highs above. Uh, look at that. We're back to round break even. What should I do? I think if I, if I was able to stick this one out, I'm just going to stay with this and let's see what it does. Yeah, there's no point in you closing now. Yeah. ES bounced off the VWAP there, and NASDAQ kind of held the VWAP as well. Looking like it might want to take those equal highs out now. After it suckered me into the short. <laughs> Stopped you out, yeah. Well, we did break a rule here on this short. We shorted with equal highs above, which is against our rules. But, you know, hey. You what some, rule you, did you break? Win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to short with equal highs above. Oh, okay. That's a rule. Okay. That is a rule. That is a rule. I mean, equal highs on the one minute. Yeah, 506.50. Mm -hmm. 506 mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I don't really know. I'm just... Uh, thinking out loud, but uh, one minute equal highs right next to each other. Are those kind of levels significant or no? Do you see? No, they're just price likes to reprice to there. Like if as long as it doesn't mm -hmm. run away from it, like a good distance, it, you know, I never like really it. cared about uh, these kind of candles next to each other on the one minute with equal highs. I mean, yeah, it is equal highs, but I didn't really I guess because I didn't really care about them, I don't know how price reacting to those levels, but you have more experience. No, they're on the three minute also. Oh, three minute too. Oh yeah. yeah three that's minute. the chart that I'm on. Hmm. Looking like it's just gonna be a stop out. If we close above here, we'll take it off. So <clears throat> guys, I don't know what to do with this. My analysis is 526. Uh, I think maybe I should just wait. See what it does. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and kill it here because it looks like we're going to close above. Ten seconds All right, I'm going to I have to go out for a minute. I'll be right back. All right. Well, actually, we're getting a little bit of. All right, it closed above. Yep. So what I like to do if it does close above, because that's my rules, close above, I stop it out. I'm just going to put my move my stop down here just to the top of that candle. 
And if it makes a new swing, then uh, then we'll just be stopped out. Uh, I hate Quan Tyro trying to move the stops. All righty. Stop that. What can you do? What can you do? It hurts. It hurts. I don't hate the short. I mean, it's aggressive. We are in an area of support here. VWAP, we got a pivot at 85. So there was reasons there to maybe not take it. We have equal highs above. That does break my rules in taking the short there. But, you know, hey, we all sometimes we make mistakes. We did have a bearish SMT with the ES. ES took the high. NASDAQ did not. So, you know. <laughs> oh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, did we? Get, I didn't even notice this. Did we hold this or did this close above? Uh, so I actually closed above by one tick. Or did it? That candle closed. That one opened. So now I guess it didn't actually. <sighs> Talking to myself there, guys. Talking to myself. All right, what's going on? We lost. That's what's going on, Tom. We're a loser. Why? What? Why? Why did you lost? What did you do? I took the short. You took the short. I, took I the mean, short. right now you just took a short again. No, no, earlier. <laughs> oh, but that's fine. Not right now. <laughs> if you guys haven't already hit the like button for me, subscribe. If you're not yet subscribe. Again, we're gonna do another giveaway at nine a.m. ish. We'll start the giveaway in that time. Twenty dollars. Yeah. We'll give away five twenty dollars today. Twenty dollars times five. I think that yeah, equals, everyone go check out the Telecom Mouse stream. That equals one hundred dollars. I'm using Tom's money too. Yeah, there you I go. I should hold till your previous TP looks like or bears. Well, I mean, I you know, it's one of those things. Why hold it to here if I know if we close above here, it's very high percentage that it goes here, right? So why not just save myself five points? If I get what you're saying. It's not the worst thing in the world to do that. Like, I don't disagree with you. Like, if you use your swings, right, and you just put in a hard TP, but... I just think that it's probably going to run through here since it closed back above. So that's just how I take it off. But you could do it the other way, too. It could. It could. I just do it on a close above. It saves me money more often than not, so that's why I do it. All right, I can't give away any more money. The boy said that uh, it cuts into it's cutting into my vacation budget, and uh, yeah, we can't have that. So, just kidding. Ha -ha. <laughs> my oh my, this is this every some. I mean, Nasdaq is stopped again. It's just moving one points here and there. Yeah, it moved down just to grab some liquidity and trap me into the short, and then said, "All right, now we're going to give Tom his money." Yeah, ES did take the high. 
I, that's why I said we had a Bears SMT. I mean, like that's one of the reasons I took it. I was like, well, okay, there's an SMT here, which I don't put a lot of weight in those, but I do use those. Um, we inverse the three minute, so. It could still sell back down. We kind of got some like the declining stairs action, you know. A big, Anything can happen. A big green candle, smaller, smaller, red. So it could still turn back down, but we're out of it now. Down five hundred dollars. I, mean, I don't know how I'll ever recover. This is just, uh, this is the worst part when you see it's stopping, but I don't know. I think it still moves up. I really do feel that way, but I also thought it might go down. I thought at worst that would be a break-even trade. It didn't turn out. You know what? Be. I think right now it feels heavy. It can just drop below the, uh, below that 87. Super easy. And take out those uh, swing lows for more liquidity. No, Tom, don't tempt me. Uh, okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm just <sighs> thinking, out, thinking out loud here. Tomorrow all markets are closed, maybe chop. Yeah, we've been chopping all week, though, Bassett. I was, like, hoping for a better day today. One more low, then we pump. I don't know. We'll see only trades. Could be. GDP in one hour. All oh, right. We have the GDP news, right? Uh, yeah. That can shake a little bit. Shake us a little bit there. Might just chop until then, though, huh? Most likely it's going to chop. Uh, it's going to try to tempt me for another short, but I'm not going to take it. Yeah. Looks tempting for a short, man. Yeah, it looks tempting. Now you have the trend liquidity plus middle high liquidity. Yeah, I mean, the short's still valid. I just hate shorting into the VWAP. Yeah, James Lake at 8.30. We do have that. Ugh. The birth of the idiot box. We are kind of in <laughs> an idiot box here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't hate a short here. I mean, I could still get a one to two, but not going to do it. Still got the equal highs above. I don't want to break the rules two times in a row. I don't know what to do here. Should I exit the break even or just leave it on? We we'll still have some time until news, but I don't know if this has the strength to recover to the upside until then. You never move your stop loss, just scale on three micros with three handles. Yeah. That's the thing, Sasha. I mean everybody does it different, right? There's yeah. no right or wrong way to do it. So Exactly, exactly. Um, this gap is valid here. This one is not. It's been traded through on both sides. But you do have one here. Small one minute. It's not really delivering from anywhere. It did sweep a little liquidity on the way back up. So it's not a very strong one. It's very tiny as well. In the grand scheme of things, a very small gap.
Oh, well. Uh, I'm afraid that's what's going to happen until 8.30. Like nothing, just ranging. No movement at all. I would be surprised if if we would see any major movement before the news. Well, I do think your um, long looks good. Uh, I don't think so. This is typical, like, before the news, it's ranging, then starts to sweep liquidity on both sides. And that's it. My stop is too tight for this. And it's going to just go down. It's It can actually go down. Let me check the uh, five minute. Yeah. It has a high chance going down below 84. Sweep some more liquidity. There's a fair value gap also at 83. Sweep that one and maybe go higher from that. But yeah. Max is officially awake. There you go. Max said, the sun is coming up. I can see out the window now. I see squirrels. I will bark. <laughs> oh, he's definitely not hungry. He's got food. <laughs> he has the food. He has the food. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Tom, it's not a good sign. I'm already yawning. I'm only three hours in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm yawning over here too. Like, oh man, I'm kind of sleepy. Yeah, I'm although you can open along here, but it's it's risky to enter now because um, no momentum right now. So I'm stuck in this trade. So yeah. yeah. And by the way, yeah, your goal is already achieved, so uh, it's the last trading day. I wouldn't risk more. You're up 3% for the day. That is awesome, man. I think you should be just walking away. Or go with the demo account or practice account, you know. They make those? A demo or a practice? Uh, I, I Top Step has them, the practice account. I think, uh, I they mean. Don't, they don't have them on, um, they don't have them for anymore, you, right? Yeah. They don't have an M no. Okay, I thought I that so. they had. I think they got rid of them. And also, um, then maybe you can go with a sim account from Ninja Trader or maybe Quantar. I don't know. Oh, how do you get on the practice account from Top Step? Because I used to used to be able to do it, and now it doesn't. Um... Now that you say so, I don't see the practice account on my list. I only see. My founded account. I don't see practice account on on the list here. Oh, Seven Money says they still have the practice. I don't know. I, maybe on Tradevate. I don't see them anymore on uh, Rhythmics. What up, Clarity? On the dashboard, want to trade? Probably just on top on uh, Tradevate, huh? Probably what it is. But you can do um, a sim account with Ninja Trader, maybe with Quant Tower too. All right, let's I, do it. I don't know exactly. Let's sim it up. Now I don't take the short and watch. It's going to pay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, I attempted to close my position oh. with a smaller loss. If you buy an actual eval from Top Stop, there's a slider on the dashboard to activate. Oh, you got to activate it. Ah, I didn't know that. Oh. On these crazy that. Find it. Yeah. I uh, don't know what to think of this price action anymore. Yeah, it's just idiot box in here. It's kind of what you expect this time of day, right? Oh, yeah, especially before news. So, so yeah. Guys, I don't know if you saw Apex did extend the one-day, one-pass sale. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Only trades. Why can't you type? <laughs> Monday is crazy. Crazy Friday is sleepy. I, I can't type in methodical chats anymore. <clears throat> we will uh, 
attempt to do another giveaway here about nine. So we got an hour and a half ish. So. Okay. I don't want to do too much. I already dug myself a little hole on this, this here eval. So we don't want to be too aggressive and dig a bigger hole. Yeah. <clears throat> Checking on ES. I I think ES could go for one more historical high. Again, it's not that far to make the 53.22. It's like it can do it in New York session. But... If some volume would kick in, it can do it. Yeah, I don't see much going on here. It's just sideways. Bart Simpson pattern. Never heard of that. The other week, my uh, rec my record time, which uh, I was uh, holding the trade, was um, more than five hours. I was sitting in a trade. I was pulling my hair out. It was five hours and 32 minutes, I think. My record time is probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> there you go. I don't hold them. I was, I was like, F it. I actually, I set my stop loss and take profit. So I thought that by the time I get back to the computer, it will be okay. So I got back in a, like two hours. And I saw that it's still ranging. I said, what the F is going on here? And five hours and 30 something minutes. That was the longest time. I think it was, I don't know which, which week anyway. It was not too long ago. All right, Tom, I'm going to take my dog out right quick. So I'm going to leave it to you. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right. BRB. Don't worry. I'll keep it everything on track. All right, guys. So now that Methodical Man is gone, we can finally talk about some real deals and real stuff. So uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to say um, what I'm going to what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to my channel, <laughs> you know, you know. Subscribe to my channel. I have some powerful friend. Uh, I have I have Donald Trump video. I'm gonna put it here for you guys to check it out. Uh, Donald Trump, listen to him. There you go. As soon okay. as I leave, Tom starts playing his top G promotions. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> He's a top G. I'm a top G. I have powerful friends. Elon Musk, you know, Donald Trump. I don't, I don't know about the others, but, you know, I was promised 50% of the shares in Tesla, so I'll be all right. <laughs> Sham said, "Pussy, pussy, pussy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I just walk away for a moment, and that's what happens. 
unfortunately i don't have access to your screen otherwise i would be pushing everything out there <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. Tom sent that to his family members. He was like, look. <laughs> look, I have friends. I have the, friends in higher places. Are, they are my friends. Yeah. I'm going to be working for Elon Musk, guys. You should have um, You should have did one with me saying, Tom is a better trader than me. Actually, I can do that. <laughs> I just figured it out. He all I need is some samples. All I need is some samples from your streams, and I can easily do that. I can easily do that. I'm eating a all banana. Right. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> That's why I don't oh, have no, a camera I just, on. We have, we have a. Oh, what is? Uh, thought we have a lot of vehicle low here, which is almost like that. Man, this range is terrible. Yeah, it's tough to say, Bassett. I don't think there's much to do here. We should probably transition into just talking about BS at this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cannot really do anything. We attempted the short. It failed us. I'm crying, and then... Yeah, he's crying. I do really want to think about what accounts I might send at open. Let me see. And it is something to think about there. Mm. Getting tired of this price action. I don't really want to hold this trade, even if it goes higher. I mean, I'm just tired of this trade. But move over to CL or GC. I don't know. Are they moving, James? Are they cleaner? Uh, sweet Al, the news is at 8.30, so yeah, 8.30 Eastern, it's, what time would that be for you? Yeah, 7.30, you're correct. CL or GC. Yeah, I don't, I mean, like, it's, I think we break out. And it kind of feels that way to me. We're kind of generating some trend line liquidity here. Mm -hmm. So it feels like we eventually kind of break out of this. And there is some, but there's trend lines up and down too. So just narrowing down very much. I mean, trend line here, trend line from down as well. So it's going to narrow down until 8 a.m. And it's going to stay like that until the news. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean, it might take a little while, but I'm just saying, like, I think eventually, you know, we can get some uh, a pop. Yeah, 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 true, true. But we'll see. We are, it's kind of a, yeah, I guess it is kind of like a wedge, right? You kind of got that little wedge. Let me draw this stuff out here. It'll be, you know, it'll be perfect. Beautiful. Oh, you watched yesterday that Elite, or you talking about Elon selling stops on some short video? Could be. Oh, he's selling stocks again. 
I don't know, Jamal. I guess it could kind of go either way here. We'll see. I mean, it's setting up to me like it might want to break out, but who knows? I mean, right now, it seems like it's just going to break lower. Let me check the five minute. Yeah. And maybe There's liquidity after, below 84. There you go. After it takes Tom's stop, you know. Yeah, exactly what it does. <laughs> exactly. Wedge. Yeah, the wedge. And I am officially out. There you go. I'm out from the trade. I Dang, am Tom, out. We both lose. There you go. That's what happens. And let's see if it wants to. I don't think it's going to do anything crazy until the news right now. That was a little decent. Like ES is just really dumping here. It's a little decent. Yeah. 7.30. Right at 7.30. Was there anything at 7.30? Dropped like, well, 15, 12 points. Not a big deal, but it's just enough for it to sweep some liquidity. On the five minute, we are in this fair value gap. But since news is coming, I think uh, I think it's just going to stay like this. What's the time here? Yeah, so news is mark it up. This is right there. I'm going to use a different style. There. Walters is still holding the short. Nice. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Still almost an hour until the news. The question is, is it going to take some more lows here? You know, if my fund of futures let us trade between the news, I mean, on the evaluation account at my fund of futures, um, you can do whatever you want. On the funded accounts, uh, there is a you have to close the trades before two minutes before news, and you can reopen them two minutes after the news. Also, no pending orders, so that applies for pending orders too. So you have to be flat. Two minutes before and uh, and until so there's a four minute window technically, but it's not for all kind of news. There's a list basically for NFP, FOMC, and uh, what else? Something something like CPI, I think. So these are the main ones. Otherwise, but it's only for the funded account. On evaluation account, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Yes, Sasha. Well, it's one of those things where you have to trade your way. I have to trade mine. You know what I mean? Some of those, um, sometimes it's, I don't normally trade this time of day, right? So in New York, a, a close back above typically means it's just going to run higher. So it might just be a product of the time of day. Who knows? But obviously that time it cost me, but typically it saves me when we do it that way. It's just how it goes. But, you know, there's no right or wrong way. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yes, back down to the uh, 250s. Bit... What is that? The Asia low. Again. Oh, it's going there. Okay. Okay. No problem, I'm going to do. Nice little sell-off there. Funny thing is, it's not even really that big of a move, right? But you just feel like it's a big move because when you're stuck in that little tight range like that for so long, it makes it feel like a bigger move than it really is. Yeah, we'll see what OTE of this leg down is. I don't even know. Yeah, we're right there at it now. We're at it. So, well, that's one of the things I'm working on, Sasha. We got to get better. 
Got to get better at it. There's always improvements to be made. Always. Exactly. That's what trading is about. Constant learning. You got short at 98 and the wick up to 99.50 stopped you out and then it dropped. Yeah, that sucks, Riley. I don't think about what Sasha's straight saying. I just ate a $500 loss and we could have made. I mean, I don't know. Where was my entry? But that's the thing. Like, you just don't, don't know, know, right? You don't know what it's going to do. I think. What kind of news are we waiting? GDP, okay. unemployment. So, unemployment claims, uh, I'm not really into these economic numbers, but they are expecting a higher number, which means more unemployed people. Um, I read somewhere that it's actually right now, you know, the labor market is very tight in the US. And so if there is more unemployment claims, that is actually good for the stock market, but I don't know why. Um, I don't know, Tom, I don't read into those news. I just like people ask me all the time, like, do you think this is going to do this? And I say, I have no idea, nor do I care. I just, uh, yeah, I mean, I just trade what I see, and if the news does something, they do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do have a pretty big one minute here with an imbalance there, but I don't love that there's kind of two gaps in this leg. Hey, Nesversity. Yeah, Methodical Man is on the stream. There's his link up there. Check him out. Subscribe to his channel. We're doing a joint stream there. And yeah, today is a special day. Yeah, I don't know if the Fed will lower their... I don't know. It's one of those things, Vultures. Like I said, I don't really get into it because I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They do what they want to do and... Whether, uh, whether the market goes up or down, like you can have good news and the market could dump 200 points. You can have bad news and it could pump 200 points. It's just no way of knowing how the market will react. Higher unemployment will ensure the Fed will not raise and might lower interest rates. Yeah, it could be. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Uh, do you have to keep refreshing your charts on Quantower, Tom? Like every time you change timeframes? Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I did notice that too. Let me check it again. I was like, literally so every time I, I change time frame, I have to switch. I, I mean, it's refresh. refreshing automatically. It's automatically refreshing. See, mine does it. So I don't have to refresh it manually. It does it automatically. Yeah. I don't know why mine keeps doing that. I keep having to manually refresh it. And I have the updated uh, download. That could be the problem, right? Mm -hmm. I got could the be. Updated, updated link. Oh, yeah, they might lower the rates if there's an economic slowdown. That's true. Which data is more important, GDP or unemployment? I have no idea, Ravi. I have no idea. What do you think, Tom? Well, I think unemployment claims claims would be uh, more important. GDP is, well, month to month, it's not that. No, it's quarter. It's quarterly GDP, sorry. I think unemployment claims would be 
more important. And also pending home sales, I think it's also very important. It really shows how how the households are able to spend their money and how the uh, it, it gives a clearer picture of economy, I think, the home sales. Once again, guys, we're I mean, going to do you... a giveaway at 9 a.m., $20 for a 50K account, if that's what you want to use it for, or a beer with Tom Sabo. Oh, absolutely. So, Tom's favorite beer is... Um, you wouldn't guess Mike's it anyways. Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> yes, or any kind of, um, what do they call this, wine cooler. <laughs> also, but the best beers are from the Czech Republic. You know, they are making the best beers in Czech. Uh, yeah. Lagan, do we recommend FlexiTrade? I just got funded with FlexiTrade, so I don't know. I'm trying them out. I think, I think they just activated my account. Let's see. Yeah, so I just got my Flexi Trade funded account just now, and so we'll be trading that today, and try to see if we can. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can get that to pay out. Take one for the team there and see if uh, we get it to pay out and see if they actually pay. I assume they do, but I don't know. White Claw, yeah, that'd be a good one for uh, Tom. The White Claw. I like the I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Server Thanos, yeah, Bulanox is just the first month right now for ninety percent off, and then it goes back to regular price. But uh, tip, the, so a lot of times the Bulanox sale is recurring, but this one is not. So if you do pick up an account, just cancel it uh, if you fail it. Still holding the nine EMA on that drop. <laughs> Only trade says a vodka cruiser. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Sounds interesting. So, Tom, what is your favorite beer? Well, um, it's hard to tell because I'm not really a beer person. Or, I mean, I like wine too, but uh, hard to tell. Um, I really don't know. Uh, I don't want to say some fancy names because, as as far as I can tell, I didn't really feel much difference of a fancy trademark beer and a cheap one but um we have some uh we have some very old hungarian beer brands here <laughs> that we're drinking so see the so proper answer it. to that one to that question tom is yeah yeah an, is an open one right it's an open one yeah bubba j yeah you know who bubba j is no you, do you know who, uh, what, is this, what is that guy's name? He's a ventriloquist, uh, Jeff Dunham. Mm, that sounds familiar. That sounds very, very familiar. Yeah, he has that a name. character on his thing. He says, uh, he asked Bubba J, what's your favorite kind of beer? Uh, an open one? An open one. <laughs> I like that. Server Thanos, you might pick up uh, two. Yeah, that's a good idea. Soprani, says Morris. Soprani. Hmm. Yeah, when it's Soprani. Him. Let's see here. All right. The fiance told me the lunch is ready. It's getting cold, and my head is going to get chopped down. So. Your head's gonna get chopped. Yeah, if I don't eat the fresh the lunch. The you've always dreamed of, <laughs> with a fast and reliable. Right. Right. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna yeah. cut it here because I'm not sure I'm gonna enter any trades until later. So um, yeah, took a little bit of a loss here, but it is what it is. Uh, but it was nice. It was a great session. So I liked it. I liked it very much. So. <laughs> Thank you. What? I was just laughing at the Bubba J thing. Oh, Bubba J. Yeah, guys, hit the like button, subscribe. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to Tom, check him out. The link's in the uh, chat there, pinned at the top of the chat. And uh, uh, hit the like yeah. button and subscribe for me as and well. And the same goes for, for Methodical Man to you guys. That, there's the link. Go check him out. So 
Uh, I might uh, come back a little bit later, maybe around the New York Open or something like that. But uh, it was an honor for me being here on the stream with you guys. So thanks for the invitation. And I'll be lurking around, all right? So don't do anything uh, crazy trades here, all right? All right, Tom. <laughs> we'll see you. Appreciate you joining. <laughs> thanks. See you guys. Only trades a sub. Let's go. I'm uh, going to end this. There we go. And then let's go over here to adjust this. Clean it back up. Uh, only trade. Sweet Al. Nice. Can I explain Bulanox option one versus option two? Yeah, Bulanox option two basically is like the end of day drawdown account. So it's basically like, um, kind of like top step or my funded futures. There's no, I don't think there's a daily loss limit, but you have, uh, it just calculates it at the end of the day. So show you here. So the option two is only 83% off. Wait, no, wait, that's option one. So you have 58% off. So it's just an end of day. No, no scaling. It does have a daily loss limit. So that's the difference. It's a little more expensive. But that's really the only difference there. Option one is going to be the intraday trailing drawdown. You'll get 90% off. $3,000 profit target. $2,500 $2, in drawdown. So unrealized profit. So if you're up 500 in a trade and you don't take profit and then you lose 500 you have now taken $1,000 off of uh, your drawdown. Whereas with the end of day, same scenario, you just only, we would only lose the amount that you lose. So if you lose 500 and it's at 500 at the end of the day, then that's how it's calculated. That would be how it is calculated Paul says, great check beer, Kozel. Peroni. You need to refresh. You made a hot key. Yeah, I was looking at the, uh, I don't want to play it and get like a strike, but it, it, this is funny that Bubba J, what's your face? Where'd you meet your wife? At the family reunion. I don't know, kind of funny. So I do want to turn on some music. So I am going to turn off the ability to hear through my headphones. And nothing to do here, guys and gals. We're just waiting. I mean, uh, if we inverse this, we might take it, but it's not even that clean. We do have the news at uh, 8.30, so, which is only about 40 minutes away at this point. Rat Lord Trades will be with us at about 9 a.m., maybe 9.15. I don't know exactly. Somewhere in that time, 9, 9.15. And then we'll have Husk Trader with us at about 11-ish. And then uh, Nutty Bar, probably 2 o'clock. 2 to 2.30, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Flexitrade, is it worth a try? I mean, I'm trying it, Bassett, but only one account. There was a guy in Tom's stream, I don't know who it was, who said he's funded, and but he didn't mention if he had taken a payout. So I'm not sure if he has or hasn't. But I don't know. It's one of those things, kind of tried at your own risk. I did sign up for a affiliate with them, but... I don't think it's approved yet. Yeah, I don't think it's approved yet. So they do have a 90% off sale right now. I mean, you can get 10 accounts for 150 bucks. And then the activation fee is 130 
108, I think, or 139. So it's kind of like try at your own risk type deal. All right, you guys can't hear that music, right? You shouldn't be able to, but. Perfect. So there's no consistency rule in the funded account. And... Oh, wait. Is there a consistency rule? I don't know. They The way they do it is weird. You don't really... Doesn't give you all that much information, to be honest. To get my volume up a tad? Uh, I don't know, Tim. It's already... Yeah, I like Top Step, too. I have three Express funded accounts with Top Step as well. Uh, let me look at my volume. I mean, like, it's already pegging out at negative 15. And I try to, like, keep it in the green. I mean, I could turn it up a little bit. You can see, like, right there. It's kind of the area I like to keep it. I don't want to be too loud for some people. Uh, anyone else think it's uh, low? If you think it's low, I can turn it up, but... Yeah, I'm usually much lower, but that's because, like, my, uh, <laughs> I don't turn my gain up. All right, I turned it up a little bit there. Let me see. Let me check it now. Testing, one, two, testing, testing, testing. Flexi is the new Apex. I don't know. Uh, do I use Tradezilla? No, I don't use Tradezilla. I like Tradezilla. I think it's a good it's it's a good um, option, but I just don't use it. I don't use it myself, but I do manually journal my trades, so that's the main reason why. I don't even know how much Tradezilla costs. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I want you to hear me and not the music. <laughs> you guys haven't already hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Once again, we are going to be doing a giveaway at 9 a.m. $20 for a 50K account. So we got another hour. May start it in a few minutes. Chow Tang, after seven days, you're up 3500 for all seven PA accounts. Let's go. They banned you. What? Why would they ban you? Well, that's the only thing. Um, we'll see. NASCOP guy. They got to gotta make sure they pay out. You're going to write your own trade Zella? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, There's a couple of different ones you can use that are free. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with trade Zella. I think it's neat. The interface is really neat. So, I don't know, Camille. That's the problem. Like, do we don't know if it pays out. I don't know of anyone that's taking a payout. So, so far, everything seems fine. But do they pay out? Like, when you allow someone to get 20 funded accounts and, you know, you got to realize you're going to have big-time hitters that can get in there and swing for the fences and get six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar $800,000 payouts – do they got pockets deep enough to uh, to withstand that sort of thing? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
Nice job, Walters. 450s, 450. So you can't log into the website. It reminds me, I don't know. You should get an email if it wasn't approved, Chow Tang. And I don't, I've never heard a reason for Apex not to pay out, you know, like, unless, I don't know. Yeah, they do have max withdrawals, but eventually the max withdrawals goes away, right? I don't, the thing is with FlexiTrade, I don't know a lot of the rules because in their frequently asked questions, they don't really have all the answers that you need. All right, let me look. Maybe you can, maybe it is better here. All right, performance account, trolling drawdown, overnight trading, number of contracts. Payout policy, let me look. Understanding the payout policy is an important part of trading, flexi trade. After successfully completing the challenge, traders enter, enter into a profit sharing arrangement where they keep the lion's share of the profits earned. The profit split is structured so that traders retain 90% blah 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 before we can proceed with your payout we first need to conduct an account valid validation to do this we just need to submit some necessary documents it's a straightforward process so the first thing we need to know is they have a safety net in place so for the 25k it's 1600 for the 50k it's 2600 you can request your first payout after your profit exceeds our safety net and your balance reaches the minimum $500 request. So on the 25K, the maximum withdrawal amount is $1,500 on the other one. They do have a consistency rule as well, 30%. The payouts are requested at any time during the month, but processing of payments will be done at the end of the month. Once you request a withdrawal, your account will be held until the end of the next trading day. After that, your account balance will be adjusted. So basically, they re they move, remove the money the next day, but they don't pay you till the end of the month. I don't know. You only plan to use trailing drawdown accounts for trade evade later. Well, I was talking a little louder when I'm was reading there, Tim. Also, I did I moved the mic closer. We'll point it up for you. I did turn the gain up too. If you guys didn't see, Apex did extend the one-day pass. 80% off one-day pass. I was hoping for a 90% sale, but we didn't get it. So it is what it is. We didn't get one, so we just got to go with the 80% off sale one-day pass. Bulinox still has the 90% off sale, which is nice. So if you are interested in trading futures and you want to support the channel, check out the Bulinox link and the code down below. Apex link and code down below or above me, actually. And then um, we also have Top Step. $49. You get 20% off Top Step if you use my link. If uh, you're new to Top Step, you get 50% off your first reset. We got Take Profit Trader with 50% off. Link down below. And... Uh, my Funded Futures is currently running a 30% off, no activation fee. So $70 all in for a 50K account using the code MM. Link in the description for that as well. So, All 
All right, we're going to jump back in here. Good morning, Daniel. Uh, I don't know. I'll look in a second for you, James. I'm not sure. Good morning, Anna. <laughs> Going to get you on 50 accounts. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, this swing will be our break even. We'll scale one there. Might target that 25 area. We'll see. Break even stop after we hit this first TP. All right, break evens in. See if this thing, uh, yeah, let's let's move this up. Kind of the low hanging fruit for me would be the 06. That would be what twelve handles. But I think we can target up here. So we'll see. I try only, I, I, don't, I don't know if they pay me enough, but I do my best. Skyfire down big on 150K eval. Yeah, that's going to happen sometimes with bots though, Andy. <laughs> You've missed the trade, uh-oh. Yeah, you did say you were looking for that one minute to inverse. I did see that. So we're at break even now. We'll just see how high it can go. Maybe we can uh, get some of our losses back here, obviously. Yes, already at the highs. And that kind of makes me want to kind of makes me want to just take it off at the 06, but I'm trying to decide, do I take that off at the 06? Or do we see how price reacts? Rip all day, I would like it to. My funded futures rocking $32 resets. Yeah, I did see that. That's a good deal, $32 resets. Use my link for that as well. We also get credit for that. Closer is a big difference. Thank you, Tim. 586, easy target. I don't know. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think we go higher, but I just don't know. Yeah, it is, uh, Bassett. That was the thing. Like, once you sign up and you actually get an account, it, it does release much more information to you. I don't know why they do it that way. I have no idea, but you have to take it for what it is, right? Here's the thing, like, I know we're going to hit the 06. I don't know that we're going to hit the 15s. Seems reasonable to think that we will, but the ES has already taken the high there. Triple top there at 06. If you don't chase it, <laughs> it'll push to all-time highs. Oh. My problem is I think we might just run the 06 and then turn back down, so. Only trades is in. All right. I hope it goes. Mm hmm. I'm going to put a.
I just don't like that the ES has ran the highs already. That's what has me a little concerned. Commissions on Flexi? I don't know, Jamie. I'll look. You took profit at 505. Probably a smart move, Riley. I mean, honestly, I don't see how it doesn't run through the 06, but, like, does it have to? No. I don't really like that reaction either. I'm just going to take it off. It's going to lock in a little bit. It might still go. We'll see. Yeah, I don't like that reaction there. I, I think it, I don't see how it doesn't run through the 06, but I'm just going to lock in a couple hundred bucks there and just be done with it. All right, let me see. Commissions. Somebody else asked something too, right? I mean, I would assume that the commissions are the same as any other prop, but let's just see. I actually don't see anything on here about commissions. I do not see anything on here about commissions. I don't think you're missing anything. I don't see it. Yeah, we're talking about flexi trade chow ting. What are you talking about, James? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh Well, I'm in a. I'm not paper handing my trades, Naz. I I didn't like the reaction there, so I took it off. I think it's fine. I'm allowed to do that. Flexi had an exploit with the affiliate program for unlimited evals, but they patched it. Oh, did they? I know they give a free they give you a free account once you become a affiliate. Eighteen five oh six is opening price. You're saying in London this is the third attack of that level. Yeah. I just didn't like the reaction there. The ES had already made new highs, so that's all. That's why I took it off. I, I felt like it was gonna stop me at break even, so I just took the five points. I don't normally do that, but uh, the hourly, let me see. I mean, it's choppy on the hourly, right? We're holding this big gap here. It's been tested. I mean, if we close above kind of that 06, oh, that 15 area, this hourly candle can close above there. Then I think we moved to 571, 605s, equal highs at 605s. So it really just depends. Let's check the four hour though. Yeah, kind of the same same deal there on this four hour. It's like it's like this, Nas. Like when we get this close to equal highs and we don't just blast through there. That's not a good sign, right? When you have this get this close to equal highs and we don't just pop right through there, not a good sign. And then you get this, I don't know, what is this, 10-point candle, eight, nine-point candle, red candle. So, like, I just don't like that. So, that's all. That's why I took it off. Now, does it mean that it's 
not going to work. No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that I'm not willing to risk it. I'm just going to lock in a few dollars and move on. That's all. Yeah, I could just double top, retrace, then go back through it. That's probably what will happen. But, And I'm okay with not being involved. There will be more opportunities. More opportunities. Hey, um, Smurf, have you heard of anybody getting a payout with uh, FlexiTrade? Because that was kind of my curiosity about them. Number one. Number two, what the hell are you doing awake so early, Smurf? <laughs> uh, no, I get it, Naz. I was just giving you an explanation. I was giving you an explanation, man. That's all. Rejection, rejection. You would think this gap would hold. You would think it would hold. So I would have been stop break even there. So at least, I, you know, I saved myself five points. And that was, you know, it's like kind of the reason I was thinking of taking everything off at 06, just because of the way the ES looked like, I don't know. I didn't like that the ES ran the highs already. ES is definitely leading the way today. Much stronger than the uh, nasty, than the old nasty. You fell asleep mad early. Oh, man. You haven't seen anybody getting a payout from them yet? I got you. Yeah, that's just what we're curious about. Your account is not yet being approved. You'll be notified by email once they reviewed your account. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's an Apex Reminds? Hmm. There must be something just going on, Chow. I don't think I'd freak out and think they banned you. I don't see a reason for them to like if you've done nothing wrong then and it's kind of hard to do something wrong right so short of maybe trading the news or and even then i don't think they ban you they probably just don't pay you so you took a nap at 7 p.m california time to be awake for this let's go i tried riley I laid down last night at seven o'clock and I, when I tell you guys that I laid there until 10 o'clock, it's the hardest thing in the world to go to sleep early. And I don't know why it is, but I literally lay there from seven to 10, did not touch my phone at all. I turned on like rain on a tin roof, still couldn't go to sleep. And then, uh, finally went to sleep, woke up at one thirty. Was up for like an hour, fell back asleep at 2.30-ish, and then woke back up at 3.30 for this. So, it might be a tough day. What up, Joaquin? What up? Yeah, it was tough getting to sleep last night. I don't know why. I tried. I did everything right. I did not take a nap yesterday. I tried to go to bed early. Just, the body was just like, nah, not doing it. Yeah, we're still alive. Uh, we're doing okay, Joaquin. We were green in the London session. We were up two. What well, we were up like two sixty five, two seventy five on three uh, three funded accounts, and then we're down three hundred and ten here on this eval, um, all because of Tom Sabo. But it had nothing to do with me. I one hundred percent blame Tom Sabo. If I wasn't on live with Tom, I would have been green. You know what I mean? <laughs> Count sheep. There's no sheep around here. This is Tom's long entry. Yeah, it probably is. Market structure shift. You know, fair value gap on the three minute. I got to blame somebody. May as well blame Tom. The funny thing is, Tom and I, we have completely different styles. So, like, 
you know, sometimes his works, sometimes my works, my style works. It just depends. So like me, I would never long this fair value gap because I don't like blindly longing gaps. You know, you guys saw me do that earlier, but just kind of messing around. I don't like blindly longing them, but I usually take, you know, if it traded through this gap, then I might would take it. We do have a bearish SMT. ES has already taken the highs. NASDAQ obviously didn't. The only problem I have with this short would be this here. These are not exact equal highs. They're off by a tick. But, you know, how does price not come back to here? So I expect this gap to hold. Especially if we're going to continue higher, right? We expect the gap to hold there. So what, equilibrium, I guess, brings us back to 90. I don't know. Maybe it does close below. We'll see. Good morning, Husk. Waiting on the news play. Let's go. Yeah, I guess we do have news in 12 minutes. I forgot about that. Um, Alistair, good morning. What do we think? No, Bassett. Tom doesn't have that problem, so I don't know why it's doing that. It does that to me, too. It's annoying as hell. It really bugs me. But Tom's Tom's doesn't have that problem. If you guys haven't already hit the like button for me, subscribe. Once again, we're gonna have we're gonna have um Rat Lord on here at about nine. And then Husk, who's in the chat right there, he's a new trader. Husk is gonna be on somewhere around the eleven o'clock hour. And then we'll have Nutty Bar on in the afternoon. Probably two o'clock ish. So that's the lineup for the day. We will do a $20 giveaway at nine, somewhere in, we'll start at around nine. We'll probably give it away at like, I don't know. We'll give it away at some point, some point between nine and 10. I'm not going to say an exact time because we might do it before market opens because that seems to be the best thing to do, but we'll see. You think Jay Pyle is going to drop the market huge? Maybe. I don't know. Um. Anybody? I don't know. What do you guys expect on the news there? Let's kind of think about it. Let's think about the news. What could it do? Let's think about it. $32 giveaway? <laughs> Why $32, NASCAP got? Oh, to reset on my funded futures, I guess. Uh, you think it pumps, Joaquin? I mean, here's the thing. Like, you don't really know, right? But it might resweep that liquidity just one more time and then go. Finally got your webcam and mic set up. Let's go. Yeah, anytime you want, Riley. It's all good. Anytime, anytime. We are kind of generating some low resistance liquidity here. I got a little quick run up at 830. They're kind of leaning towards that. Got the equal highs of the 06. We got that area up there. I thought I marked this out. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I switched charts. Yeah, maybe the news takes us through here. 26 area.
Uh... Yeah, that's the thing, Bassett. You always kind of have a dip and a rip or a rip and a dip. Uh, what music do I have going right now? <laughs> 90s jam right now. This is uh, Melissa Alana Alana set Head over feet. I try to trade it up. I try to change it up every day. So, Mad Moxie, you're back. Let's go. No, I didn't eat anything yet, Mad Moxie. Well, a banana. 40 point range since last night, but that's actually good for the New York session, right? Like this is your typical range. This is what you kind of want to see. Actually, like fifty-seven points. But yeah, it's that's a good range for New York for us to be able to maybe have a decent, decent New York session this morning. Yeah, cranberries in there. I'm sure we had a full honest moment on the Discord the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what else is on here. I just do random playlists. So, yeah, Linger is coming on now. Smashing Pumpkins, Wallflowers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stained. Black Crows, Kid Rock, Hootie and the Blowfish, R.E.M., Three Doors Down, Hinder, Nickelback, Incubus, Oasis, Matchbox 20, Puddle of Mud. It's a wide variety. But I just, like, I'll start a playlist just, and I'll randomly, I'll just listen to the whole thing. I'm not like a person. I listen to all kind of music, so... And when I see all kinds, like anything from like rock to rap to alternative to hip hop, I mean, I listen to everything. Screaming music, not so much. All right, we got six minutes till the news. I can't, Deej, I can't. They'll, uh, we cannot play music, unfortunately. Copyright issues. Yeah, same thing, Riley. That's why I play it. I'm like, oh, I don't even remember. I don't. I remember that song from 20 years ago, but, you know. <laughs> Only trade. Daddy needs another eval. All right, hold on, guys. I got to take this phone call. All righty, I'm back. Yeah, YouTube rules. Ten evals, only trades. Let's go. Take it. Pick it up. Let's do it. I mean, I don't know. We got news here in four minutes. I mean, should we try to? Eh. Oh, yeah, you can't trade news on my funded futures. So if I did it, we would have to switch to a Bewley. All right, let me see. What's up, excommunicado? Good morning. I don't know. You guys want me to full send a Bewley, or should we do it at open? We could full send one on the news. I don't really know. Could just blow it for sure, but... We have this Bewley here. Do it at open? Yeah, open makes more sense, I think, but news is kind of unpredictable. And we may not get the move that we want. But we could go seven Connies. Uh, 
We need three thousand dollars. I think that's I don't know how many ticks that is. Let's see. Three thousand divided by one hundred and forty dollars. That's twenty one and a half points. So it's like eighty six ticks. So we'll just say you just say eighty eight to be safe. Something like that. Full port. That's what we'll do. Stay high, traders. Do not gamble. <laughs> Let the uh, trades come to you. <laughs> if you hold on to loser hoping, just remember you're risking it all and living in shame. <laughs> we do that every day, Naz. We risk it all and live in shame every day. Guys, the goal, we got a pretty lofty goal today on the subscriber count. We want to get to 2750. So 2750. We're at 2651. So we need 99 more subscribers by the end of the day. Let's go. I mean, it's a lofty goal, right? You always set your goals high. And then by the end of next week, we want to be at the 3000 mark. Build a cushion first with one to three minis. I don't know. I mean, NASCAR, I just like to get it done in one trade. Either pop it or pop it. Every day you live in shame. You have to be at level of shame on par with it. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, I just want a full sender. All right, we got a minute and a half. Maxi. He's got that little going on over there. Like, he wants to bark. He's unsure. Should I bark? Should I not bark? I don't know. We might get a setup here at 830 News. We'll see. So, like, the way I like to play the news, if you guys have watched it, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, what we like to do is we want a wick, and then we want it to move away from one or the other, give us some sort of inversion setup back to the other side. So we'll see. All right, I think we're going up because this candle before the news is closing down. So I think we probably go up on the first move here. We'll see. Market only goes up. The 20 accounts is boom. That's right, Chow. You got to get it. Usually if I'm making a news play, I'll, I'll switch down to like the 15-second chart. And then wait for that. Uh, 18,290. I mean, that's a 200 point move down. It could, though. So I think we just pump through the 26s here. That's my lean. But we'll see what happens. I actually prefer it to go down just because then we got to set up back to the upside. I think that seems okay, but we'll see what happens. It may not be that violent. Count it down. Here we go. There's the news. Mm, not much. Not much. All right, now it goes. A little of a delay there. So our thought process right there was correct. See, we should have full ported. We would have passed right there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you made four to five thousand every week in yourself. Nice. Yeah, the twenty accounts does sound good. Yeah, following the rules is a big deal, scalp guide. I get it. So we'll take these targets off. 
Oh, wait, I was in an eval. I guess I could have traded the news. It's strange. The ES made a way bigger move than the uh, NASDAQ did there. Well, I guess maybe not. Seven points. It just looked bigger. It just looked bigger. So I got the 30-second chart set up here um, off stream, and I'm watching the one minute as well. So, Nah, I'm no gambler, NASCOUT. I'm no gambler. I like to gamble, but I'm not a gambler. Not yet. Maybe on an eval. Yeah, eval. Yeah, it does got a little more girth. You're right. <laughs> Go See, Tom just got his losses back. See, I didn't know he had losses, but... <laughs> Tom, you had losses? I thought I was the only one in the red. Tom over there trading behind the, uh, <laughs> behind the scenes. I'm thinking of shorting myself, but I'm waiting for... Her some sort of a setup and she's just going to go without me so we probably run through the 94s here at least yeah that's kind of my thought so all right a little scalpy still probably runs through the 94s didn't quite get there Oh, he over leveraged. Mate, Tom, did you over leverage? I don't know. He might have. Still left these equal lows down here at 94. Still didn't run that wick, so I expect us to run that. Nice. Good job, only trades. <laughs> Time for the showers. All right, I'm going to scalp it again. Risky, 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 but we're going to do it. We're going to risk it for you guys. I'm going to take one off. And we're going to take the other one off just right there. Should run through there. If it doesn't quickly go through there, then I'm just going to kill it. All right. I'm just going to kill it. Just going to kill it. Did I lose the money there? I thought I was only down 170. Maybe I was down more than that. Maybe it was 270. I don't know. Yeah, 26 got tagged. All right, now it runs it without me. That's eh, okay. Just trying to take some quick ins and outs there. So now it ran the data low. I mean, like, you could have shorted here, right? Could have souped this, but it's like you expect it to come back down here. I try to wait for an entry, but sometimes you just got to jump in, I guess. Yeah, Tom, I was expecting to move up to 526 right there at the news. We got it. But... Let's check a couple of other time frames. Good morning, Predator. <laughs> I'll try my best today, NASCOUT God. Trust me, I'm 
trying to do the best I can. Doesn't always work out, but I try to do my best. Here's the thing, like, you know, it's uh, it's hard. You know, I take losers just like anybody, but we get the FOMO. We get all that stuff, too, just like everybody else. So we're kind of running this low resistance liquidity here. You, know, you could push all the way down to kind of that 450 area. We talked about that. I was, I think I spoke like I would like for it to run kind of this first and then take out those highs would have been more logical for me. I, I would have liked that a little better just based on how the structure is, but the market doesn't care what we prefer. It does what it wants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're on our old friend right now, the 30-second chart. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. We might not be friends anymore if, if this trade doesn't work. Like I do. I'm just kidding. We'll be friends. We'll still be friends. Uh, Apex have rules for trading news. Yes. Um, during the eval, no, but during the funded stage, yes. So if we get back above that wick right there, then I'll have to break even stop it based on my rules. Those are the rules. Volume's kind of disappearing. Kind of holding up here at the VWAP. We have a pivot as well down there at 85. And I am being aggressive here, guys, so keep that in mind. We are being very aggressive. with about half size here. So we gotta close back below, so I'm gonna move my stop to that swing. So if it makes a new swing low, it'll just stop me out. Otherwise, we'll just have a hard stop there. Get back above this wick, we'll break even stop it. 
So just going to follow the rules there just like I would on any other trade. And we'll see what happens. I always trade more than one contract, Chow. Always. Now, uh, typically, um, if I'm trading on an eval, I'm going to trade two minis, right? Unless it's the 30K static, I'll trade probably five micros, maybe 10. But uh, most of the time, I'll trade two minis on an eval. If I'm on my funded account, I'll uh, I'll usually stick to the um, if I'm on the funded account, I'll stick to the micros usually, not always. And that's why me and the thirty second chart aren't friends anymore. We're not friends anymore. Thirty second, we're not friends. Oh. So 8.42 a.m. here. Let's see here. Yeah, I try to stay off the 30 second chart, but you know, I get tempted sometimes. Are you going to go stand on a stool upside down? All right, all right, all right. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, I try to stay off the 30 second chart just because, like, I'm not saying the setups don't work, they do. And I'm sure if you took every one, if you only traded 30 second, it'd be fine, but. Let's see if we can put the pivots on here. I'd like to have the pivot points on here. There we go. Yep, true NASCAL. <laughs> Appreciate whoever just subscribed, didn't get a notification, but we appreciate you. Let's go, Art's the man. Welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for the subscription there, Art. We sling it around, Art, at least for right now, on an eval. We're slinging it around this morning.
Yeah, I think one. I mean, two two minis is fine on a fifty k account. It's it's still tight, right? You gotta have tight risk management there. I mean, like I'm not gonna let it go more than eight or ten points, kind of in the red there. So it's okay. I mean, everybody's different. It just depends on what you want to do. I went half size there on that trade because I knew it was higher risk. Obviously, we still have all this liquidity down here that we should be able to run. We still have, you know, we still have targets down here to the downside. But, you know, as far as setups go, it was fine. As far as my 30-second setups go, I'm not mad about it. We're still in this huge 15-minute gap here. And like I don't have that marked out, but I know it's there, right? So retapping into this. Twelve hour stream today, boys and girls. We're about five hours into the stream right now. So another seven hours to go. Let's see if we hold up. See if we lose our mental capacity. I feel like we'll be all right. I would like to get I got two accounts that are really close to payout. The idea today is to try to get those there if we have some really good setups. Um this Bulinox account. We're four hundred and fifty six dollars away from taking a payout on this Bewley. I already requested a payout on this one. And this Apex account here, we're about five hundred dollars away from requesting a payout on it. So two trades should get us there. It just depends on if we find the proper, you know, the right setup that we want to take on those. If we don't find it, we don't find it. <laughs> Losing mental capacity is your stage name. Let's go, Oracle in the house. Yeah, Alistair, during London, we're up 268 on three Express Funded accounts. So 268 times three. Then we switched over to this eval, and we, we were down $500 on this eval at one point. We're, you know, obviously we're still down 370 but kind of slinging it around a little bit here. That's okay. I took one trade during the uh, London there that failed on this eval, and we lost 500 bucks on it. So It failed. I tried to fade Tom, and it didn't work. Darn it. We both ended up uh, losing on that trade, I think. He lost his long. I lost my short. It got us both. It got us both. Pushing back up into the pivot here. ES back above the VWAP. We ran this liquidity. We're delivering from a 15-minute gap. There's just no setup here. There's just not a setup. Three-minute. just not anything there uh there might be a five minute setup here okay no there's not the the uh the chart lied to me so there's just no third there's no setup here for me on a long and always remember when you're looking for a long off of like a reversal or a sweep of a decent area you know we really swept this low most likely, it's not going to just go like that. Not typical. Usually, it's like higher low, then go. So that's what we'll wait for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, just need two to three thousand dollars. Let's go. That's it, chow. All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom right quick, guys. So give me about two, three minutes. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're back. All right. Let me reach out to the Lord that is rat. and see what time he's going to be on here. Maxie, come on, man. Rat Lord's probably still asleep. He's seeing a little sheep jump over the moon. Oh, man, this thing is trying to tempt me. There's a 30-second short potential short setup. No, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. The sheep, the sheep are there. Well, this is kind of what we just talked about, right? We want to see a manipulation leg. So like we just said, you know, maybe. Always take the VWAP rejection. Yeah, you could.
You haven't looked at a VWAP in years? The VWAP. VWAP's nice. Oh, man, I'm so tempted here. I like the look of this. It's not my model, but I like this. Bounced off the pivot there, got a little higher low. Hmm. I'm not going to take it, but I like it. The Matilda. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't really close above there, but I think I think this looks okay for maybe a push into like the 502s, 505s maybe. 506 would make sense. Stop at the swing here. Yeah, I'm just looking for like a scalp chow tings when I was thinking of a scalp. Like this imbalance up here looks looks decent enough for a draw. And it's kind of puts you at kind of like probably OTE on this leg. Let's see. I'm just looking at I didn't even fib it. But yeah, that kind of lines up with OTE. So like 506, 507s. All right, hold on. Hello. Hello. Hey, hold on a second. Let me turn this music off. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Nah, I can't mute sc nah, scalp. I don't know. If you don't want to do it that way, then you can just, I can do it from your stream. I can just capture your uh, stream. It'll be a little delay, but that's okay. I'm going to pipe you in now so everybody will be able to hear you, just so you know. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're still All working right. on getting this. Uh... There is the Rat Lord. He is in here. He's, work on. he's working on his camera. Discord does not want to pick it up. Well, it's okay if you don't. I mean, it's not a big deal. I can just do it from your uh, from your stream if you want. I mean, that's what I did with Tom. So, but we're gonna go ahead and start the giveaway, guys. Let's uh, let me go ahead and start the giveaway here. It's gonna be twenty dollars. You gotta have Cash App or PayPal. All right. So there we go. Jump in there. Explanation point cash. I should have changed that to exclamation point rat lord, but you know. I was about to say, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not creative, so. <laughs> we'll probably give it away sometime before the market opens. We'll pick the winner. So, jump so if in I there. have Cash App and PayPal, I can win $40, right? No, you still just get one. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to. You're going to regret having me on here. <laughs> you still just get one. So this long is about to bang that I didn't take. But we outlined it. We just didn't take it. All right. Discord's not wanting to pick this up. So, yeah, we'll just have to do it from the stream. That's fine. Perfectly fine. All right, let me get that. Uh, let me get that started. All right, we tapped into OTE there.
Hey, talk about the market or something so I can, uh, I, I need to make sure your audio levels on my side are good. Hola, me llamo Alan. ¿Y tú? <laughs> I think that's good. I'll just ask. Yo soy tu papá. <laughs> that's what happens. When you ask me to talk about the market. That didn't sound like market talk. Oh. I did my best. I did the best I can. I don't know why this thing's not showing up here. What's that? Um, trying to... Oops. I was trying to capture this window. But it wasn't showing up. Now it's showing up. So we can do this right here. Watch. Let me get this started for you, too. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it should start here in a second all right <laughs> we got rat lord with us don't don't uh um, let's go absent nice job don't pay attention to the live. fact uh 12 hours that he uh that he's stationary don't pay attention to the fact that he's just stationary look at you watching those ads yeah you gotta do it I got no choice. Someone like you doesn't have YouTube premium. Why would I pay for that? I'll take a five second it's, ad. Uh, I've had YouTube premium since they came out with it. I don't, I don't know how long ago. It's the best thing ever. I just, you know. Rat Lord in the coffee. Rat Lord and the coffee. I'm going to attempt to try to use uh, push to talk with Discord. That way, if someone's, you know, in my chat saying something that has nothing to do with your chat or your side, then you don't have to listen to it. But I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, what do you mean in your Discord? All that? No, just in uh, on my chat on this side. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be watching your chat too. Oh, okay. Let me adjust my screen. My dog is like fired up over here. He or she is excited for the Rat Lord to join. Something like that. Well, that uh, that eight thirty news sure makes it look like we just uh, took out a bunch of highs and then going to go lower. But I'm not sure. Know. I'm still bullish. I didn't check the one hour to see if we inversed it yet. But there we go. We got you on there now. Perfect. Look at that. I couldn't get Tom like that, but. Oh, yeah, that'd be good because you can see my. Uh, that's a chart I trade on up there. Yeah, I'm just on the to... uh, on the cracked out five second chart. All right, that's close enough. I'm, I'm not going to be worried with it. <laughs> that's close enough. You're with the Rat Lord on this one, YouTube Premium is Life. <laughs> well, you know, I'm poor. You see what dogs so do to rats. 
you don't think you want to be on the other side of it? Yes, <laughs> that's right. Dogs and rats don't get along. Or maybe they do. Maybe. I don't know. This rat gets along with dogs. Yeah, I mean, I, if this wasn't pre-market, I'd, I would, I think I would be looking for a short there, but I don't uh, know. We did hit OTE there. Let's kind of see. I mean, I don't know. We got this big 15-minute gap down below that we've been holding. All right. We also tapped into a one-hour. And I, I like when uh, the candles don't overlap right there at uh, 18506 at 833. Yeah, a little imbalance. Oh, There's on also one on chart. the five minute, yeah. I think. Is it on the five? No, it's not on the five. Maybe it was three. Well, that was my target uh, on that long right there. Oh, uh, there. Mm -hmm. We already ran through that one. Yeah, that's what I was targeting, that imbalance on the one minute. Um, I didn't take it. I wanted to, but I was like, nah, I didn't take it. So I wanted to take it on this candle close here at 92 and target the uh, 06. Right. But. I didn't take it. So are you, you only do. like you're only taking a inversion fair value gaps? It depends. Pretty much. Yeah, it depends. <clears throat> I mean, for the most part, I try to just stick to that just because I know what the win rate is. I know where my stop needs to be. I know when to move my stop. So like I do just kind of try to just stick to that, but Yeah, for sure. That's not you know, sometimes I'll see a trade and I'll still take it. So, right as 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 we do. So yesterday, I kind of found myself taking some some trades I probably wouldn't have normally taken, but got up, took a little break, and came back and ended green. Absent that's, said he took the long off four eighty two to five oh six. Nice. Damn. Yeah, I don't mind here. I'm going to wait until market opens, but to take another trade. How uh, did uh how did the London session go? Yeah, it was good. I was green. So we were two seventy six, I think, or two sixty eight times three. And then um so that was good. Oh, I was gonna full send a Buley at open here. <laughs> what do you think? Which direction? Oh, uh, I get it. you were you were bullish, so just stick with your gut. Yeah, that's usually what I do. But uh, eight thirty. Yeah, aim for those eight thirty highs. We'll see here at open. I'll usually wait for markets to kind of get into sync a little bit. I'm gonna pull this chart over here because I don't. I'll let you guys know once I enter. Anybody doing the opening range break trade today? Jamie in here? Yeah, I'm sure Jamie. He'll be in. doing it. I think he's been green all week, uh, except one day, I think. Something on like he uh he messed it up, but the trade the play was a green trade that day. Just I think he messed something up. I can't remember what happened, but Yeah, there's Jamie. It sure it sure seems like it's a pretty profitable Trading for Science thinks it's going to five seventeen. No, I'm not having any data issues. Seems to be fine. Uh when I logged in I was my um actually as of two minutes ago says our event log says rhythmic history loading error i keep getting that a bunch of times the world above thank you for your subscription welcome to the methodical crew you the man all right you got to do the same thing every time someone subscribes rat lord okay let me um before we Tell get too deep into to this methodical. I want to get the Rat Lord stream pinned. Let me let me pin his uh, link to his channel up in the chat there. So if you're not subscribed to the Rat Lord, then go over there and hit that subscribe button. 
uh, as soon as we get the stuff here. And I don't think he actually owns rats, but, you know, who knows. Oh. Nor does he live in a sewer. Maybe. That's Maybe he does. So I got his channel pinned up there up top. So if you want to click on that and give him a subscribe and a like. Yeah, that's appreciated. Why are you the rat lord? Hmm. I was just uh, the chosen one. I can't. Uh, I don't think that there's a reason for it. He is the chosen one. <laughs> to whatever that means. <laughs> I need five hundred dollars to get to a payout on one of my Apex twenty five Ks. My typical 25K trade is $300. Do I adjust it to try to take it out in one trade? I don't know. How many, uh, what size do you, what size is that trade that you're talking about? Four minis, 15 ticks. Oh. So you can't add more. You can't add more, but I can add more ticks. probably would need what 20 ticks your girlfriend used to call you rat you called her mouse <laughs> okay absent <laughs> hey where is um sugar bear sugar bear in here sugar bear or should we say captain cock captain hey. cock that's what he's got to change his name to i'm trying to at him right now i'm gonna find you sugar bear going on over again what do you have going on over in the stream? Sugar Bear said yesterday if we hit the 470, he was going to change his name to Captain Cock. Lex Rand, <laughs> what's up? So I'm going to keep at you, Sugar Bear, until I see you in here. I know you're going to be in here eventually. Then he tried to back out. He tried to back out. He's like, no, nah, I don't think I want to do it anymore. I said, you can't just come in here into my stream and say something and think I'm going to forget. You'll never, you'll probably never hear from him again. How's the audio from Rat Lord over there? Is can you guys hear him okay? Yeah, kind of a bet, Bartholomew. He just kind of said if we hit the 470 yesterday, he would change his name. I deleted the level already, but you can see right here we blasted through the 470. It took to the last 15 minutes of the day, but we did it. We did it. We got through there. Oh yeah, that push uh yesterday afternoon was pretty pretty intense. A bit low. Nowhere. Yeah, you do you do sound a little bit low to me too, Rat Lord. Uh can you can you turn that up a little? Um maybe go in Discord and you can right click my name and turn turn me up. Just uh stick the uh air already all the way up. Your volume is all the way up. Mm. I mean, if not, it's fine. Some people say you sound fine, so it's fine. The rules are the rules. He's got to change his name. Did Apex change the profit target for requesting a payout? No, seven money bags. This is a 25K account. So on your 25K, you only got to get to $1,600. $1,600. And we're currently need five, 500 more dollars. I think if my math is right. Wait. Is my math right? Yeah, five hundred more dollars. Yeah, we can hit that today. I mean, if I see a decent setup, I'm gonna slap it, but with four? Yeah, that's what I'm doing on all my funded. So we hit them with four. Fifteen Jesus. ticks. Four minis. I like uh I do the opposite. I get to funded, then I scale down. <laughs> <laughs> You're over there going full full port, right? Yeah, that's what you got to do. <laughs> Volume sounds good to F. Sasha, watching three trader stream. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Mm. Yeah, it's only sixteen hundred. So we get to sixteen hundred, we can take the payout, and we uh, and then you take fifteen hundred out, right? You can take fifteen hundred out of the account, and it closes it. So, and we we're we're four hundred and fifty away from Buley, so we really 
I really want to concentrate on those two today. It's either going to go good or go bad. We could be taking out $2,500 more today or nothing. So what's Rad Lord's strategy for NASDAQ? Well, he closes his eye and clicks the button usually. Yeah. So sometimes I click twice and just uh, see what happens. Yeah, he just clicks it twice. His people over there in his stream were probably like, he's live already? Well, he normally shows up at like 929. Oh, let me check on the giveaway. It might have. Let me make sure. that Do I need to extend it here? Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to resume entries on the giveaway here. So you got a few more minutes here. We're going to do it probably 925. So if you want to join the giveaway there, explanation point cash can only enter once $20. Um, you, got that, so. you got that working? Yeah. This, did you have to do anything or you just started working? Uh, no, I, I got it working. I just I didn't really have to do anything. Well, I post Mancini in the Discord. I swore, did I not post him again? Did I not post it again? Oh, man, I'm just terrible at this, like, lately. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Yo, Graham. Graham, get that money. What's the trade that was green all week? Uh, what do you Sounds mean? Sounds good, McLovin. Green all week. You were green all week? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. Where is my Discord? Oh, right there. Is that right, Max? Anybody know what Max said? I have no idea. He said he's pissed. <laughs> he said, I see a squirrel and I cannot chase it. I'm just going to respond to your chat since I have yours up and... uh Everyone yeah, yeah. on mine is uh, sleeping still. Uh, oh, yeah. Trading for science. Uh, I'm not using any indicators. I'm not sure what indicator you're talking about. Nothing on the chart. <laughs> uh, you might see, I don't know if they see my Maxi, seriously, man, come on. Oh, possibly, yeah, yeah. Absent trades? I don't. I'm not sure what you said. He got sprayed. What was? Uh, just ain't right. Explanation point. Cash. There you go. You got it. Yeah, this is my screen. I just have the VWAP and uh, that's it. And pivot points. Oh, I can't believe I'm on here with the, someone using VWAP. Oh, yeah. We got to accentuate the VWAP. <laughs> the VWAP. The this, VWAP. This, big yellow, this big yellow line right here is VWAP. Ratlord loves the VWAP. You should alternate rat to the right. I could. You want me to do that? All right, I'll, I'll do it. Let me move my um, stuff to the left. I think I think I saw a couple of people ask about the strategy, but so I just um, I just trade off fair value gaps, looking for a few point scalps on the five second charts after or as we are um, getting some reaction off of like a one minute or a five minute fair value gap. So I try to wait for a fair value gap to be like tested on the five minute or the one minute. And then I'm watching the five second to see the same thing happen there. And if it does, then I'll take a scalp usually anywhere from two to 10 points, just depending on how much the market's moving and just uh, take it and move on. But today's or we're on eight green days in a row. So we're kind of killing it right now. I'll probably be red now today since I said that, but. All right, is that better? Rat's on the left. No, wait, he's on the right. 
a little yeah, odd that look, looking, that looks but good. it's fine. I think it looks good. Puts looks like we're tag team in this these charts. Chow Tang, I like uh, Top Step and I like Trade Day. Um, both. I, I mean, I think Top Step's probably better, but you know, we'll see. Yeah, seventy-seven long would have been nice. Yep. Uh, the bot hasn't blessed me too much because uh, I haven't been running it consi or I wasn't running it consistently, and I keep switching up the settings, so I haven't really been consistent with uh, one set of settings. I turned mine on. I turned my bot on just now. We'll see what it does today. All your challenges are now fifty dollars before funding. Let's go. I probably need to get you. Yours is probably expiring soon. I probably need to get you the updated version, eh? I don't know. Is that maybe that's why it didn't work yesterday? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> yeah, it's a nine AM trading for science. I'm on the East Coast in Georgia. What's up, Jack Attack? Um, when you start it, like the little message, the little messages, it will tell you if oh. it's expired or not. Yeah, yeah, it does say it's expired. Oh, <laughs> I'll get you a uh, slacker. The, the, the updated version won't expire. Like I'll set your account so it won't expire. And then anytime I ever do an update, you can just always go download it. Um, I I made it automatic. All right, guys, if you're interested in the uh, giveaway, $20, we're going to do it here in about two minutes. Uh, anybody over there in Rat Lord stream, let's... Uh, Explanation point cash over here in my stream. Like his stream. Give him a quick subscribe as well. Do the same for me. I do appreciate it. So we're going to do the giveaway here in about two minutes. Right now we have 36 entries. So you got a one in 36 chan chance. Rat Lord, uh, why, are you not, uh, why are you not in the drawing over here? Come on. I'm not entering. That's for the for the fans. Oh, Tom entered. Alito's gonna um. Alito's in there. Money if uh yeah if he wins he told me he's giving me most of that. Twenty bucks all for you. All right, actually, you know what? You freaking entered mine. Well, that's what I was thinking. But hey, if you don't want to. If you don't want to only trade, you can enter. It's all good. Now, if Rat Lord wins, you know it's rigged. You go to which prop firm offers PayPal payment? Uh, there's a few. There are a few. Yeah, Flexi Trades. Um, I signed up today, Rich. I, I have a funded account through Flexi Trades. I just passed yesterday. So I got my funded account with them today. So I will trade that. Um, no, wait, that's not Flexi Trades. I will trade that today. 25K funded account. And we'll see how that goes. All right, you got one minute. We're going to do the giveaway now in one minute because we're four minutes from open. Activation 138, I think it was. Yeah. All right, we got 47 people in there. We're going to end it now, and let's uh, pick a winner. Nice. Trading for science, I use C sharp. So we're going to pick a giveaway here. Winner. Pick winner. Boom. Let's go. Mon Daily, Int Mon Daily, Int Mon Daily. No, run it again. All right, one more time. No. <laughs> Int Mon Daily, are you in the chat? Dang it. All right, you need to send me an email to methodicalman at gmail.com. And what I want you to do is click on your comment there, and it'll pop up giving you the opportunity to delete the comment. Screenshot that so I know it's you. Email me, email me your PayPal or your Cash App, and $20 will be on the way to you. Congratulations.
That's my secret lover. Could be grim. I don't know. It's all rigged. <laughs> Just like the market. All right. So we're going to uh, open up here in a few moments. Um, let's see. What do we got? About three minutes. I mean, looking bullish to me, but who knows? It looked that way yesterday, and they pulled the rug it open. So do they want to do that again or not is the question. I mean, honestly, we, we've ran both buy side and sell side here already. So we ran sell side first, then buy side. So it is possible they pull the rug here. We did create some equal lows on the one minute <laughs> down at 473-ish. Yeah. Relatively. Oh, look at that. Making some money with these ads. Oh, skip. <laughs> skip. <laughs> You're predicting all day trash. I don't know, Andrew. I think it might be okay today. At least the morning. I'm, I don't know. I'm not I'm not certain. I'm gonna move the P and L off here, guys. Just clean it up a little bit. I'll bring it over and show you guys as we make moves. So, yeah, I did get an ad. I'm going to turn it off for this. I had to uh, skip it. Uh, it's not a big <laughs> that's deal. That's annoying. No, uh, that, that looks that looks dumb. Here, I'll play an ad too. How about mm -hmm. it? <laughs> you just tell me when you play one, and I'll play one too. Yeah, I don't have the premium. I'm poor. You kept trying to pick the bottom. I, yeah, I, I try not to do that. All right, what time we got? 9.28, so one minute. Hmm. How do we want to play this? Oh, yeah, you're sending, or are you waiting a couple of minutes to send that? Yeah, I'll wait a couple of minutes on that one, probably. Uh, tra trade that uh, 9.29. I don't really use the 929. Um, what I like to do I is know. I pick a little higher. Do it today. <laughs> huh? It said, I know, do it today. What if it loses? Well, that's, uh, that's a risk we all have to take. Oh, you're taking that risk too? No. I'm waiting like a good boy. You heard, you just heard him say he's taking it. I don't even have a garage to have a Lambo. Mm. Alito's going to take it. Is he? 10 minis. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed in Alito. He's going to be in your chat and not in mine. I thought, uh, thought he was my duck boy. Dong. I guess not. Yeah, guys, pull up both streams. I don't know if I said that, but I want you to pull up both streams. It's really okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, trying to think about where to put this. Alito, how dare you? Uh, that's true. I don't have you on my stream, so it makes sense. Oh my gosh! Look at those data latencies. Did I have some too? Had a All bunch right. of uh looks like they're just pulling the rug there. I was gonna jump in there, but I, I was only comfortable with the long, so I didn't do it. I wasn't comfortable with the short because we were right there at um the VWAP and we got a pivot at eighty five. So I didn't love the short. So what I'm going to kind of do is wait for the ES and the nasty to get into sync here. And once they get into sync, we'll look for a direction. Long duck dong, says Mr. Crooner. Where is top five? I haven't seen top five in a while. It's so weird. It looks like I'm talking to myself. He could put me on there if he just did a little adjustment, but then he probably wouldn't be able to see his charts on mine, I would imagine. 
I've look at her go. Look at her go. So that's what we talked about. We kind of ran the buy side. We ran sell side first, and then we ran buy side. So the most logical spot for it to go is down here. And we kind of talked about that earlier, maybe a resweep of these lows. We went right to those equal lows. So give, you got to nice give me job. some credit. Yeah, we'll give you some credit right there. Went to the 75s. I just want another $20 giveaway for that. Yeah, we're going to do some more. I'm going to give away 100 bucks oh. today. Five total giveaways. We already done two. So it ran that sell side liquidity there. So now let's see kind of what we get. What's that, Max? <laughs> do we continue lower or do we pop from here? What do you guys think? Nice, Jamie. Yoma, Jamie got the um, somebody won. Yoma, the I don't remember who won. <laughs> I already, already forgot. So... I already forgot who won. Yeah, Int, Mon won, and then somebody else. I don't remember from this morning. Are you going straight down again today? I'm getting some latency over here. My internet's just acting weird. Hopefully we don't disconnect. Uh-oh. What's up, Hunter Lot? Um, we're kind of waiting, Frank, to see maybe we inverse this. I don't know. Is it my internet or is it his? There we go. He's back. Fine. So if this inverses, Frank, we will hit it. I would 100% buy down here. What do you think? I mean, I'm not buying down here because we could go lower, but... I think if we inverse, if we close above this box, then I will, uh, I'll take it. Well, I'm, I mean, I look for like, there's my five points. I just got five points out of that. Did you take it? Nice. See? Yeah, that's all I wanted. And the 30 second actually looks pretty clean too. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking for those little, these little fair value gaps to form. We took out lows or lower lows and then create a little five second fair value gap. So, that's that meets everything. Take it. Get me uh get me a hundred bucks and move on to the next trade. I'm really trying to be accepting of that because like I, I mean I tell everyone if someone just walked in and just handed me a hundred dollars, am I gonna be upset about that? No. Nice, it money. I mean it mon daily. I'll uh, send, I'll check that out in just a minute. As soon as the market calms down a little bit, we get you your money sent to you. So if we close above here, I will take that. We'll just see what happens. ES is holding up there at the VWAP for now. And Jamie. Jamie's killing it with that orb play. Yeah, I didn't take it. He thinks top five is absent traits. <laughs> Uh, so right now, like we're up in a uh, one of these one minute sell side uh, fair value gaps. So I would just look for any any yeah, shorts so on the five second. To me, I'm looking for if we close above that 481, then I'm gonna long duck dong. Mm. But we'll see. Uh, we're holding up in a 15 minute. I think there's a one hour here as well. Oh, that, um, yeah, the bullish one. Mm -hmm. So we'll kind of yeah, see what happens. I kind of like that because that's like right there. Uh, we displaced down, traded a little, then displaced up. Uh, or that was yesterday's day, right? Yeah. I see what you're putting down. I'll pick well, it up. I just entered on the wrong account. All right. Do we close above the there? I mean, really barely by a tick, right?
I'm clubbing. I've taken one trade, five points. Ball 76. I'm, did, I, did I mess up that uh <laughs> I mess up that phrase? You I'm say? picking up what you're putting down. Is that what you're supposed to say? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Sounds right to me. Oh. You're um, picking up what I'm laying need, down. Still need I need like six uh I'm long duck dong I need here. Six something. We hit our first TP at 90, and we will go break even. Let's see if we can't get the 511s. Close back up below, and then we just be wrecked, and we'll take it off. Kind of took a long in this area earlier, and uh, it didn't work out, if I remember correctly. Or it did work, and I took it off too early. That's what it was. As we were, nah, we're kind of wedged between the pivot and the VWAP. On our so. lot, I'm just, uh, just I was just trying to pass one on the with manual trading, but I, I like I want to pass a few 50ks and then go back and pass a few more 25ks and just have like I don't know maybe 10 and 10. Wow, that thing was like two ticks away from a TP there. I didn't even see you're in a trade. I need to pay attention. There we go. Break even. I'm also nice. long duck dong on the Bulinox guys. Um, Delta, we are like joint streaming with Methodical Man, so it might be easier if you watch on his stream because he has me on his and I don't have him on mine except for his voice. <laughs> There's the Bewley. So it's got to run through the 04s there to get us on the Bewley. Damn, look at you. Come on, get through the 04s, you dirty girl. That's what seven Connies do. Do, 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 do. Can she go? Can she go? Does Rat Lord Trace do automated? Yeah, he does. Did I say joint? <laughs> Hold this. Oh, I'm holding it. Absent. I'm holding it. Give me the O fours. Give me the O fours at least here. Why did I? Why did I only take five points out of this long from eighteen four six six? Uh, I took, I don't even know how many I took on the first entry. Not that many, like seven and a half or eight. And then I'm trying to get, we might get, this might pop us here because we're so close to the TP. So it's really got to hold up here and go. Got to kind of hold the 90. Got to hold the VWAP. If we lose that, we'll be uh, in trouble. <laughs> he was getting a mini heart attack. Uh, execute. Oh, yeah, yeah, Greg. That's what happens. Yeah, it's unrealized. There's not much I can do about it, Alito. I mean, if it hits me, it hits me. There's not much I can do. I'm full porting. So when you're full porting, this is what you do. Yeah, it's all or nothing. It. So Came we want to see a like little one minute fair value gap. <laughs> yeah, holding up. Should run right through there now. I think this should run through there. We should get to the 10 or 12s here. On this push back up. On back. Oh, damn. Did you see that wick? One tick away from taking yeah. out my TP. I almost jumped in along there. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So we passed the Bewley. And we're looking for 1175 on the other here. Which is going to be about a 30-point trade. I probably should go ahead and lock some in, but... I think we hit. Just, just lock some. Lock some. Yeah, dude, we got the eleven seventy five looking up there, all juicy. 
gorgeous. Yeah, All if, right. we, if we we'll break out of this in. little... We'll lock in right there at the 01. Yeah, my OBS disconnected, but it's back up now. So my internet's yeah, been kind of jumping around today. Oh, I forgot we do have 945 news, don't we? Oh, I didn't even look at the news. I thought that was your job. Yeah, I forgot all about that. If it doesn't run through here right here, I might just take it off. I was also uh, streaming with a uh, methodical man. Rip it. Man, I'm trying to diamond hand this, but it's making it hard for me. I think if it rips through 1175 here, this thing probably runs fast. All right, I'm going to take it there for 20 points. We're going to take it off. Just, uh, I think news is in four minutes. I think we have 945 news today. Let me double check that. That's it might be gonna, less than that now. That's, what we're, that's when we're going to run up to those 830 highs. Yeah, I think it hits too uh, absent, but I wanted to take it. Delta, <laughs> I know what you mean. Pump. Pump or dump. We need it to pump. Raphael says close. Yeah, we do we do have news at nine forty five. I just realized that. And it's three star, one minute Chicago PMI. So while I think it hits my TP, I don't want to be holding it into news, number one. So I forgot all about that news. But that was such a clean setup, I had to take it. I kind of feel bad that I I tried to take that for my five hundred dollars. And unfortunately, I hit the wrong account. How many points did you get on that? Uh, that was what? 20 points. Nice. There's the Bulinox, $3,080 passing that in one trade. And that's not a send in one direction and a send in another guys. That is a one time trade. You can see I only got two evals and they're both passed. So that, that was is, a legit trade. That's right. Legitimate trade there. And then um, our my funded futures. <laughs> We got back to profit after being down 500 bucks on that move right there. So there you go. Back to green, back to green. But yeah, let me put my trade executions on the screen here so you guys can see. Uh, visual trading, trades on. So I don't know, I, I, that was about, so we entered at 82. And we exited at 502, so that was 20 points. I was going for 30, but, you know, we scaled one at like eight or nine, eight, eight points. So you needed 50 to long. Man, Alito's so close. Did we get? No, we didn't quite get there. No, we didn't get there. Yeah, I got to lock it down with the Chicago PMI. I mean, there it is right there. Boom, it just run through there, but I just didn't want to hold through that news. I thought I took that on my PA account and I hit the wrong. I was on the Bulinox, so I mean, I just let it go. Would have got the 15 ticks that I needed like right away, but that's all right. Yeah, we also have 10 a.m. news as well. I think this is running for those 8:30 highs. Yeah, I mean, it yes, probably does. Um, I mean, it makes there. a lot of sense, right? Even if we scroll out further to the left there, probably goes higher than that. I'll FOMO and buy here at the top. Don't do it. I already did. Right there, five. Oh, actually, that wick earlier took that. You already <laughs> did? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and we turned around immediately. He bought the the candle doesn't even go that way. Oh, it did wick that high. I was gonna say the candle doesn't even go that high. Yes, is taking out that high. Come on, yeah, this I is just bad. Need Nasdaq to get up there too. This is bad. What are you doing over there, rat? We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. Everything's okay. What's your entry? Twenty. Everything's right. okay. That's <laughs> no, okay. I just wanted to see your watch your entry. 
We could come back to 06, though, and fill that imbalance. I need ES to keep running, but uh, I don't know if she's going to. What are the payout rules for Flexi? Um, you cannot. So, Maverick, you have to leave the buffer in from what I read. I could have read that wrong, but from what I saw, your minimum payout is $500, and you have to leave the buffer in. So that's from what I read. I could be wrong, though. Hold and don't panic. I'm not panicking, Absin. I just took the profits. I, I'm freaking out. Why can't we get back up above 520? Why, why is that so difficult? Well, we do have an SMT yeah, with the ES right here. We do have an imbalance at the 06. Come on, NASDAQ. Don't do this to me. Well, you want to see this gap hold, right? That's what you want to mm -hmm. see. So that's a good reaction from that gap. Oh, yes, so it's back, still going. Back above this Come wick, on. if we don't push strong above this wick, I'd kill it. There we go. But I think we push strong go. above that wick there. Keep going. You can target that 27 area. I'm just taking that. I, I ended up getting into two contracts there, so. Yeah, it's at the high of the range What's it is. Yeah, yeah, he was that. he was over there squeezing his butt cheeks together there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we do on this stream. Can you guys not hear me over there, White Mild? I don't know. He said, "Did we lose? Did we lose?" Oh, uh, er, no! Earlier, when your uh, OBS like shut down. Yeah, it did shut down for a minute. Kind of, it did that twice today already. So. Mm. All right, now look what I'm watching here. We inverse this one minute, and we're going to slap it back to the downside. Actually, yeah, we still have that yeah, S&T. Yes. I don't yeah, know because we do. we're so close to the buy side, though. I don't know if I want to take it. If, uh, if ES starts turning around, then NASDAQ's going to come down hard, I think. We're just so close to buy side here. We do have news in a few minutes, too, so I'm not going to do it. Mm. I'm not going to do it. I'm up uh, three 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 on my on this eval. We How much do we need to pass that? Four hundred. Nice. Four hundred more. Which I started this week by telling everyone I was just looking to average a little over a hundred a day, and I've been averaging over that. So we are way ahead schedule. There's no. I don't need to rush to get this. All right, guys. If you haven't already, on it. let me know talk over you but if you haven't already hit that like button for me subscribe if you're not yet subscribe again got the link to rat lords um youtube up there in the chat if you guys don't have his pulled up please if you're on something other than a mobile device please pull up both streams if you're on a mobile device i understand that you can't but please pull up both streams there that way the algorithm kind of you know gets us both going there to appreciate everyone who has subscribed again my goal for the day, I want to get to 2750 subscribers. That's 95 more, man. I don't know man. if we can do it. Can you guys do that? Can you guys do that? I don't know. If you have a fold five, you can pull up both streams. <laughs> I don't know what a fold five is. You got me. Ratlord knows what that is probably because I think he's an Android guy. Samsung folding phone. Yeah. You're flexing bad with spend money. Let's go. Nice job, Absence. NASCOP got up 482. Nice, nice. There she blows. There she blows. Let me pull up the 15. I kind of want to mark some targets out. Well, actually, I already got them marked out. Probably. Up, Should mark some targets out to the downside. Um, while we wait, I'm going to wait until after this news to take a trade. So I'm going to go grab some more coffee. Are anybody you going to be okay without me? Anybody else want coffee? Yeah. You're going to be all right? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I think I got it. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Be right back. Please review the trade you just took in regards to being A+. plus. It did not have a singular fair value gap down the leg. Um, it did deliver from a fair value gap, Frank, because we're in a 15-minute here. This entire range that you see down here is a one hour and a 15-minute. So it delivered. We swept liquidity, right? So you just look to the left. 
Did we sweep liquidity? We swept this and we swept this. And this one minute did not have, it did have two in the leg, right? But the important thing to note here is the distance between the two gaps, right? 10 points. So like when they're spread out like that, I'm okay with there being two. And with the momentum that we had through here, um, I liked it. So yeah, this is an A setup. And uh, we closed above. I scaled one at 10, which also coincides with what? That next gap in the leg. So that's why I, that's why I picked right here to scale one. And that also was my break even stop. So it was the most logical spot. And then I just tried to take the low hanging fruit, which would be, um, you know, this swing up here at 12. So that's the reason I took that trade. <laughs> Full take private hit. Let's go. Nice job. Nice job, Absent. You just missed the 15. Yeah. Uh, I plotted that one this morning, Frank. I don't remember when, but I did plot that one way earlier. And even you didn't even need this gap, though. We swept liquidity. This is still an A setup, even without the gap. But, I mean, it, you could say it's a B, but whatever. Close enough, right? Close enough, close enough. Um, let's check Mancini's tweet because I didn't check it after the morning time. We do have news here in about six minutes. So probably want to wait. 53.11 first target hit in ES as we continue the breakout that was waited on all day yesterday. Plan yesterday was going long as 74 held. Breakout to 5,300. Hold risk free runners. Basing out again. 53.16, 53.20 targets as long as above 52.99. So 53.16 is going to be your next target up in the ES. And 99 is going to be your support, which we already knew that. And then um, dip to 52, oh, 88 if 98, yeah, 88. All right. All right, we're back. So 16, 20 plus. All right, we got the levels marked out. Did Apex extend? It did, mainly trade. Still got the 80% off in the one-day pass. It ends, I think, on Tuesday. So you'll still have an opportunity to do it on Monday if you want. So I've – I'm – triple what my daily goal was this week today so i'm just gonna i want to keep trading because i've only taken two trades and flip it over to, to micros that's so i was that's what i was getting at oh. flipping over to going to micros two micros that's what we did the other day and i still ended up adding another hundred bucks even with that so yeah um this way most damage i could do is like minus i don't know seventy five hundred dollars and i'll still be over my goal. 30 is officially ran. Oh, I'm telling everybody else to like your stream. I didn't even like it yet. All right, there we go. Hit the like. Unbelievable. I hit the like. Um, I mean, you could we take a short here if we kind of inverse that, but I don't know. We're still pretty close to news. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Three minutes. And then let's check the rest of the day. How's the rest of the day look on news? Where's your, uh, where's your camera at? It looks like I'm streaming on your. Oh, 
My camera's been doing funky stuff today. It keeps blinking off. I don't know why. Like, it's never done that before. And for whatever reason, today it just keeps blinking on and off. Keeps freezing. Mm. <clears throat> I'm back. Knives, good morning again. David, I uh, taught myself, like, I, I learned to code, like, by myself, like, six or seven-ish years ago, and then I ended up getting a job in that field, so I've been a professional <laughs> programmer, I guess, for the last five, six years. <clears throat> um, well, let's see. Frank was asking about the bot. Uh, so is your bot turned on, and can you explain how to use it? Yeah, I mean, you just... Uh, a newbie can use it because I there's just a settings you plug in, but I just tell people what I use it, how I use it, and methodical main uses it a different way. He uses his own settings and you just you just turn it on each day. Key Amber in the house, let's go. However, it's worth noting that bot is uh it's more of a long term thing like you might take a loss and you might not you might not get a win for like a week or so there's been weeks where uh it's only taken one trade during the whole entire week and it might be a, a losing trade and you just got to deal with it yeah that's the thing the one that i'm using i just know this strategy works long term so exactly. i just have to wait for it now if we didn't have news here i would take this short hmm yeah, yeah, now that we're coming back down beneath that high. ES, same thing. Yeah, ES is about the inverse as well. We do have that imbalance there that it just came back and filled in there at the 15s. It's up one stop. Morning one stop, morning. We got so much going on with your chat, people popping up in my chat. <laughs> You need ES to hit 5320 to make your day. I think you'll be okay, but it might put you through some stuff, uh, Black Beauty. What's up, Muhammad? Once again, we got news, guys. If you're in a trade, you got news in less than a minute here, 30 seconds. So just be careful. It's not three star news, but yeah, it could do something. Killed that short for some profit. Let's go. I didn't take it because of the news. If it wasn't there, was there, if there was no news here, I'd be short right now. And my scale and my break even stop would be at this wick right here at five oh seven. Knives said, uh, "Welcome to fame." Welcome to Looks fame. Like I've made it. I've made it on Miss Channel, so uh, I don't know. Me Methodical man had celebrity appearances with my name, so maybe he is the one being welcomed to the fame. Exactly, see? <laughs> That's what I, I put on there. Celebrity appearances by the Rat Lord. <laughs> Husk Trader. Tom Sabo. Nutty Bar Trading. Let's go. Oh, nice one stop. One stop trader said he used to, or he's been watching you as well. He's uh, been on. Clarity. That sucks. Could we work out a bot that uses the uh, IFEG trading? I don't know. It'd be tough, Frank, because it's uh, one of those things where there, it, while it is very mechanical, there is also discretion. Right. The location of the gap, you know, did we run liquidity? That stuff I think is kind of hard to code. Yeah, it's probably possible, but. That would be cool if he could, though. I wouldn't even have to trade, right? I'd just turn it on and just have a nice day. So my... Wait a second. Did this not place the trades? Something Is my volume low? You have it be... set on 95, and it still seems to be very low. It could be mine. I don't know. Some some people say it's low, pool man. I'll try to... I'll try to stick the mic in my mouth. <sighs> Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I do the best I can. 
only trades wants to know what's your favorite language to code in that he trades in web three. He's a web three contract auditor. Mm. I use uh, the one I'm most proficient in is C sharp. C hashtag. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Volume's fine. <laughs> I scared you. All right. I don't know. Some some people say it's low. Some people say it's not. I'm not sure. I mean, like, it's just one of those things. It could be a little low there. Why, could be. Why? why hmm. What are you thinking? My. There was a setup, a, a five minute. And in, in the, that the bot placed orders but then in the logs it showed like i keep getting orders rejected and i don't know why that's weird always loud and clear all right good delta said check your hearing aid battery i don't know <laughs> now i hear a couple of people say that I, I i do keep an eye on my audio and i did turn the gain up a little bit this morning i put the mic a little closer to my mouth so i try to keep it out of the red zone on um you know on OBS. So I try to keep it in the yellow, green to yellow, but we'll see. Problem Alito is I don't always notice it. Re ah, damn it. This so is the bot would have took the long there. That five minute fair value gap at 945. It perfectly broke through a swing at 915. Oh. See that? On a five. Yeah. Also about to put in a five-minute OB here, possibly. So the way I have mine running is I take a five-minute fair value gap set where the swing is within the gap. Yeah, so that swing so was that, broken. That, nine, that 915 swing was perfectly broken by the 945 fair value gap. It's and okay, man. I mean, it. you'd only be up like 20 points. <laughs> and it's still, and it would be targeting freaking... <laughs> Uh, I'd be targeting, uh, let me see. Well, what's like, what's 15 times 1.5? That's what I would be targeting, and it probably would have hit by now. Uh, 15 times 1.5, 42, five, no, wait, 30, no, wait, 22? Oh, that's not, five. It's not even that much, but yeah, it, I would have, oh my. 22, 5. Doesn't it, that's frustrating because these, Setups don't form that often, so like I really need it to not miss them, which Quick was maps. the whole point of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Quick math is not my thing. I'll have to check, Jack. No, Ratlord's not trading uh, IFVGs. Um, he's trading. Uh, F U V G's. <laughs> I don't know. What's that stand for? F U C. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, he's trading like off the five second chart scalping. It's so he's basically, yeah, I guess he's kind of having a confluence between the one and five. And then he's looking for a fair yeah. value gap to be accepted on the five second. Mm -hmm. And he takes a scalp. And then just that. small scalp. Smurf said those are his favorite kind. <laughs> the FUVGs. So. Okay, we're getting a possible short setup here. Um, I don't know. I mean, it seems okay. This gap's not that noticeable, I guess. It's not bad. It's five handles. Hmm. We might take it on an eval. Gonna... What do you say? I think I had the uh the you know in on tower you can select the front month instead of like the actual Yeah. June contract. I think I had the front month selected on the bots, and then when you go to submit in order to rhythmic, if you submit the front month one, like it doesn't go through or something, I don't know. 
Yeah. I think I've ran into that before. Damn yeah. it. Rat trades the five second chart clarity yet. Yeah, five second. Nice job, absence. His, his chart looks like a strobe it's, light. <laughs> it it seems crazy, but now I'm like so used to it. Whoa, what the hell? I don't something's going on. Hmm. Um, do I take an aggressive entry here before the candle yes. closes? You think so? Oh, of course. Oh. Five second breakers, nothing's out of bounds. Yeah, there's probably a lot of breakers on the five second. That's kind of what I was doing with the 15 seconds, pretty much like trading a breaker. All right, I'm going to take lighter size here. I'm just going to go one contract. Oh, come on. Break even will be the swing there. So we get below you the shorted? swing. So, I, yeah, I'm short. So if we get below the swing, I'll be break even the – because we, sh we either should run there or we're going to return back up. So once we get to that swing, we'll break even, stop it. Nice, John. You have a good one. All right. So it's up. Hit, hit that. This is why bots are good and bad. Yeah, I agree. All right. So just, actually, uh, that that might be a mental mistake there. We actually did not break that swing. There. Now we broke it. That's the reaction I wanted to see. And I was just going to target this wick here. That's a mental mistake there. We did not break it. It just double bottomed there at it. And I moved my stop. I should have put my line there so I could actually. That's why I put the lines there in case you guys wonder. So I can clearly see it. So, oh, this time we're shorting together. Well, too far. Unfortunately, I moved my stop because I thought, I thought we hit the swing, but we actually just double bottomed there. So, and I was just kind of targeting this swing here. Just kind of low-hanging fruit. That's probably at about equilibrium, too, if I had to guess. You know, just kind of eyeballing it. Yeah. We lost you again, Myth. Oh, did you? I don't Welcome know. to the Methodical Man Show. It didn't hiccup on my side, but I don't know. I'm. My name's Methodical. <laughs> I'm trading two different ch charts, <laughs> two different chats. Mr. Gamer short from eighteen five thirty one. Nice. Oh well. That's okay. We gave it the old college try there. A little mental mistake. It was a Giga Chat idea. I don't know what that is. D Gen Drew. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was I would target that swing there. I think that's reasonable. You could probably target this one down here, four eighty six. But that would have been another seventeen point winner if I didn't uh move the stop too quickly there. Nah, I don't know who Giga Chad is. I have no idea. It's a meme for the kids. We're too old for that. There we go. Now my target would be hit. Kind of like I said, 86 seems reasonable. You could target the lows, but I don't know if we get those. 87, whatever. Why didn't you enter that with me, Rat Lord? What happened? I was busy trying to figure out what's going on with these orders over here. I don't, I don't know, know what a Giga Chat. I have no idea what a Giga Chat is. What is a Giga Chat? Do I need to Google that? Do we need to Google that? Do you know what that All is? All I know is it. I I just think that is uh, absent trades. It's like, isn't it that dude in the. Uh, that black and white, and he has like a chiseled jaw. Yeah, like that's what it is. I don't know. I've never seen this before. I've never seen it before. <clears throat> I see it on Reddit. Yeah, I'm not on Reddit. <clears throat> this fella. Oh, we just made our screen just go blank. 
What are you doing over there? That happens sometimes when I move a chart or I move something. Mm. I don't know why. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, is still having an issue getting through its five minute uh, busy at nine forty, but Nasdaq don't care. It's definitely not me. Only trades. It's not me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need to find a setup to take on my PAs. I haven't taken one yet. Still seems like it wants to move a little lower here. Like I said, I think 86 is a pretty good target. And then beyond that, maybe we start back up. You're mewing? I don't know what a mew is. Mew? mew? All right, there's that target. You know, we just set out on that one, didn't do anything. That's what happens. Hey, we're getting kind of a... We're getting kind of a um, a skinny M here. Look, it's the skinny M pattern. That's the myth pattern. Yes, it's the methodical pattern. <laughs> Man, we are just we're bleeding, bleeding lower. Target for you is 73s. I mean, 73s would be kind of like a retest of this inversion as well. From earlier, it'd be a nice higher low. <clears throat> That'd be a nice higher low. Think a long is good down here. It could be. Oh yeah, I forgot about the flexi trade. I just saw a hundred lot mention that. I need to. Uh, I don't even know if I have a flexi trade chart open. Should probably open one. Let's open a flexi trade. Long. I just want a few points, like I said, like, as usual. Rat Lord's long duck dong. You gotta yell that when you go when you go long. Oh, sorry. You gotta say long duck dong. Long duck dong. It increases your win rate by at least five percent. Oh yeah, it's coming back up now. See? Look at that. Um, it says I have no data. Mm. So let me disconnect and reconnect that one. I want to see if we can at least get back to 500. But we're getting a little bit of resistance here at my entry. ES bounced off your friend, the VWAP. Uh, I just figured I'd let you know that. Well, can we bounce a little harder? Yes, we, need, we don't need you to bounce a little harder. Appreciate you. Well, this is moving quite slow to refresh. Here we go. See, all you got to do is ask nicely. Ask nicely and boom, it's there. Alito's long, too. Long, duck, long. Alito, how many is that in uh, points? I got. I need a uh, twelve. That's like okay. uh, that's more than that. Forty is ten. Forty so. ten, right? Twelve point five. What are you? Uh, twelve. Okay, so you're you're aiming for five hundred too. I should get out of this since Alito's long in as well. So. You, Alito's your indicator. 
That's messed up. I was getting screwed out of trades. Oh, damn. This is about 93s. Hold on. I got to put the VWAP on here. Just for Rat Lord. Mm. I got to get out of that. Took like a $50 loss, but that's all right. Now it's going to come back up. So you're welcome, anyone who's long. Dude, you, you took a loss there? What happened? Yeah, I mean, I got to kill it if we go break a swing. We broke the swing from 1013. I thought oh, you were in the green. Uh, I'm looking at the five second chart, so. We're going to add an EMA here, too. Why not? How many indicators can you add? Um, What's that all of them? I have no idea. We're going to add the 200. Good morning, Darren. Good morning. You never could get VWAP plays for you. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not, I don't take plays off of it. It's just, I like to know where it is. It's kind of like the 200. I don't, I don't like really take plays off of it, but you get a reaction. Still like this long, but, uh, hate getting back into the same move. Yeah, I feel the same way. That's to me, like, I like to look for a manipulation leg. So, like, you kind of got one here. You got this low. Push back up. Another low. So, what I want to see is another high, higher low put in. And then I trust it a little more. All right. So, I like to break this high. Put in a higher low. And then we'll, uh, and ideally, it'd be nice to have, you know, some sort of a uh, inversion there for me. But maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with the open so far. I think that the price action so far today has been way cleaner than yesterday, mm -hmm. the day before. Now, the first 30 or 40 minutes yesterday, I think we're good too. But then after that, it's just turned into chop. So let's hope that's not the case today. We'll try along here again in a worse, <laughs> worse century than we were on the last trade. VWAP at 499, just so you know. 200s there too. Took the buy at 88s. Yeah, I mean, it could go. I, I think it's fine. I think that we might get a manipulation leg here where we sweep the high and then we put in a higher low and then we go. So, but we'll see what happens, right? Who knows? All I'm looking for is 500. Why is it so hard to get to 500? I think 500 is reasonable. It's right there where the VWAP is and the uh, 200 moving average as well. well. That's what I thought earlier. A little volume gap up there. What, 505s, Smurf? Is that what you're talking? The whole number drama. Yeah, like... Uh, it, it always makes sense to have that 90. I used to not take trades between the 90... And the 05. So, like, between, like, 490 and 505, I wouldn't take a trade. So. But I don't I don't so much do that anymore. So, this is kind of what I was thinking. We put in a new high. Let's put in a higher low. And now, I, and then I think it would be okay to uh, kind of participate long. Because it's kind of a manip, you know, it's kind of like a manipulation leg there. We put in a low. Put in another low to just kind of manipulate buyers and sellers. And then uh, and then maybe we go after that. So we'll see. Did I say that I'm on Flexi? Yes. This is, um, this is the trade here. I don't know if I can tell commissions. How can I tell commissions uh, at all on Quant Tower? Mm. Do you know at all, Rat? I don't know. I don't think it. Sh I don't think it shows it. You got to go to rhythmic. I have to go to rhythmic and see. Right. All right, we can do that. We'll check it I out. I think you have to set the commissions. Do I in rhythmic? No, in uh, Quan Tower. Hmm. But I'm, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just making complete assumptions here. Oh. Ah. All right, let's see if this holds here. I'd like to see this not make a new low. 
Mm, but it may not. It may not oblige. This is a tough spot. Now we would, if we did make a new low and we left a fair value gap here, then I wouldn't mind it so much because we could use that for our inversion entry. Because we would still sweep liquidity. We're probably delivering from like a three minute or a five minute gap here. Let me see. There is a three minute gap that we're in right now. So yeah, we're holding a three minute gap here. So let's see if it leaves this open or not. And it looks like it's going to close it there. I mean, we could go to our old dirty friend, the 30 second chart. I like it. Uh, well, this thing's taking forever to load. Oh my goodness. And we don't know what's happening, so. I mean, the one-minute gap is basically just non-existent. Three handles. This thing's just taking forever to load. Come on. I mean, I missed the, missed the opportunity before it loads back up. Yeah, I mean, the three minutes, <laughs> the 30 seconds, not very big gap either. Yeah, Steve, there is a one-minute gap. It's very small. So if I take it, I'll probably just take it off the 30-second here. Let's see. What are we doing here? This is frustrating. Oh, I didn't even notice Rat was in a long again. Still trying. I'm taking like three three losses in this whole little area. We made lower lows and then uh displaced up on the five second and that that meets my requirements. So I just take it take it when I see it. I think you're okay here. You already took the uh, stop loss again, 82s, oh, 73 to fully drop. Yeah. Quantower 138 shows commissions. Oh, I set it in Ninja. Mm. Yes, holding that. It's just glued to the VWAP right now. The what? The VWAP. Ask and ye shall receive. You want to know what it is? I got to tell you. Oh, here we go. Nope, maybe not. All right, I'm about to join you. I'm just about to get out. <clears throat> I'm just going to take that. That's uh, He's getting out. I'll be I, getting in. I'll tag you in. You tag me out. I don't know. I don't have the timer on this chart. I don't like that. I like to know. How much time I have for the candle to close. Did I turn it? I think I might have turned it black or something. So I can't even see it now. I have to adjust that in a minute. I didn't notice that until just now. Where is that in the settings? I don't, even, I don't remember. What? The uh, the countdown. I have mine on, but I don't remember turning it on. I don't remember either. It's in there somewhere. All right, this Alito is the first uh, trade on the flexi trade here. Oh, this is a big moment. The first it sets trade. The whole tone. Yeah. Are you copying it on all the? On, no. How many counts you have? I just have one flexi trade. Oh, gotcha. Thought you bought the twenty. New. No. I'm not going to buy 20 until I know that it's legitimate and they pay out. All right. So now that we created a swing here, once we get back above 93.50, I will have to break even stop it at that point. Them's are the rules. 
Gotta follow that. Still holding up there in the gap. It's a very small gap after all here, so. Very, very small. I just don't like that we're still stuck in this area. He has held that VWAP there, so I think we still bounce, but. We may not. So if this candle closes below, what I do is I'll move my stop up to the bottom of this candle now. And if we make a new swing low, then it just takes me out. I drew it. It's right in something. ES has a... Uh, wait, did you already mention that? That volume imbalance on the five minute on ES? No, I is didn't that see real? it. I'm sure it's real. Uh, right. Well, sometimes Quant, you know, Quant Tower like doesn't load properly. I gotta, I have to refresh my charts all the time. Well, that's what I was asking you about Actually, earlier. Mm. All right, now break even. Oh, look at this. You're long, right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Tag down on the first one. We're gonna try to let the next one run here. Flexi has max withdrawal of a thousand. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah, um, Alita was looking into it. And it it's not it doesn't seem as good as payouts as other people, but I mean, the cost of entry is so low. Like just yeah, and plus the fact that it's no it. it's not reoccurring one time fee. Exactly. Yeah. Confirmed on trash action again it's today. Kind of <laughs> worth it. I think it's been okay, Andrew, for me. I don't, I mean, it's not been too difficult to read yet. Yeah, I can't complain over here. Uh, making more than my goal, right? So. All right, stopped out there on the Flexi, whatever, account. Well, let's see what that was. I think we just made 100 bucks. Maybe a little more. 130. All Nothing right. With that. Yeah, 130 right there on the Flexi. Uh, so the fees, we can see right here. Um, who was asking about the fees? Somebody. So if I made 130 and it's only showing a balance of 120, then that means it's $5 round trip per contract on the minis. Hmm. Which seems a little high, but I think it's pretty close to being in line to what the other ones are. I think trade. I always look at trade evades, uh just because I know what the trade evades are slightly slower them. right now. I think slightly lower mm -hmm. than I thought Last time I checked, it was like three seventy. Yeah, so five dollars seems a little expensive, but it's not unmanageable. I don't think. Stop loss. Three tanks. Nice. Trade of eight. 310? Yeah, 310. so I guess that is quite a difference. I mean, it's $1.90 per round trip. That is about 40% more. Right. Or actually more than that, right? Uh, yeah, 60. You should be fine. I mean, on minis, you should be fine. Yeah, I'm not so worried about it myself. I don't really think about commissions at all, to be honest. Yeah, me either. So... You trade so many contracts. Yeah, that might make sense, Jamie. Especially if you're on, uh, if you're on um, micros for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it would be on micros, but how many trading days for a payout, Rich? I don't know. I don't think I saw any. I don't remember seeing a minimum day and a min a minimum amount. <coughs> Like I said, I'd like to know more about Flexi Trade. That's why I'm trading them just to see. I want to get to a payout and let you and we're kind of report back to you guys and let you know whether or not um you know they pay out or whatever.
once you get that payout, we'll do a giveaway with the full payout amount. Yeah, why not? You heard it here first, folks. Not the full amount. No way. The full amount. We might even do double the full amount. (laughs) What was it that one day there was somebody in my chat and I sent him your way because I said that you were doing a like a two thousand dollar (laughs) giveaway? I don't know. (laughs) One day pass. Yeah, it is one day pass, but I don't know what it is. Uh, full port payout, yeah. <laughs> Let's get to full port. Let's full port it right now. Uh, oh, you trade minis? Email the flexi. Holy cow! You trade more than two hundred contracts in a day. What? That's a lot. Jamie. Oh my god! There's no way. <laughs> oh, there's a way. Did my camera turn off again? Yeah, it's been off for a while. I'm getting annoyed with this camera. What the heck is it doing? Where did that Delta's asking where that crypto guy went? Did he did he stay on your stream yesterday? That R three yeah, dude. He stayed in there for a little while, and then he he said I was rude or something. But he was like, <laughs> "Was that really you on this?" And I was like, "Yeah, that was me." But I think he told he said you you're I was rude, rude, and he said. He's in my chat telling me, this is boring. Go trade something else. And I'm like, what the hell? Who the hell are you? Where did that crypto? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You're on 320 on this eval today. Nice. Oh, really? 320? <laughs> what mile? Where are you scalping? You got to be scalping like a low, low time frame. <laughs> Quantum computing is just too, uh, too advanced for us. I don't know what quantum computing <clears throat> is. I am Nobody an idiot. I am an idiot. Oh, you're okay. Eight accounts. Sorry, that makes sense. Smurf says go trade some shit coins. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with not knowing what you're doing. We don't know either what we're doing. So we are starting to idiot box, guys. I was about to say I don't. I'm not. Well. I, I think I'm done completely. I'm not taking any more trade. I took my account down a little bit with micros, so I'm not risking any more. Where are we at? Give us an update. I'm up uh, two. I'm up two ninety six today, and again, as of Monday, my goal was only a hundred dollars a day, which is nothing with minis, but that's all I want and need. And so every day this week, I've made more than a hundred. I think. Uh, so we only need four fifty left to pass this, so we should be able to do that next week, no problem. And uh, I've only had this account two weeks, so I just want to pass it within a month. Awesome. I'm trying to uh, just be accepting of whatever I get each day, because that's where I struggle. Uh, what do we know about Flexi Trade? Not much. Like I said, I just started using them, James. I did sign up for an affiliate link, but I don't have it yet. But if you are going to buy an account, Husk Trader does have a link with them. He already has it in the description of his videos. You can go over there and use his link. Try it at your own risk because we don't know. I mean, are they legitimate? Probably, but like how long they're going to be around? I don't know. It's just one of those things. You just have to kind of draw your own conclusion from it. But if you want to support someone... Husk Trader does have a link in his description for uh, Flexi Trade already. So, market's finished for today, Lex. You might be right, but we did just break out. I like that we didn't stay in the idiot box too long. I felt like spend, forever. Well, we didn't spend a ton of time there in comparison to the last few days. Right. Yeah, it was only 20 minutes. Yeah, so last few days we felt spent like the entire morning there. So, right. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And if you guys haven't already, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. We are going to be doing another giveaway probably in the next 20, 30 minutes. Uh, We'll do another giveaway. $200. $20 from me. $180 from Rat Lord Trade. Sounds like. Um, all right well i will be jumping <laughs> off of here and oh <laughs> uh, how do you enter once broken out uh you don't 
One, look for a short here. If you see something, I don't blame you. Delta Just, knows when to enter. You enter at the you long at the highs. You short the lows. <laughs> were you were you watching me the other day when uh we were in basically an idiot box and Delta showed up and he's like, You could have shorted any of those highs. And I'm like, All right, I'll do it this next time. And we get to the highs, I short it and we break right through it. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens. That's why I don't play the idiot box, but that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Because as soon as you do that, it's going to play against you. And you're going to be like, yeah, what? Never, why never did I let failed. the idiot box get me? So we do actually have an interesting look here on the three-minute chart. So we're testing yeah, this gap minute. here. The short, yeah, or Sibby. I wouldn't short it. The Sibby. No, we don't have one on the right. We don't have one on ES. Oh yeah, we do. Sorry, I need to switch it to three minute. Oh, uh, I don't know. Look at the three minute. We have a high, a low, a higher high, and then we have. I mean, we didn't really break down that that swing too much. Actually, on Nasdaq, we did. That's a tough call here. What what don't you like about shorts? I just don't blindly like to short gaps. That's all. Or long. What about the uh, the high, low, higher, high setup? That's kind of like a breaker. I don't. I use that yeah. sometimes, but not often. When it, I, whenever I don't take them, they work out. Whenever I take them, they they don't work. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of what you have to do there. Like, this is like a 55% play, in my opinion. This works about 55% of the time if you just shorted this here. Which, if right. you take every one, it's still profitable, right? Right. Thanks. It's usually a pretty good risk to reward. Crosshair. Price. I mean, that candle respected that. We just wicked up into it. There we go. I got the time back on there now. Yeah, but for me, so what I would be looking for here, because I believe in this leg, we're probably back to OTE if we just measured this leg. So I would take a short if we came out of this leg and we had like a one-minute inversion to the downside. And if we closed above, then because um, we hit OTE there exactly. So I'd have to wait for a one-minute inversion to take the short. That gives me extra confirmation that we should go down. Um, and if we closed above, you know, that kind of tells me I'm probably going back to that high. So now what makes more sense? Do, do you think this high makes more sense to go to first or this low? Uh, to me, this low makes more sense because we swept the low first and we swept the high. So this is your most logical area for us to go to. But who knows? 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love it. So for me, we swept a little liquidity to the upside there. We're delivering from that three-minute gap. So if we close below this one minute, then for me, that would be a short. That's how I wait for confirmation. I just don't blindly short the gap itself. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean it's going to work? No, of course not. doesn't mean that. Oh, damn. So I just took the short there. Kind of a little dump right there on that. Uh, on that push there, my entry wasn't great. Love and shorted too. He's about to get his money. Money, money, money. But I just shorted too, so that means he might not get his money. <laughs> so if it hits my uh, TP on the first one here, then I'm going to break even, stop it there, and, uh, you know, see how far we can go. I 
don't like the way it's reacting to that gap down there, but we're going to give it a second. I just let it play out. There's a pivot at 85 oh. as well, so. Guess who just showed up in my chat? Ooh, your boy. You better What's get up? your money. What's up, R3A? I want you to get Go, your uh, money, too. All right, well, we might just eat this one. We need this to hold here. And back below this wick here, we'll break even stop it. Obviously, if we get below that wick, it should hit our TP. I almost uh, we, took it off. We are we're streaming with uh, Methodical, man. That's who you hear. So you should pop over in Methodical's chat. We got more, more people over there. But you'll see me on his stream. Mm. We might get wrecked here. If it closes back above, we take it off. That dims is the rules. So we will give it a moment here when we move our stop down. And if it takes Excellent. it, it takes it. And there you go. So that's one of those ones where, is it okay? Yeah, it's probably fine. Could have probably just taken, uh, I think my entry was a little bit, I got entered kind of down here. The close of the candle, maybe a point or two higher. So, I don't know. It's a tough one. I don't hate it. But it is what it is. Oh, you're R3, not doing more. Tesla, Tesla will crash. Didn't it? Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. <laughs> Wait, is that the person who's supposed to Sugar to Bear? Your name? Yeah, uh -huh. Sugar Bear. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> have a conversation here, Sugar Bear. Uh oh. Your name should say That's Captain Cock right now, and I'm not seeing that, so. <laughs> What's the deal? You don't want to be labeled the guy that goes back on his, uh, his word. I know you saw that hit yesterday. Sugar Bear. <laughs> oh, goodness. And actually, I didn't even notice this here, guys. The three-minute never closed below. I wasn't even paying attention to that. You see we had the small three-minute gap here. We never closed below that or the two-minute. <laughs> yeah, it's got to get fixed, right? Oh, you don't have to check on the chart, Sugar Bear. I'm going to let you know. It, it, closed, it, it, it blasted through the 470s yesterday. It blasted through there. Have you ever looked at the event log in Quan Tower? No. Maybe someone in your chat. I, I keep mine open just to see if Rhythmic is having issues. And like I get Rhythmic tick history loading errors all the time. Where, how do you open that? Uh, it's, it's one of the module things. It's just called event log. Uh, event log. This is what mine looks like. I keep it open because, like, it will uh, mine it will looks, tell you like when rhythmic is having issues and stuff. Mine looks all green. Mm -hmm. Click that. See where it says two of three event types. Click that up top left. Exception. Yeah, and turn on uh turn on exception. See rhythmic bar history. Rhythmic. Rhythmic kind of sucks. I hate, I hate to say it. Mine's all green. <laughs> Why Rhythmic do I have so many history. problems? They know it's the Rat Lord. It's not fair. They know it's the Rat Lord. Uh, what's my entry? Oh, I don't have an don't entry. Have like that. What? What say you? I was asking Alito. Yeah. yeah, I should have probably, the two minutes actually the cleanest time frame here. I should have been watching the two minute. Made a mental error there on that short. What is Edge Pro X? 
Uh, sounds like something sexual. <laughs> sounds like sounds like something Tom Sabo would do. Only trades said it. In your oh well, you guys talk about weird stuff over there, so I don't know. Edge Pro X, where? I want to try Edge Pro X, Rat Lord. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a platform. Scared to search it. Yeah, just look it up. It'll be fine. <laughs> 58, 5320, we still need it, Black Beauty says. We're at 5311. <laughs> Let's go, Sasha. Oh, Let's go. Nice job. These bodies are respecting that five minute Sibby on a uh, NASDAQ. What do we got? Five uh, minute, five dollar? Yeah, five dollar at 10.05. And these last two candles are, the bodies are respecting that. Do you keep your five minute open? Or you mostly just keep your no, I have three. yeah, I have like probably eight, nine charts open at all times. Oh damn. So Oh yeah, you you've got some secret sauce going on on your other monitors. <laughs> There's no secret. It's just charts. <laughs> Make eleven gonna re enter the five minute gap short if it holds. <laughs> um <laughs> I was thinking of a long duck dong. Go for it. I mean, we have both. Don't think. No. We have both directions here. I mean, we're awfully deep in that five minute gap, though. It's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, Tyler, I'm I'm done trading. I'm we're we're green. <coughs> Keeping it there. Got a holiday tomorrow. No need to go crazy. Oh, there's a need to go crazy. There's always hey Alito and R three A. Why don't why don't we take this over to Methodical Man's chat? You guys can argue over there. No, I'm okay with them arguing over there with you. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's really okay. I would like them to involve you. It's a collab live stream, yeah. So they're in both spots. Still holding from four eight four. Nice. We could still push Janelle. Man, that's a tough hold. We've been doing nothing. 36 minutes. Janelle must have got long somewhere over here on this pump up. She was in nice green and then pulled back. I would guess. Or no, I guess she could have got long on this pullback. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not really going anywhere. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. Also to Rat Lords. Get over there and hit the like button for him and subscribe as well. Long four contracts, Vaulters at 499. Let's go. Black Beauty loves the collab. Thank you, thank you. If we don't push in the next six minutes, you think we sell off? Yeah, that could be a good, a good assessment. But... The thing I didn't like about the long is that, uh, you know, we don't have to rerun this high again. So that's kind of the thing I didn't like. So, Drew, we are doing a collaboration stream with Methodical Man. What's up, Drew the Destroyer? Tyler, um, good job taking a, just taking your scalps. I mean, I could, too long in this price action. I could long right here, actually. I don't really hate long it. wherever you want. Yeah, we put in a little OB here. Not going to. There he is. There he is. R3A, hello. 
long way in now for a bit. <laughs> this guy. Oh. No. Will Tesla go down more? Hmm. Well, it depends. Is it the first date or the second date, R3? I'm not sure. <laughs> Throw a little joke in there, see if you can see if you catch it. Kind of take her somewhere nice. <laughs> oh. I have Man, no idea though, it? R3, I have no idea. I got no clue. After the earning calls, it could. Eh, maybe. I really have no idea. Oh. <laughs> you got to set a tone. McDonald's for the first date, says Smurf. I don't know, uh, Smurf, I don't know if you can uh, pull off being like five foot six and uh and also taking them to McDonald's on the first date. I don't know if being a being a goaltender is going to is going to give you those two things to overcome. <laughs> oh. Maybe maybe you can pull it off. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're driving, right? <laughs> oh. The deck is stacked against you. You'll be all right. <laughs> Just keep the beard, right? Just keep the beard manicured nicely. You'll be all right. <laughs> right, Lord. What we got going on over there, anyway? Starting Nothing. to see a little. Starting to see a little uh, teenage stubble. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little teenage this stubble. Is, uh, this is like, this is like three months worth of growth here. <laughs> <laughs> three months? Holy cow! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe uh, when I maybe when I grow up, I'll be able to grow a beard, but it's not looking good. They love being passenger on the driver's side. Oh, nice. Does Rat Lord like cheese? I don't know. Only trades getting paid. Who doesn't like cheese? You don't like cheese? No, I said who doesn't like cheese? Oh, good point. Good point. Well, I uh, I gotta, I gotta end this. It's almost eleven. I've got, got, you know, slacking to do. <laughs> sounds cool. Sounds cool. We appreciate you joining us once again. If you guys have not subscribed to Rad Lord, please do me a favor. Get over there and hit the subscribe button, like button. We appreciate you joining Rat Lord, and uh, we'll do it again sometime. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. It was fun. Right, and we good. ended green, so can't complain about that. Oh, yeah. Green's always good. Much preferred. All right. All, All right. right we have a good rest of your stream. I'll try uh, checking in on you later. All right. We'll see you. All right. See you, man. All right. We are back. We are back. You need some mouse ear hats? Ah, it could be. We are kind of idiot boxing here. I didn't think, I thought we were going to kind of bounce out of there and stop, but it's not happening. We've got a couple minutes here before we'll have Husk on. I'm going to check on a couple of people. It's like Nutty's up $80. No, oh, Nutty's ranting. Let's check on Key Amber, see how she's doing. It's like Key Amber's down $93. What are you, make loving? You short or you long? I don't remember. Looks like Alpine pretty much just used his day as a flip day. Shorted. Gotcha.
Oh, yeah, you did say you were going to short that. I forgot. I forgot. Nice job, 512. Straight down, let's go. Trying to see here. Um, I may retake this short. Bad day for you. It's tough, Greg. Like, I'm I'm red. On one of mine. The one account I'm trading there. All right, all right, all right. Can you hear me over there? I don't know. You're scalping and taking small profits? That's the way to do it. Want a game of blackjack? Let's go. I'm kind of just waiting right here, Greg. We're wedged between two areas. So we're just waiting. My lean is up. My lean is kind of up. ES pushing back up here, just grinding higher. Pump to the 40s? Eh, maybe. I don't think it's unreasonable. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You're in a long from around the WAP. Nice. Uh, there's no real SMT. Well, I guess not really. I don't really see one that makes any sense yet. Yeah, you got to stop sharing your screen and and instead do the camera. Turn on your camera. So exit out of the, the screen share and turn on your camera. <laughs> All right, we're going to get back.
back to the two minute here. If we can ever get there. We're really just idiot boxing right in here. Pressure aid, hey, pressure trade day, let's go. Yeah, that's the thing, Delta. Yeah, I like to look for higher high and lower high. Lower lower low, that type thing, but So if we close below here, I probably will take it. Did not close below there. Holding that level. Let's see. All right, starting to rip. Trying to get back to the three minutes. <clears throat> back to the three minute here. There we go. Yeah, you should have to do, Denny, is to click on that and put turn turn on your camera. That's pretty strong looking there. So eleven eleven oh five. I'm going to go ahead and jump in just off this momentum here. Something like that. TP still 40s. We'll see. And as soon as we enter, just rejection. Wow, that's garbage. I mean, how we had all that momentum there and then it just rejected there. Oh, well. All right, we're just going to eat that. Look at that.
jumped in a minute ago on the momentum. I don't know that I want to do it again. Just make sure it closes below. They just wreck us in both directions. Let's see. Let's see what she do. What's it saying? I'm going to pipe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get Husk Trader in here now. Nope, I'm hearing it like a whole bunch of reverb now, Husk. What in the world is going on here? All right, well, there we go. I don't know where he went. <laughs> he was in my thing and then he just disappeared. Well, manipulation would really be if it closed above and then closed back below. This should probably hold here. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, knucklehead. Why do you keep closing out the chat? No, you literally entered and then exited. I can't hear you. You got to exit the live first. Yeah, but you got to exit the live first. The live voice channel, you got to go out of there. Just click on it and hit the red end call button. Having troubles over here with uh, getting Husk in here for some reason. Hey, you, you, Ben. Welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for your subscription. You the man. All right, you should be. Let 
you need to mute your you need to mute you you got to mute your speakers I'm not talking about your headphones. I'm talking about your speakers. Let's go. David Mayna, welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for your subscription. You the man. All right, you're probably okay there. I don't hear you. Okay, never mind. There we go. All right. That'll work. All right, let me pipe Husk in now here. See if we get his audio in. All right, go ahead and say something, Husk. We'll make sure that we can hear you. I don't hear you, so what happened? Oh, come on. Hello, Husk. I cannot hear you. Dude, don't exit the thing. Stop doing that. He keeps exiting the call over and over. Hello. Do you have your mic muted? I think he must have his mic muted. I can't hear a word he's saying. All right, Delta, we'll see you. Unplug it and plug it back in. <laughs> Need something. I don't know. There's a disconnect. I give up. I don't know. I tried. I gave it the old college try. I don't know why he's struggling so bad. All he has to do is set up an audio output capture and join in to the Discord and uh, and then we'd be able to hear him. But Anywho, we'll just proceed on. Not but we not much we can do. So we kind of got wrecked over there, kind of entered a couple of trades, maybe not paying a hundred percent attention to what was going on, but We're just chopping, really idiot boxing. So we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Pick you. <laughs> All right, let's do the giveaway. Uh, it's going to probably be $20, Naz. I don't want to. I don't want to do it any more than what. Because I want to do five.
All right, let's go. We'll start the giveaway now. Uh, I didn't forget int money daily. I just haven't looked at my email since then. Let me look at it. Just have not looked at the emails. All right, let me jump back in the Discord and see if I can work something out with him right quick. I don't know. You have to answer. You have to answer my call. Uh, do it again. Nope. You just do explanation point cash, Darren. That's all you do. In Discord, it should be output audio device. If you go down there to the settings, user settings right next to your, um, right next to the microphone in the headphones, and you go up to voice and video, and then you got to make sure output device is on your, your microphone, input device is on your microphone. Let me get this let me get this sent over the winning for the winner this morning. Let's get it sent over. There we are. Methodical winner coming over to you now. Voice and video, you want to make sure input device is on your microphone. <laughs> money, money, money. Top step fire drill. Yeah, I think it's 75% off reset. Giving away $20. You have your headphones turned off now. And Lace, hard to hear me today, I don't know. Sometimes I got the mic turned up, sometimes I don't. Um, who was that that won that was just saying they sent me the email? Fabian. Have you won before? Intmon Daily. Let's 
saying I sent you money before, so I'm just making sure. So you won yesterday? No, you won this morning too? You, you won twice today. You lucky dog. <laughs> I was like, what? <coughs> Wow. If you win again, I'm going to start to get suspicious. <laughs> I'm going to start to get suspicious at that point. I don't know, Janelle. It could be rigged. I don't know. I don't know how you would rig it, but we'll see. It was two different names, but he's got the uh, he's got the same he's got the same cash app. So I was like, that's a little strange. All right, I'm gonna call my uh, cousin right quick. I guess Darren he has two YouTube channel two YouTube names. So But anyways, I'm gonna mute you guys for just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm gonna call him so we can get this figured out. He's a botcha galoot sometimes.
Hello, hello. All right, I think we got it fixed finally. So now you guys should be able to hear Husk. And let me see if I oh. can get the... Uh, I got to mute him on actual YouTube because it's coming through double. All right, Husk, you need to uh, speak here. Let's make sure we can hear you. Somebody verify they can hear him. All right, so we're approaching the three-minute fair value gap. We're about to break out of it. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and reopen this uh, giveaway in just a moment. All right. Thank you guys for confirming. I had to uh, hold the hand of a baby. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. He had to walk me through it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm still fairly new to Discord. I've only started using Discord just a few months back. We're going to do not a few extra... A few extra minutes on the giveaway there, so <coughs> give you guys some uh, chance to get in there. Yeah, he lied. He didn't win. Nobody won yet. All right, let me get this uh, video capture up here so we can so you guys can see him. Let's. We're going to add a video capture. No, wait. Not video capture. Why did I say video capture? So, we got a few more minutes on the giveaway. Just a few more minutes. Window capture is what I meant. Boom, there we go. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, we're doing okay, you know. So I've been kind of following the methodical spans path the last week or so by learning these uh, inversion trades. So I had pretty good luck this morning so far. Maxie, come on, man. Maxie's like, when are you coming to visit? Maybe this summer. I haven't decided yet. Either I'm going to come visit Georgia this summer or I might wait till football season. Maybe go catch a Georgia game. I haven't been to one of those in quite a few years. All right, we're going to put Husk up there one of the in the Alabama corner. Let's do what? Sweet. I was asking, is a Alabama or a Texas game, either one of them going to be in Georgia this year? No, those are both away. No. Oh, pity. My camera's kind of been doing some goofiness today, too. I'm trying to get it back on. Oh, did I actually delete it? No, I didn't. Oh, I turned it off. There yeah, it I don't I don't I don't see your picture in the, the corner there. All right, we're here. Janelle says go dogs. All right. So let's go. All right, <laughs> enter the giveaway. Heck yeah. Mark, you know how. Come on now. <laughs> uh yeah, okay. So let's So get... what is the Oh go ahead, Denny. I was gonna ask you what was the giveaway for today? I thought you just gave a giveaway the other day. We're doing $20, uh, five $20 giveaways. Basically, that's enough to purchase a Bulinox account. Okay. So, if you want to throw in a giveaway there, you know, we can make it more. Well, I'm hoping one day I'll be blessed enough to do giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> that's That's the goal, is to one day get to the point where, you know, we can just be making it rain. 
if we set up our flex trade accounts under their login and not rhythmic you get their full quant tower license oh nice Yeah, so next week I'll be using Flexi Trades. I didn't sign up for it today, just the fact that tomorrow's kind of a holiday for Good Friday. All right, what time is it? 11.36. Woof. We're like, it feels like we're in the chop now. We are in the chop. That's like entertainment hour, baby. How did you uh, do this morning so far, Husk? Did you, uh, are you uh, Pretty good. I've taken three trades so far today. I, did, I didn't record or live stream the 7.30 trade, the first news play. I got, I want to say 15 handles. I was trying to get 25. I did it in minis. I did six minis. I did three off at 10. Then the other three I got at 15, but I was trying to get three up to 30, so kind of divided up a little bit to break down the not to use such a horrible um over leverage because i'm only trading on twenty five thousand accounts yeah then the the second trade was the 15 minute breakout trade and that one broke even so i got three but the next three came back and just pretty much hit me at my break even then the next one was that one that i guess it was similar to the same trade you took the was that a short or a long no it was a long the first fair value gap breakout mm -hmm. that one so i'm uh, only up 200 bucks for the day how are we doing today nordmark not great we've taken a couple of losers our last two trades have been losers but i jumped in before we closed above on the three minute and then um when we closed back above back below i took the short and just got completely wrecked. Took the short like here, I think, or maybe here. I don't remember. And it just, it just wrecked me. It went right back up. So, but uh, on the funded accounts, we're fine. Uh, funded accounts were okay. We, um, I don't even think I've taken any trades other than my three express funded accounts today. So we're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Back from Taco so Bell, I do let's go. Go ahead. So I was letting you guys know that I do have a link for Flexi Trade if anybody's interested in you trying it out. Yeah, Husk has an affiliate I guess, link. I also put Husk a uh, link to his channel up there above. So if you guys want to join or uh, jump over there and give him a subscribe and give him a like. So we do appreciate it. Have I gotten any payout yet, yeah. James? Or are you talking about Husk? I've gotten a few payouts. Appreciate oh, you, Oracle. Traded, appreciate Oracle. you. <laughs> now, Husk has gotten a few PA accounts. He's gotten a few funded accounts. So he could probably answer it, but he's not gotten to a payout yet. No. So... And usually, usually what happens is after I fail a PA account or a funded account, I kind of pull back a little bit and start being a little bit more conservative because, you know, it seems like I do good when we're in the PA accounts, but as soon as you get funded, the emotions kind of take over. So those are kind of my biggest struggles, the emotions, you know, the heart racing a little bit or unsure of yourself, second guessing yourself. Appreciate your RM trades. All right, Darren, we'll see you back in a bit. Yeah, I don't, the flexi trades seem okay. The, the question is going to be whether or not they pay out. So, and I just took a, big, a pretty big loss on my account. So we may not even get that one to pay out. We're down like a thousand. So that's not the way you want to start it. Nah, that, that was the, the big boy account, right? That's the one you had to pay for the PA. Yeah, I mean, I just paid for it. Yeah. But okay. I pay for them all. We have to pay for all the PAs. I know. But I mean, it's all right. I mean, if we, you know, if we blow it, we blow it. 
Tis what it is. Yeah. In my finance world, I haven't got to the point where I can be like, if we just blow it, we blow it. I'm like, eh, you know, trying to put the pennies back in the pocket. <laughs> uh, Sun Win, you can um, you can use the 80% discount as many times as you want. Emotions equals the worst. They'll remove all your profits for months and months. Yeah. You all look into Perdia yet? No consistent rule. What is Perdia? Aaron, I've never heard of that. Yeah, Alito, I just went ahead and full sent one account one way and one the other. I was going to kind of take one for the team there, but we dropped the ball on the account today. I traded – I actually didn't even – it never even crossed my mind. It's a 25, 25K account, and I was trading two minis. I should have been on two to five micros, so kind of made a mistake there. So, yeah, we full sent them yesterday, yes. Not on the funded, no. But yesterday we full sent to get to the funded. Today we did full send it open to get uh, Bulinox, another Buley, another Buley in the bag. So, we locked up another Buley. All right, we want to give the giveaway. Do you want to do the giveaway here? Let's see. Everybody in? You got about another minute. Another minute to get in on the giveaway. Husk, you need to jump in on the giveaway. All right, so what is it? You just kind of put the cash with the thing again, or are you doing something else? Yeah, explanation point cash. Cash, all right. Wrong way, son, when you need to do, uh, instead of I cash, it needs to be exclamation point cash. Yeah, I did that the other day. <laughs> or I put I cash in. Trading for science, getting in there. I think Janelle's already in. Maybe not. So if you are still on my stream uh, right now, we're on the Methodical Man's uh, page. All right, one more minute. One more minute. Dylan's, there you go. So join us over there if you would like. There you go, son. Win. That's the way to do it. Let's just see here. Wait for Sun Win to get his ticket. Well, it's just taking it a second. Or did you already have a ticket? Let me see. Muhammad, you already had a ticket. Uh, um, yeah, Sunwin, you already have a ticket too. All right, here we go. We're about to close close it up. Atticus just slipped in right under the nick of time there. Oh, LT white bread. <coughs> Max Kaufman. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hi, Oracle. All right, that's it. Entry's closed. Uh, pull her over here. Let's pick a winner. Winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Moapo. Moapo one. Are you there? So if they're not in the stream, do they still win, or do they have to still be in the stream? Got to be in the stream, otherwise we'll draw someone else. Oh, okay. I know Mawapo is there, though. I didn't know if you were holding her spot. No. Methodicalman at gmail.com. Mawapo, where you at? There should be a timer. <laughs> nah. Thanks for stopping by, Oracle. Glad you went a third time. Yeah, it would have been it would have been interesting if you did Mon Daily. I'll just start questioning things myself. <laughs> Mawapo, there you are. Yeah, send me an email to methodicalman at gmail.com. 
screenshot your ability to edit your comment. So just click on your comment. It should show that you can remove it or delete it. Screenshot that. Send me your Cash App or your PayPal, whichever you prefer, and we'll get that over to you. Congratulations. If you guys haven't already, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. We do appreciate it. Let's check and see if there's any more news today. I don't remember there being anything else, if I could be wrong. Yeah, I think there's some after 1 o'clock. But it's, it's no three. I don't think it's any three-star news. So we have oil news at 1 o'clock. Um, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so there's nothing else. So we can close this out. What about for Friday morning? Got anything Friday morning to look forward to tomorrow? Uh, we're closed tomorrow, remember? Dylan oh, yeah, Gaines, your right. cash app? Yes, your cash No, I'm going to send you my cash app, Dylan. You, you'll you be good to go. Is this my brother? Uh, no. This is my cousin. His mom. Wait a second. I'd have to get it right. I think his mom is my first cousin. Yeah. So his mom's mom. His grandmother is my mom's sister. Sister, I believe. You're close to paying out trading for science. Let's go. We look alike. Eh, I don't know about that. Just because we're both camera. Just because we're both fat and uh, both have facial hair, hoodies, and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya Trades has three loss in two days. Today, over 500 to 600 accounts. Yeah, it happens. I mean, it happens to everybody, right? If you get a cash out from you, it'll be an IOU. <laughs> Perfect. I haven't I like traded my best those. yet today. Uh, is the market making me sleepy? Uh, it's not making me sleepy, but it is pretty dead. It's definitely pretty dead. Well, man, this is like the third day in a row that we had the big moves in the morning, and once 1030 hits, it's like, all right, it's time to cut it off. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it's, it's been like that. And it usually doesn't start back up till power hour. Yeah, I was hoping that that wouldn't be the case today, but looking like that is. Yeah, the Bulls are on vacation. I think so. <laughs> Yeah, we're back in that three-minute gap, Muhammad, for sure. I mean, I thought we'd close above it earlier, and we just didn't. We just held it. The three-minute and the five minutes kind of just held us down today right there. So we did make money in the London session. We are red on a eval account and we're red on one of our fundeds. And then we passed a Bulinox account today, full sending it. So that's kind of where we stand right now. I haven't really taken any other trades on my fundeds. I haven't seen anything that I've liked. That first trade that we made money on this morning, um, I was going to take that on my funded, but I accidentally clicked on the wrong account. So, oh, we're actually green on that other eval. I thought we were red on it. I forgot. Compression leads to expansion. Eventually, could be Easter week. Seems like Christmas week. The chop is pretty bad. We were too separated at birth. <laughs> nah. We were. I don't think we've ever in our life been told that we look alike. No. I don't think that's new to us. But I mean, I guess, you know, maybe it's because uh, it could just be a family thing. Like, you got the same grandparents, great grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. I, we do have news tomorrow, it just ain't right, which I think is weird, but. Yeah, I know you said it last week, Wyatt. I know you did. All right, is this thing going to tempt me? 
Yeah, I'm looking for a breakout above that three minute fair value gap that we've been waiting on all morning. Oh, we have a smaller is that the one you're looking at. We have a smaller, oh, you're looking at a one. smaller one. Oh, yeah. Problem is, there was a 30 second long down here that I didn't even consider taking, and you would be already up 12 points on it, but. I mean, I don't want to take this and then get bushwhacked again. You love a Wait, good IFEG? Me too. You're looking at the five? Yeah, I'm looking at the three. I, I think we make it back to that wick there. Seems reasonable, at least. Um. So what uh, payout are you on today? Are you on the, how many payouts have you done this morning? I know I've heard at least two, but I couldn't, I didn't watch London session. No, I didn't get to a payout. I didn't trade any of the other accounts. Uh, so. Oh no, I didn't mean pay. I mean giveaways. Oh, we're on three. So that was just three. the third one. Okay. The same, the same person won the first two. That is crazy. Which had me scratching my head because I was like, wait a second, it says it says this person's already been sent money today, so I had to like question it for a second, like, how's this happen? But Rigged. I know. I know. That's kinda like looking suspicious. Looking suspicious. <laughs> Only by the dip. Seems reasonable, just ain't right. All right, we're going to jump in, you know, hey. Well, don't think crappy about it. We're still within the three-minute gap, though, so it's like within the three-minute gap. Yeah, we are. I mean, I don't know. Momentum is kind of slowing down, too, but I think we may get back to this wick. I mean, I would imagine at least, but <laughs> maybe not. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, there'll be a fourth and a fifth roll. We're going to do five today. Five today. You want a big red bar before you get in? No, just ain't right. No, no way. I tell you what, you can have the red bar after it takes the 1850. How about that? Then you can have the red bar. He needs some boner candle love. And not a moment before. Yeah, it's tough. Walters, it's been a very, it has been a very tough month. You're not wrong. So maybe April will bring us something a little, a little better. Yeah, we want to get the big green bar first. Sam Bankman sentenced to 25 years. Uh, you guys think that was enough? I don't know. That's all? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not murder, right? But <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> That was an awful that lot of one money. Guy, what was the one famous guy that had the big Ponzi scheme back in the 90s? He got like 80 or 90 years. It was something mm. crazy. I don't know. Madoff? Murdoff? Madoff? Yeah, yeah. Madoff. Yeah, yeah. Bernie Madoff. So, no, is that it? Yeah. He made yeah. off with your money. That's sure he did yeah. kill a lot of people's accounts. <clears throat> so let's see if we're going to run through this wick here at least. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do it. Can we do it? I mean, at least the, the Sam guy, he'll, he'll see daylight again because he's only like 30. <clears throat> so he'll probably yeah. be out before he's 50 or in his 40s or something. Where did he get tried at? Was he tried in the U.S. or was it somewhere say, else? Yeah, I want to I want to say New York. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't even sure. I don't follow a lot of that stuff, but uh, maybe I should, but I don't. I follow very little. Yeah, he ruined a lot of people's. Yeah, he did. It does seem a little bit light to me, too. That's kind of what I was thinking, but. I 
I guess he lived a good life there for a short while, huh? So whenever I started hearing stories about him, when they were talking about how he was just going around spending money, giving money away, all I could think of was the Dumb and Dumber area where they found out they had a million dollars and they were just going around making it rain. Like, here you go. Here you go. So Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, be careful with that briefcase. That's got a lot of IOUs in it. <laughs> I owe you a lots of money. Yeah. It's like, hold on to that one. That's a $250,000 Lamborghini. <laughs> I want to hold on to it. <laughs> All right, so if we get back above that wick, that swing that we just created, then uh, I will break even stop. If and when we get back above there. <clears throat> so if I do take a move on this one, it'll be above this three-minute fair value gap here. You waiting for the external? Work. Yeah. Yeah, fun coupons. That's what uh, what's his name used to call them. On the uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, he's like, "Look, I found a I found a year salary." <laughs> I mean, I can take the Monopoly money and throw it around like that if I wanted to. We could make it rain some pennies. That's about it. Should get a little burst here at the top of the hour. Uh, we're about a minute away, a minute and a half. So maybe we get a bullish burst through the uh, 18s here at the top of the hour. Let's see. Could obviously go the other way. Yeah, for some reason, my Steam Lab is not working properly because I haven't had to see what's-his-name dance yet this week. Well, got to get that thing working right. So if we push All back right, above so that swing, then I will go break even. And we're above. So break even is in. See if it runs to the L target. So we got to push up, almost a push above the three minute fair it, value gap. Why does it do that? And like it goes up there and just like literally one tick away, paused, and then pulls back. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it just never fails, right? Never fails. We're down what? to 30 seconds left on the candle. One tick away. There we go. Finally, finally, there we go. Just want to make me sweat for that one tick. It's going without you? Yeah, I wouldn't chase it. Give you a fat juice red bar? No! <laughs> yeah, I do usually front run them by a tick, Frederick. I just didn't on that one. So, we're still not closed above there on that. We didn't nope. close above on that candle. It was teasing me. We didn't get the push up that we wanted either at noon. We got the pull back. So. It was teasing me with my trade. That's the one I was looking for was to print above the three minute. Well, maybe it'll hold here and print above now. We'll see. So I have my break even and my tick profit where we do because that's how we do it. Stopped out on the runner. Stopped out. Juicy five minute. Yeah, I'm not watching the five minute, but I do know that it's there. The thing is, if the five minute closes above and the three minute doesn't, then I don't, I don't love the five minute at that point. I do really want to see that three-minute close above. It's good that the five-minute closed above. Don't get me wrong. But you really want to see this three-minute 
follow suit. And that would be like extra confirmation. Three, four, five K profit. Best knock that one out. Nice. Let's go. So now maybe it can turn this into like some support and maybe continue higher. We are in the lunch time though. Yeah, I think Janelle was holding from 84s. Is that right, Janelle? Right? You were along from 84, right? If I remember. So when people are holding this long, are they using like higher time frames for their entries? For the I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Maybe just uh, looking mm. for what you think you can get. All right, guys, we're at 2,666 subscribers. We can't have that devil number on there. Somebody hit that subscribe button for me. Let's go. 64.50. Nice. So even better than I thought. Must have been somebody else that was long from 74 or something like that. I don't remember. 84. I know I had the 68 marked out on the one hour this morning. And, you know. It, it held the 68. Maverick says, how much money has I fund? Have I, how much have I calculated? How much money approximately I've invested in prop firms? You've been hmm. thinking lately whether or not for some of us, it would be better just to fund our own accounts. Okay. So two things there, Maverick. Number one, the cost of a prop firm and the lessons that you learn from trading with some sort of risk on the table, right? Even if it's a prop firm account is invaluable. So trading a prop firm versus trading a live account is going to be two different experiences, right? So if you trade, if you're going to trade a live account, that's fine. But the ability to lose the money much, much quicker exists in the live account. So what I would say is, yes, I know how much I've spent and I'll, re I'll tell you in a minute. But uh, what I would say is, would I have lost this money much, much faster in a live account? And the answer is yes, I would have. So my guesstimation, I'm probably into it $23,000, $24,000, somewhere in there. So Laurent Labadori, welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for joining from France. Yeah, just ain't right. You're getting the juicy red bar. So, yeah, even though it's like 25K, I would have lost that so much faster. If, and, and the number might be slightly smarter than, smaller than that now that I've taken a few payouts. I don't know exactly. I have to go back and look. I am keeping up with it. But it's not like, you know, something that I embed in my head because it's not a number that I'm proud of. Could it have been uh, much less? Yes. Uh, Hus can tell you that when I started trading just over a year ago, there would be nothing for me to go through eight or ten resets in a day. He'll tell you that. I mean, I might yeah. buy eight, eight, nine resets in one day. So his his, his card was smoking. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of learning, I just churned through them, and I was just like, "Oh, I'm going to get funded, and it's going to be awesome." Instead of just thinking, "Man, why am I failing these? Let me figure that out first. My thought process was, "Let's just get funded, and then we'll make all the money." And that's the wrong process. That's the wrong thought process to have. But since, um, I would say in the last three months, I am uh, much more, I'm not blowing the accounts like I was before. And I still blow accounts, obviously. But it's just not at the, uh, at the clip that we were before. Yeah, then you got me. I'm over here like super conservative sometimes. Yeah, we're a little different, uh, Husk and I. We're different when in, in that expect, aspect there. Yeah. We are just kind of idiot boxing here, guys. This is really just a tight range that we're trading back and forth in. I mean, we did just close below this gap. I don't like it when we close above and below, like we keep closing above and below. I don't. I don't love that. So, all 
we are going to go ahead and take the short. Even though I don't love it, but we're still going to take it. So I, I was looking down. So was that short like the break of the, the three minute gap since it three held? Minute, yeah, three minute and one minute there both broke. We held that three minute. Okay, and we so inversed, Yeah, we inversed a three and a one to the downside. You call it the dummy box? Same thing. <laughs> Andy says, hey, buying the dips. The difference is that your own account would not YOLO. Yeah, that's true, Maverick. Very good point. A casino in home. That's right. <laughs> You're not treating the Apex accounts <coughs> like lottery tickets. Yeah, this price X is not great. Yeah, that's the thing, like, just ain't right. It's just one of those things, right, where you, uh, it's easy to do. Like I said, I've done it myself, so. I use different funding companies because if something happens to one, I want to have backups, number one, right, kind of diversify. And also, each company has different rules and you can kind of stagger. So like if you have if you have Apex where you're taking payouts between like the 1st and the 5th and the uh, 15th and the 20th, but you have Top Step or My Funded Futures where you can take a payout every week. Bulinox, same thing every couple of weeks. You can kind of stagger them so you're kind of getting a paycheck every week once you get to a certain level. So it's kind of the thought process. Gonna lock your top step X. Let's do it. Oh, that's good though. You made six hundred. Let's go. Mm. Kind of going back to that one guy's question where he talked about how much you spend, but back then we wasn't aware of the cheaper prop firms either. We wasn't, you know, looking much into Beulah Knox or you know Apex. Yeah, I spent most of my money on top step. I had one hundred and fifty five evals on top step, and that was before they lowered the price to $50. So you can do the math. And, well, kind of sucks to be up 15 points almost and not get anything out of it. But what can you do? Could still go down, I guess. little battle here. A little battle. All right. Let's get that candle back red here. Come on. Turn it back red. Get through that pivot. So I, I, I've... I have a 15 minute marked out, so we're still being kind of held up by a 15 minute fair value gap down between the 80s and 75. Rip it through there. Do not short. You was buying the bottom and selling the top at this respected range. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to this wick right here. That's all I'm doing. Just trying to get down to that wick. It's not too much to ask, right? I don't think it's too much to ask. 493 is key. It is key because that's where my stop is. <laughs> oh. Sell side 458. Well, we're, uh, well not going to make it there for me. Yeah. Just kidding. It's not going to hit my stop. It's going to hit my take profit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to have positivity. Uh, one level, I, one level I got marked out is the four eighty three, and 
it's then bounced off what one, two, three, four, five, six, about six or seven times this morning. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's get this candle this just red. And this is the trade you took out of the three minute down into the one minute? Oh, there was a three minute and a one minute. They both closed below. All right, he got me. This right here. So we respected that three minute up top. We swept that liquidity there by one tick. And then we inverse the three minute and we inverse on the one minute. So that's what I took it off of. I mean, it kind of feels bad, you know, like uh, we could have taken 13, 14 points, but like, I'm just trying to go for this wick right here. We're not trying to get, I mean, we were literally three, three, three points away. Probably makes it. What is that noise in there? Hold on. Ma <clears throat> Maxie's begging for the bathroom break. I don't know if that's the air conditioner or what. Janelle May Long at 483. 1144 bearish breaker. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, barely, right? It does look. Somebody unsubscribed when I asked for a subscription since we were at 666. <laughs> dirty. Aw. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> yeah, now I get Maybe it, Maybe they want to be the one that breaks it. Going through the motions. I do feel like it moves lower here, but, you know. What can we do about it? Seller starting to push in. Is that my dad? Yeah, it is. He is. Uh, he's 60 years old. Had is me when he was 16. Dad? Papa, Dada. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna need some. Uh, I'm gonna need screen. some. Uh, I'm gonna need some allowance. <laughs> <laughs> I need some allowance. I think we're only. I think we're only two years apart. No, we're more than that. Oh. No, that's not really my dad. How old are you, Denny? Uh, what are you? Four, you're 48, right? Uh, 46. Oh, okay. So I guess we are two years apart. I'm 44. Yeah, he was only two years old. And he was already slinging it around. <laughs> <laughs> he was slinging around the Coke can. <laughs> the Coke can. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Full scene. I guess I'm, how did you do in London session? Were you positive this morning? Yeah, I was up two sixty eight on three express funded. So like whatever that is, like seven fifty or something. Actually, I know it the, seems like the London Oh go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was a, it always seems like the London session gets you and you're fighting back near New York to get it back. Yeah, sometimes. The only account that I've traded like crap today is the Flexi Trade account. Maybe that's uh maybe that's a sign. 
Had a friend in high high school who's ugly, but dude pulled all the chicks. Swear he must have had a Coke can. <laughs> <laughs> we know what Grim was doing. He was in the locker room looking. He's like, I got to find out what his secret is. <laughs> got to find out what the secret is. I don't know what you're talking about, Grim. That's not what we mean by Coke can. <laughs> What are Beulah Knox uh, uh, trading rules? <laughs> News trading rules? There are none. Not your Aryan. Do what you want. Do what you want. So, I don't think, yeah, Beulah Knox doesn't have any rules for news that I know of, right? I've never seen, I don't think so, because I've, I've taken news plays with uh, Beulah Knox before. <laughs> Alito, white folks call it a Coke can, black folks call it an air freshener can. Uh oh, <laughs> guys, we're 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 treading into dangerous territory here. <laughs> dangerous territory. I mean, I like the short. I wish I could have just left the stop up into the you know like risk a little more, but just as like as back and forth as we've as we've been, it just makes it hard, right, in this zone. We weren't so back and forth there. I might have just left my stop a little bit further away, but the salami. It's trading in that forty point range. So Oh, you know you know open up the can there. With Long the duck dong, let's go. <laughs> the sausage, the salami. <laughs> they do make the twenty four ounce cans, that's true. Yeah, we got a couple of higher lows here, but then we just swept those. So we'll see if um, it wants to continue to the upside or not. What's the old two-minute chart looking like? Not great. What about, let's go to the trusty four-minute. No. No. I don't think I've ever taken a trade off the four minute. I've taken a few. I haven't. All right, let's check down to the 30 uh, second chart. Stick to the odds. <laughs> the, the one, the one, three, and five. Yeah, price action's not great, Diego. What is that noise? Is that my hearing like a roaring noise. I don't know what that is. Oh, you've Do had some issues with your AC in the past. So. I don't think it's that. I think maybe I got the uh, door shut. <clears throat> Short from 82, right below the pivot. Lunch special in effect, closing the day. I would like to see some sort of expansion. That would be nice. It's my stomach. It, you know what, Gabriel? I have not ate anything today. Oh, one banana. I did eat a banana. I don't want to say I didn't eat anything. I ate a banana. This is the price that's in action. If you're not streaming, you would turn it off and call it a day. Exactly. Either that or you come back after or around 2 o'clock. Absence on the practice over there. I got you. Tomato sandwich it is. Sounds good. Denny, he doesn't eat tomato sandwiches. Do you? No. Yeah, Negative on like, the tomato sandwiches. You don't like tomatoes, I don't think. But what's weird, I like, you know, tomato sauce and, you know, Chips and dips and stuff. Like, I can eat tomatoes out of, like, you know, tortilla with tortilla chips and stuff. But a regular sliced tomato? No. Yeah, Max's went out. Because I'm streaming, do I find myself overtraining? I, I do sometimes. Play uh, Roulette at Gun Lake Casino. Where's that at, Baz? But, yeah, Max went out just a little bit, a little while ago. The 
that big green leg that we had this morning. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I liked it. I liked the price action this morning. It wasn't bad. I mean, we were long here going into the news. And then um, I took it off because of the news. And then it just boner candled. Well, we've traded okay on this account, right? Long here. Let's see. What do we do on this account this morning? Oh, we took one loss earlier. So that was a break even. All right. So we're pushing into that 15-minute fair value gap. We are indeed. So I will look for a long out of this as long as this gap yeah. holds. Yeah, stopped everybody out now and goes, this is what happens. Want to see that swing lower from 12 hour projected lower after we break here? We'll see. You're up 220 on roulette. Nice. You'd be interested to see how many contracts you trade in a month between all those accounts. That would be that would be a pretty decent thing to look at, I think. So we got about 30 seconds left on this candle. <clears throat> yes, bouncing off the, the WAPs. I mean, we have a one minute there, but uh, so even on the fifteen minute candle, do you still take that off the three minute charts? I'm on the one minute. Oh, face rip stopped. Out. I guess I have. Yeah, I've already switched over to the one minute chart. I'm constantly switching oh. charts. I thought you were taking most of your plays out of the fair value gaps on that three minute. No, I don't. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter to me which it's the one minute. I mean, I, I actually prefer the one minute. Frederick says safer to go short for a strap for a scalp. Could be I'm trying to go long while we're under view up. You are insane. No, there's nothing wrong with going long under view up. I used to have that same rule in Ask Out God, but like some of your best entries are below VWAP. But like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do it to each his own. If that's a rule that you have, I don't think it's a bad rule. So what if we range? print above the 15 minute on the three minutes, I'm going to take a trade. All right. We're doing okay range. Uh, we are, we're up 500 on one eval, and then uh, we're down like 1,000 on one funded. We're up 270, 270 on three other fundeds, and we passed the Bulinox account this morning. That's pretty much it. We haven't, I haven't been aggressive today on my fundeds at all. There was only one trade that I actually saw that I like to take on my funded, and I clicked it on the wrong, I clicked it on the wrong account, so I didn't enter. Short from 82, nice. Maybe, it, I mean, it could still continue to move down for sure, you know. Well, I'm just going for scalps, uh, Naz. So, like, I would already be at break even before we ever got to the VWAP. So, it really wouldn't come into play all that much because I'd be scaling, like, right here. And then, you know, I may have my TP up here or something, but I would already probably be All at right, break. So we're here. out of that 15 minute. Husk is about to long duck dong. Yeah, we're 30 seconds to this candle closers.
lot bigger candle than I was hoping for. I was hoping it was those smaller so it wouldn't get so close to the VWAP and the whole numbers up there. All right, I'm in. Maybe I'm Are you getting in premature? Nah, the 30 second is about to close above with the one minute, so. All right. Well, we got four seconds. Here we go. We're about to close. We're down to one. All right. I think we at least hit those swings. I'll probably put there. my TP up here at like 505 for a final. Uh, yeah, I would shoot higher, but I'm just not sure about the 200 and the VWAP sitting up there at the whole number. So I'm just going to shoot for a little bit less profit. So we hit the first TP, we'll move the stop to break even. Is your first number sitting at 93? 92.50 is my first swing. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, it's just a 50 off. I'm at 93. There is a there is another wick right above that at 93, so. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's a little bit shorter. I see which one you're looking at. I'm not zoomed in that much to see. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. NAS Scalp God says, watch these guys lose. You could be right, NAS. We don't know. But with my break-even strategy, I don't think it'll be a loser. It might, but I don't think it will. Because now, as you know, we get back above that swing right there. I will go break-even stop now. So 90-50. We get back above there, I'll break-even stop it. So let's just see what happens. Maxi is whining. I got my door shut in here, so maybe he wants the door open. Might open it up in a moment. Get Nash. How's it going? Front run? Yeah, a couple ticks. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Try to front run it by a few ticks here. All right, so we're holding for the 492.50. So above this wick here at ninety at ninety fifty, I will. I'm gonna go break even. Because above right, that I'm wick, at break even. We should kind of run above that. So if we're in the right direction, I got mine set up where I usually hit break even at the um, six. I don't think it's a bad there we go. idea. But There's a few. Oh, man, that thing is just whispering at my TV. Right. There's the first target. Just feathering me. <laughs> oh. It just feathered me there. It was like. <sighs> Let's go, Absent. Nice job. I'm only looking for two more. I was only shooting up to the 95 around the 200 EMA and VWAP. I got my target at 05, but I think at 98 at the VWAP right there at the whole number, I'll probably move my stop up to lock some in. Kind of like right in here. This could be an area where we reject, but. Yeah. Yep. May not even give me the opportunity there. Thank you, Hisham. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, All right so out. I got stopped out. Yeah. Uh, we're up on this account, 630. This is the My Funded Futures that I really want to get past <coughs> by the end of next week. We'll, get, we'll give you guys a quick rundown. You know, I'm, I don't hide anything from you guys. So you guys can see I did not trade any of my PAs this morning. These are all at $0.00. You know, I'm not hiding anything from you guys at all. Nothing traded. Right? Same thing for the Buleys. Nothing traded. Nothing traded. And uh, nothing traded. Now, this one, we did, in fact, take trades on $3,080. And then this one, we are down $1,130. So that's it. I didn't take any trades. Oh, yeah, my funded future, 630. Yeah, I didn't take any uh, trades on my static or anything like that. They're all at zero. 
So that's where we're at. Just, you know, trying to be transparent with you guys. And then we're up 268 times three during the uh, London session. That's it. So what were the uh, number of contracts or minis that you were using on that last trade? Are you using minis or micros? Yeah, two minis. Too many? Okay. See, I was using six micros, so I only cleared $60 for that trade. Yeah. Is it just uh, your machine, or is the volume very low? I don't know, Sam. I, I mean, some people today have said I'm low, and other people say it's fine, so I don't know. I'm not sure. You sound, you sound loud to me. I mean, like, your voice is, you know. Yeah, if this closes below, this is not a hard, this is not a bad short. We did not close above on the two or the three minute. We swept this liquidity, which is my thought process there was we at least make it to here. And if we continue higher, great. Um, I don't know that we made it to equilibrium back up on this leg. So I probably wouldn't participate in this short, but you could. Yeah, we didn't quite make it to equilibrium. Let's check the ES. Because if the ES, in fact, made it to equilibrium, and it actually almost made it to OTE there. So the ES <laughs> did make it to equilibrium. So the short would be okay. There is also a bearish, uh, well, a weird SMT here with the ES a little bit. So I'm shouting. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Can you hear me now? The rage. The roid rage. I'm on the roids, guys. <laughs> Two minis long under VWAP. Well, you know, hey. You got your way, I got my way, Naz. You got your way, I got mine. Yeah, ES is um ES looks bullish to me, to be honest. It really has not I mean, it just now swept the most recent swing low. Like, every every dip has been bought in ES since, like, 7.30 this morning. Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, then finally a lower low. So. NASDAQ, not so much. So are, are a lot of you guys trying to learn the inversion strategy? Just closed a painful fresh short on the swing higher. That sucks. Yeah, that's what I think, Justin Wright. Pretty pretty simple. I got to listen to Scalp Guide because he's a god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to nobody. It doesn't matter who it is. I appreciate Scalp Guide's opinion. I mean, like, he's welcome to give it, and he knows that. You're always welcome to give your opinion here. We don't we're not one of those people who are like, banned. You're banned. Your opinion is not welcome here. So now he's welcome to give his opinion. And everybody's gonna trade different, right? That's just the way it is. Happy Easter, White Mild. We'll catch you next week. Enjoy your weekend. Randrick's long now. Um, I mean Seems okay, Frederick, but I don't know. I don't like how we reject it here. I mean, this would be a decent short setup. It'd be fine. We swept liquidity. Uh, we pushed back up into this fair value gap right here that I don't have marked out. And so then if we push back up into that and then we inverse this one minute, right? to the downside, then you could take the short. But let's think about the risk to reward there. Like, what's your target, right? We already swept this. I mean, I guess you could target this. It wouldn't be horrible. So, like, 20 points on a close below, you'd be risking maybe 10. So, yeah, the risk to reward's not horrible there. I just don't like how low in this leg we are, but I don't think it's terrible. I try not to draw every one of these out because it kind of gets all a little, conv you know, convoluted or whatever. But 
just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And again, I'm not taking this because just because how low we are in the leg. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't take it just because of the 15 minute below it. But yeah, this is um. So this kind of be your setup. We swept liquidity, right? Swept liquidity. We held this gap, and then we created a new gap that we're also holding. And then if we inverse this, you think we at least make it back to the swing low here. But to each his own. Probably works since I said I'm not going to take it. Since I'm not going to take it, we do also have kind of trend line liquidity here. Since I'm not going to take it, it probably, if it closes below, it just rips lower. Right? ES is holding the VWAP. Yeah, pushing back up. Yeah, it is crazy how strategy is different. Yeah, that's always the way it is. When we do break this range, do not be surprised to see a minimum of 50, 100 point drop. Yeah, it could be. You never know. Perfect buy absent. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, if, I don't think the buy, I mean, you can make the same argument for the buy, except we didn't sweep into liquidity, right? We're holding this gap. We close above. You'd think we continue higher. But, you know, I just don't know. Since I took that, the thing is, like, I do like, I, I like this. Like, you can make an argument in both directions. What do we like about this for a buy, right? What do we talk about? Manipulation. So you have, you have the low here. We have this manipulation leg where we swept the low again. And then we put in a we put in a higher low. So like you can make an argument for both directions, right? I draw that pattern every single day and it plays out over and over and over. But I uh, see this I don't like. You close above and then we just reject, like it's just the time of day. We're twelve thirty eight. It's not a great time to be taking trades. We are in a Short week on a Thursday. I mean, so like things just aren't going to work like you think they will. Mancini did tweet. He says, if you have profit left, take it. Lock it in. Let longs runners keep working risk-free. Nothing else to do. We're now plus 42 points from yesterday's buy zone. 53.20 is target number three. Above there, all-time highs. Leg begins. No dip until 99 fails. So he's basically saying if we hold 99, we continue higher. If and we holds 99. Malpo, we got your email here. I do not see your cash app or um, I don't see your cash app. Did you send another email? Yeah, I'm not seeing your cash app or your PayPal. I gotta know a way to pay you. Inversion galore. That's right. Back and forth, back and forth. I don't like it. So <laughs> River Rat blow gold. Oh, River Rat. Gold's blasting off. Do you know um Do you know the Rat Lord River Rat? The River Rat and the Rat Lord, all in one day. <laughs> Did the one person change their name like you were saying they were? I don't think so. Called them out oh. in the chat here, and then they, they haven't said anything else. Oh. Come here, Matthew. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. Um, Hus can take over here for a minute and chat with you guys. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So I think it was time for Maxie to get his bathroom break. Unfortunately, there's not a lot going on at this moment. Just, you know, that time of the day where you just pretty much sit around and watch price action. And we've kind of been on that trend for the last couple of days since Monday. You know, it's kind of like we get those big moves in the morning and time about 9, 10, 30 comes around. We're just kind of stuck in a, a zone. So mark it out real quick and kind of see what zone we kind of been in.
So it looks like we're just been kind of in a 40 point area, which, you know, most people know that trades the NASDAQ. That's usually not very much. Uh, the 15 minute fair value gap, I just wouldn't take a short going into it unless it broke it. No, I'm not a full time trader. I, I work a third shift job so that I can trade in the in the morning time. So most of the time I usually only trade like the what from like 830 or 930 to 12. So like two or three hours. It would be nice if I can get to the point where I can make money doing this and you know, not maybe not have to work as much. So I haven't got to the point where I'm taking, I guess, payouts. I've been funded a few times, but usually what happens is after I get funded, I'll kind of pull back just because, you know, paying for funded accounts can get kind of expensive. I don't think it'll ever get to the point where I probably won't work or have a job just because I feel like you still need to have like some kind of security. And I know trading can definitely be kind of up and down. You know, everybody has their good months or good weeks, but you know, end of the day, most of us still have bills and stuff to pay. Uh, I mean, I had to do a lot of work to just kind of get to this, this part of where I can do this during the day. So I'm also like a, a small like a landlord. So we have a rental house that we use and that helps pay for my mortgage or my cars are paid off. So I just have the basic as far as utilities and like insurance stuff and food. Those are pretty much most of my expenses. I just recently started using micros more just because I'm using the 25k accounts and it seems like if whenever I use minis if I you know it seems like I'm just over leverage and it's a lot easier for me to blow accounts and I'm usually for most part a pretty conservative when it comes to trading and I find it's getting worse you know it'll get worse if I'm in funded accounts because you're a lot more nervous about trading the funded accounts than your evals. I'm uh, cooking up some glizzies. I don't know what glizzies are. No. Everybody let Husk know what a glizzy is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so some of those days, if you're watching my stream and you notice it's about 11 or 12 o'clock, there's been a time or two where I, I feel like I'm falling asleep, uh, falling asleep on the live stream because I haven't been up all night working, then, you know, coming home and doing this in the daytime. Hot dogs. There you go. Okay. NASCAP God says we should just quit. We got crap consistency, crap edge, crap, <laughs> crap everything. Just forget it. Just walk away. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, Muhammad. <laughs> a glizzy dog, a southern boy's wet dream. Uh, we do the best we can. 
Or maybe he's not talking to us. Maybe he's just talking to everybody else. I don't know. The chat. Who's that? Nas. Nas Scout died. Oh. We should just stop it already. Man, where's what time is it? 1246. Maybe we get better price action. I do think Power Hour will probably be okay. I do believe it will. Probably going to be one of those where you got to be in the right side of the move, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Encouraging everybody to follow their dreams. I know it. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's a bad idea to wait for power hour. I mean, there might be setups before then, but like, it's going to be difficult to take. We're just kind of chopping. Look at the wicks. Very small bodies on these three-minute candles. I mean, like, it's horrible. Horrible. Not a good look. Yes, just kind of glued to the VWAP there, too. If you guys haven't already hit that like button for me subscribe if you are not subscribed and go to husk traders stream and hit the like button and subscribe over there as well i got the link to his uh channel up in the chats pinned in the chat so if you guys want to watch i actually prefer you guys to just jump over there and watch his stream too uh we appreciate it Took a nap and come back, and the price was where you left it. Let's go. This is why you see pro trades. Trade one uh, trade one or two trades a day a week a month. Yeah, I mean, you can. That's the thing, Naz. Like, everybody does it differently. Like, and, like, let's be honest. I mean, would I probably just take one or two trades a day and be done if I wasn't streaming? 100%. And I encourage you guys to do that. I say it all the time. Like, hey. You take that first or second trade and you've got your profit. Some days it makes sense to just walk away. But then there's, you know, other days where there's other opportunities. So you just got to pick out the best. Yeah, that's always been my strategy where I would take my one trade in the morning, maybe two, then switch over to a SIM account and, you know, continue trading SIM account for the rest of the day. That way you can still work on your strategies. All right, BRB, glizzies are done. Hold on. I'd like to give a big thanks for everybody that stopped by my channel to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Are most of you guys in this lobby full-time traders, or you just kind of work from home and trade during... I think I'm up to 294. Let me check it real quick. I can't remember. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's 294. Thank you very much, TCG Andy. I'm usually in his uh, lobby every day, or not lobby, but I'm in his chat every day. The first sustenance of the day, some glizzies. All right. I'm about to check out Japan one day. 
This thing really is just chopping around. Chopping around. Nordmark so methodical. Oh, go ahead. Uh, is this your first time going to Fort Lauderdale? No. No? Okay. I've been all over Florida. Um, Stuart owns a condo in Delray, which is just north of uh, Fort Lauderdale. So I've been down there okay. quite, quite a few times. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of trend line. We're kind of building liquidity on both sides here. So when it moves, it's going to move quickly. So... But no, I've been to uh, Fort Lauderdale a lot. Yeah, I've only Florida places I've ever been to was just St. Pete and probably Panama City. But those are more than the 20 year old days. Let me guess. You got drunk before you went out <laughs> from a box oh, yeah. of from a box of wine. No, no. That would have been my early, early, you know. Like eighteen to twenty one, so there was definitely no wine then. That was that was mid twenties drinking there, twenty five I think older. You prefer full? Yeah, we didn't want to go to Miami, so we're going there. Camber, Fort Lauderdale, but uh, my friend owned a he owns a condo in my in Delray, so. But he's over in Bonita Springs right now today, I think. He was just saying he was scalping on the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my beach of choice right now is just the Orange Beach, Alabama. Yeah, I like, I like Orange Beach a lot. It used to be a little bit quieter there but it's been kind of expanding so much it seems like every year we go back it's just like more and more crowded yeah Vort nordmark i was wondering i was like looking around i was like where's he taking this entry he said he's long i don't see the entry <laughs> thanks for everybody that's stopping by Jump the gun on the thirty second. Mm, let me look. Oh, I guess am I I'm up there? Oh, I see it now. Never mind. Hopefully, no one's funded accounts got destroyed today. That way, you can still have a good weekend. You don't have to go into the weekend annoyed if you're not trading on the holiday tomorrow. You can't trade tomorrow. Market's closed. I thought it was open from 8 to 12. No, it's not open at all. Oh, never mind then. I'm sorry. Opens back up on Sunday. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes before holidays, they'll do that early morning trading where they're just open four hours. Yeah. About to blow one, Andy. Okay. How, um, what was the, uh, you said the, the bot had a, a little hard time yesterday or last night. What was the uh, result? How much did it lose? I'd like to thank everybody for getting me to 50 subs. I appreciate it. The whole number. It'll probably get through there. We'll see. All right, Husk is up to 50 subs. Let's see if we can get them to uh, 75. Or actually, let's just make it 100 because, I mean, there's 175 people in here, and I know you guys are not subscribed to subs, so I'm just asking you as a personal favor, Aww. please just pull up Husk is Streamed and give them the good old subscribe. I do appreciate it. Yeah, just sub and come back. That's okay. There at that time of the day, we're just all pretty much just hanging out, watching slow price action. <laughs> Nordmark. <laughs> Frederick did it this morning. You the man. Let's go. Sweet. Thanks, Janelle. 
It looks like it might create another opportunity, though, in Ornmark. I don't know how deep you're going to hold it, though. We're just deep in the chop. This is, um, I mean, like, thank you, morning, Janelle. This morning's action wasn't so bad, but like, man, it just kind of died off. Walters, you the man. Let's go. Just give you a 20-point rippy. Not too much to ask for. Just a 20-point rippy. Yeah, it's tough to trade in this range, Frederick. That's why I'm just sitting on my hands here, just waiting. Like, I don't, I don't want to even do anything until we just break this range. We're just, I mean, this is just an idiot box, right? We're just trading in an idiot box here. It's nothing to do. It's like a 40 point, <coughs> I think it's around 40 point range or something, right? 25 point. Well, it's tighter than I thought. That's tighter than a Tom Sabo box right there. Tom Sabo. So someone was asking if the Easter market is, or is the market closed on Easter Monday? No, um, Easter is on Sunday. Oh. It's not closed on Monday, no. Okay. The Tom Sabo box. I don't know if Tom's here or not, Tom but... Sabo. Uh, you felt accomplished Tom, today, having taken two 15 tick scalps. Nice, nice, Alito. Was Tom in the London session? Yes, Raul, he was. I want to say he was. I think he maybe. I think he was slightly red, but he said he got back to green after we ended stream there. Yeah, I'm over here eating hot dogs, hot streak. Yeah. I don't think you guys want to see me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine in the gutter. Make a slow mo. Y'all clip it. And make like a slow mo video out of it. <laughs> so. Oh. Had a, had a, set up a reaction video to it. <laughs> Did uh, Tom get some more accounts uh, going? Yeah, he had a couple of accounts today. Oh, okay. He said he was going to full send some at open, but I don't think he did. We have a lot of volume popping in right here. At least I'm seeing it for a moment. Let's see if it is it the top of the hour. It is the top of the hour, so that's probably what it is. I haven't really got into that that part of the full send in accounts at open. I mean, I know you guys have pretty good luck with that. Well, like I always say, it's 50 50. Well, it's probably better odds than it is to, you know, slow trade it where you're just, you know, trying to get your goal. See, another chart that I like using is the uh, one-hour chart on TradingView. Let me find it. Oh, it's right there. <clears throat> NASCOP God, I know you long did not take a long below the VWAP after giving me so much crap about longing below the VWAP. So this 68 has been pretty good support for us today on the one hour chart. <laughs> the 
is probably a good rule. Took five points just because it keeps playing with these stupid rain. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, a long here does make a little more sense, right? If we're ranging, I mean, we're kind of ranging lower, but I don't know. That stupid stove is making a noise. I don't know. I'll be right back. So did anybody grab this short from the 83s? All right, we're back. I don't know what's going on with that stove. It's just beeping. Close the door. The next line of support for the one hour is at the 429. <clears throat> In Q, below VWAP, ES, writing VWAP for the point. Yeah, ES is just not wanting to give up the ghost yet. Hmm. Been short since 510. Let's go. Nice job. Four eighty three, yeah, it's let me see. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. We got a lot of equal highs up here, guys. I mean a lot. Normally, I probably wouldn't take this, but with so many equal highs, I'm probably going to try to give this a go. Yeah, that 68 has been a pretty, pretty tough area. We'll see if this thing wants to push back up or not. May not. We are so close to the 57s there that it may want to take that first, but we figure we give it the college try. So are you in a long or short? I was looking down at the long. We're in a long duck and dog. It's so funny, like as soon as we bought right there, the we just we dumped. <laughs> as soon as we longed, it said nope. Maybe that was just a pullback. Here we go. Yeah, I agree, Frederick. <clears throat> You're right. Yeah, it's about 10 points on the stop there, but um, it's not really 10. Probably like 8-ish points is going to be the stop there on that. <clears throat> All right, I want this to just go now. I don't want to be back and draw down on this. So we're going to be break even now. It has to just go. Go give Tom Sabo a tag. Give him a, just a little touchy poo. Hit the Tom Sabo. There we go. And I probably could take it off at the pivot, to be honest, but we got these equal highs up here, so we'll see if it wants those or not. Maybe not. 
A scalp is a scalp. That's right. Push above 86. Hit my TP for Nordmark. I mean, it seems reasonable, right? I think it seems reasonable. We got kind of low resistance liquidity, a couple of sets of equal highs. I mean, it seems reasonable to make it 86, I think. It's the only question is how does it get there? We did put in a one minute OB there. We're kind of fighting into this OB as well, but let's see if we can get through there. Yeah, if we push above the 83, 85 area, we should move on up a little. Might get us here on a runner. I kind of have a support level at the 83.25. Rip it up here. Come on. <clears throat> back above that wick, we should go quickly to the upside here. If we turn this candle green, get back above that wick, we should move quick. Should get a burst. Not going to matter. We're out. We are out. The Tom Sabo box got us. We'll take it, though. Draw a down channel. And uh, we bounced off the lows. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Correct. Well, we actually didn't even make it kind of, um, if you're using that. I guess it depends on where you're, where you're drawing it from. Kind of right there, maybe. Twelve twenty five, <clears throat> yeah. Pretty much a bounce off the four eighty threes. It's gonna go. It's gonna get Nordmark back to his eighty sixes for sure, maybe even higher. But just gonna tag me out before it does it. <clears throat> like if I trust this. Does he have this, a long at eighty six? Yeah, I think he's long from that area. But if I trusted this one minute order blocked here, I would have just left my stop here, but I don't trust it. I don't trust this price action just yet. So I'm gonna stick to my rules. And you see how I manage this trade here. This is how I manage all my trades. And this is why I have a very high win rate and I still make money. Now, even though there's only six points, it's still six points. So that's how I manage the drawdown. That's how, you know, the intraday trailing drawdown and all that. So instead of this being like a break-even trade, at least we made $120, you know. It's not doing anything right now. Nordmark's in one of those trades where you're just, you got the butt cheeks clenched together. <laughs> and you're just, you yeah. want it to go. It's almost like you just want to walk away from the screen. I haven't had any clinchers yet today, to but walk away and pray to the NASDAQ gods. Come on. Hey, we're at twenty six sixty nine. Let's go. How are we looking over there, Husk, on the uh, subscribers? Pretty good. We're at sixty one. That's awesome. Sixty one. Let's no go, complaint. guys. I appreciate you guys. Let's do it. I still yeah, think, that's awesome. Thank I you, guys. I still think we can do better. I still think we can do better. I think we can get to 100. We got maybe like I'm another not a greedy person. 20 or 30 minutes here, Twenty maybe another 20 minutes with Husk. So, like I said, guys, let's try to get them to 100. There's got to be 40 people who aren't subscribed. Let's do it. Waiting for the momentum trade. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, you could do 10 <laughs> points in 10 points range. It makes sense, right? But, like. You know, I just, uh, I like to take profit when I can. And I try to use, re I try to be reasonable with it. Like I picked these equal highs, right? That was the next internal liquidity. So that's what I try to do. 
That's the only thing about this is we're so close to the sell side down here at 457, which is the logical area to run next. We talked about that up here, if you guys remember from earlier. Because what happened? Um, no, actually, we should. That's actually not the most logical, right? It would actually make more sense to run the buy side. But the market's not always logical. So we're about to get a new hour, one hour candle below that support line. So we, we might sell off if it prints below it. Oh, because we did run this. Yeah. So we could run here, but we don't have to. We'll see here if we get some sort of uh, SMT with a yes or not. Yep. I'm just looking to see if there is one. There's not. Oh, actually there is. So if the ES doesn't sweep that low, there will be a bullish SMT, but it probably will. Got short. Let's go, Frederick. Yeah, it doesn't end good if you're in there that long. Hurry up and take that 57. It looks like it might. Pretty green. Let's go. Is the one guy, are you still holding your trade from the 86? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Nordmark. He probably killed it. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Some people will be holding that stuff forever. I don't think Kid Poker's in here today. Kid Poker, where you at? You in here? Probably not. I think he said he was taking a break after blowing a couple of his funded. Yeah, he did say that. Uh, there's no SMT yet, Frank. There's a potential one. So if we swept the low and ES did not, then... If we had an inversion back to the upside, that would just give us a little more confluence that maybe we move higher. That's all. We don't take trades just solely off of that, but. <laughs> Is any, anybody else live today? See, I don't like this bounce back up without taking that 57. We're just too close. Uh, let me look at something, though. 58.75. All right. So we did leave equal lows here. So I would kind of expect this to hold and then push back down. It might not be a bad chase if you wanted to chase a short here. Why are they two methodical mans on the screen? Didn't know I had a twin brother. Yeah, this is my twin. <laughs> this is my twin here. I got to say, that's the first time I ever heard someone say that. Maybe because they don't see us standing side by side. I'm only five foot eight, and he's six two. He's just a wee little guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never forget design Maybe knob. Five nine never, with some tennis shoes. never forget design knob. The market only goes up. Key Amber's five foot ten. Oh goodness. And I think my Coward. girlfriend is like five nine. So is Laura taller than you? I don't think she is, is she? Me? No, she's uh, five foot four or five oh, yeah. five, something like that. Tiny. Shorts are painted. I know. Good. Them, get me one of them Deuce Bigelow girls. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Gotta love slapstick comedy. Not much to do here, guys. If we get a sweep of the 57s and then we get some sort of uh, inversion back to the upside, I probably would take it. I think this might be a safe chase short if you want to be aggressive. I think we sweep the 57 here on this next leg, but I don't know that I'm in the mood to be aggressive. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, if I take any more trades, I think I'm going to wait till the, the last hour or two. And we left equal lows here. That's why I think this would be a safe play. I mean, these are equal lows. We pushed back up into this fair value gap. So, like, I think it's an okay, you know, run through this area. I'm just not taking it. Dude walks into a dude walks into a saloon and says, "I'm looking for the guy who shot my paw." <laughs> what? Oh, probably dog. You're probably meant to say dog. Okay, yeah, there it is, dog. <laughs> dude, I like inversions, Frederick. They're favorite. They're my favorite thing so far, like that I've traded, because like you still get your face ripped off occasionally, but <laughs> you know. Not as at a high rate as I was before, so there you go. I think the one thing they added with the inversions that works for you a lot is like you know you used to always struggle with moving your uh, stop really quick, and yeah. with that being part of it, that definitely kind of plays into your strategy. Yep, exactly. Yeah, Nordmark, are you going to slap this thirty second long here if it if it forms? I don't even like the one minute; it's too small. 30 seconds pretty small itself, too. A lot of times the first inversion outside of a sell down or a pump up fails. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Now, like this one, you only got like a three. It's only two handles, right? It's not very big. And your first internal is going to be about four handles away. All right, so we do have a bullish divergence, right? Yeah, 930. Yeah, ES did not take the open low, and NASDAQ did. So we do have a bullish divergence right here. Um, problem is that I don't like that candle close there. I, I could be aggressive and take the long now, but oh, I didn't realize I was that close to that internal. That's not going to end well. Good news, I am light size here, but I don't like that I was so close to that internal by the time I hit the buy button. I waited too long to decide. It's technically not a valid trade here based on my rules, so. All right, I'm okay with that. Wasn't a valid trade because price hit the internal before it closed. So we pushed up, hit the internal before the bar closed. Closed above there. If I was going to be taking it on momentum, I needed to take it here. Already very, very short profit here. It's only five handles. So <clears throat> we've had a few spikes up, a few spike downs, but ultimately going sideways. Yeah, we are sideways. You're not wrong. Jamie, the five seconds. Yeah, I, I looked at the five seconds, like tried to test the inversions on the five seconds, but I couldn't find super like consistency in it. So that's why I don't do it on the five seconds. But yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. Whew, five second chart. So I had to make a quicker decision there and I, I didn't do it.
I wanted to hit the button, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. Well, the good news is we're out of the Tom Sabo box, so that's always the good news. That's the good news. Did uh, Tom Sabo have any uh, winners on your chat this morning? I think so. I think he took a couple of winners. There was one trade where we both lost. Uh, he was long, I was short. I got stopped out on my short, and then he got stopped out on his long. So mm. that's what the market can do to you sometimes. Price constantly hesitating or retracing. Yeah, that's what always happens. Yeah, I probably won't be taking any more trades. If I do, I'll be waiting probably till 3 o'clock. Well, it's probably going to – got a few more minutes here with Husk. So if you guys have not already, please hit that subscribe button on my channel and his. We got the pinned comment in the uh, comment section there, link to his channel. Just click on that, click subscribe, and click like, and we do appreciate it. Would like to try to push him into 100 subscribers today. It took me – Man, how long did it take me to get to 100? I'm going to say like two months maybe. Maybe longer. Hold on. Let's think about it. I could actually look and see. Yeah. Nice meeting you too, Jamie. Because I, I made a community post when I Aww. did it. Appreciate you, Jamie. You the man. Let me see when I how long it took me to get to a hundred. I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm still fairly green at uh, YouTube videoing or streaming, so I gotta say one of my biggest struggles was is definitely you know talking to the screen, especially on those days when I don't have a lot of action in my chat. So you don't have, you know, a lot of people to kind of reaction off of or bounce questions off of or answer questions. So. Those have probably been the, the toughest part. So I got to 100 subs in August, and I started streaming in May. So June, July, or so it basically took me three months. So nice, DK. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank uh, you, DK. It took me three months. Let's see if we can get Husk there today in like three weeks. I don't even know how long he's been streaming. Yeah, this to be my third week. And there was a couple days where, you know, my mic was messing up. Then another day I had issues with uh, the data with Ripnik. It's like I would hit the trade button and be like, oh, you do not have any data. <laughs> oh, it's just like. <laughs> Gold plated. That, that all happened. No, there's no rolls here. No rolls. We got a we got a gold plated um, Toyota Camry. <laughs> That's about it. That's about it. <clears throat> well, didn't you pay your car off recently? No, my car's not paid off. Right. Okay, you waited. Okay, I know you had you had mentioned that you like, <laughs> were thinking drive. about it. No, I didn't pay it off, remember, because we talked about depreciating asset. There's no point in paying that off. Okay. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, I did see that design knob. I saw him post in the community tab in, uh, yesterday or last night or something. What do you order? I think it was a Carrera GT 911 or something like that, Porsche. Oh, okay. I think it was a hundred and fifty thousand sticker expense. Holy goodness. So maybe he's looking for big tax write offs where you know you can do a video on it and show it and Yeah, I don't know how well I don't know what that what happens there. I'm not sure about that. Not well, sure about uh, that. 
Well, I think that's probably going to wrap it up for Husk. We'll be waiting for Nutty Bar to join us, I guess, in probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, All right. If you want to, like I said, if you want to help me out, if you want to, if you want to be a pal, then get over there and press that subscribe button for Husk. We appreciate you. So I appreciate everybody. Thank you for the chats. And we'll hit you up later on Husk. I appreciate you joining. All right. Thank you, Methodical. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. All right. It's just us again. It's just us again. Thanks, Graham. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. you just I can just end the call like this right here. See ya. <laughs> He's still in the call. Grim, go live on YouTube. All right, it's fine. Nothing wrong with going live. Yeah, we got to, you know, I like to have some people come in. Just Sugar Bear. Uh-oh, Sugar Bear's back. Look at him. He was, he was, I knew it. I knew he was uh, lurking. I knew Sugar Bear was lurking. That's the wrong name, though, Sugar Bear. I, you got to do it, man. Come on. You said you would. What's up, Anna? You guys ready for another giveaway? Super Sugar Crisp? I don't remember that. Are we ready for another giveaway? Let's do the giveaway. Boom. There it is. Yeah, I do remember. I think I do remember that, actually, Sugar Crisp. All right, I just turned some music on. You guys can't hear that, can you? It doesn't look like you can. Your shirt from the 62s? Let's go. I hope we get it. I hope, I hope it works out for you, then. I mean, we're kind of... Man, it's... I do not... I mean, I repeat, I do not want us to get back in this area from yesterday. You're way foul, too foul mouth? Nah. Nah, Smurf, you'd be fine. Appreciate you guys subbing to uh, subbing to Husk there, giving them a little boost, and to Tom and to Rat Lord if you guys did. Thank you guys a lot for that. Let's not forget with a one day pass, eighty percent off Apex. Link in the description or up above me there for the code and Bulanox ninety percent off. Today is the last day, last trading day for the Bulanox ninety percent off. So if you're going to pick up the account, you really need to go ahead and get it today. Because come Monday morning, the 90% off will be gone, and you'll be yearning for that 90% off deal. You'll be yearning for it. Nutty just texted me and said it would be about another 30 minutes. So, Nutty, Nutty will be on in about 30 minutes here. Yeah? Jump in there and win that twenty dollar, make you holla, or something like that. I don't, I don't know what the saying is. Is that the saying? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Anybody got any big plans for the weekend? Spring break next week. 
my son started his spring break early. He said they didn't have nothing going on in school, so he he conned his mom into uh, not not making him go. He wouldn't have got by, he wouldn't have got by with that with dad. Nah, he probably would. He literally has the highest GPA in the school right now, so in his class. So he's in high school. I think he's a sophomore. So if he wants to miss a day, he can miss a day. He also likes poker, playing chess. He's got a little gamble in him. I don't know where he gets it from. I don't know. I have no idea. So we are doing a giveaway right now, guys and gals. So if you want to win $20, which is enough to purchase a beer or two, or you can purchase a Bulinox 50K account, you got to have PayPal or Cash App. Type in the uh, chat there, explanation point, cash. Super tied in the house. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> the bottom is starting to uh, <laughs> hurt a little bit. <coughs> yes, Rat Lord, join. Another 2 o dot o o giveaway get in there rat lord get in there this has just been a grind like an idiot bo idiot box grind lower right that's all this has been just a a little uh whatever you want to call it a trend lower. DK England, I'm not really looking for anything right now. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm just waiting. You can buy a Bill and Ox 90% Sunday. It just ends on Sunday, I believe. Let me see when it ends. Let me look. I'll get you the exact dates. Let me make sure. Only my code works on Sunday, though. No one else's. Only mine. Only my code. All right, it says it's good through 331, so Sunday is, um, yeah, Sunday is 331, right? Yeah. You can, Bassett, for sure. Robert, you can't have a space between the explanation and the cash. It needs to just be explanation, exclamation point cash. Rad Lord's trolling like he doesn't know how to put exclamation cash in there. He's trolling. He's trolling. He knows how, I'm sure. We had someone here earlier, Rat. His name was, um, what was his name? River Rat. And I asked him, did he know you? He said no. <laughs> I thought y'all might be friends. I didn't know. No, you're all good, Robert. I was hoping that we didn't have dreadful price action today that I'd have to see over 12 hours, but I'm not going to lie today. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's been tough to sit here this long with this price action. I'm so glad that I had guests on because that's helped do it. But otherwise, there's no way I'd be able to sit here. I'd just pull my hair out. 
and I don't have much to pull out. Yeah, Frederick, it's just grinding lower. This At this point, if you're not short, it's like there's not much you can do. Smoke out together at the 420s. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't bad PA earlier today, but right now it's horrible. Yeah, you're right. The PM has been a lot better, especially like um, three to four, right? We are old Smurf. I can't sit here for 12 hours. <laughs> Already got a bad back. Let's go. Bassett is going to use the code. You the man. Getting smoked on short attempts in here. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to do here, in my opinion. I mean, like, if we inverse this two minute, maybe, but with like, a boner candle, right? It's got to be a boner inverse. I'm talking about lots of speed. That right there. I would take that. Oh. If we inverse this. What the hell? I don't know. Sometimes it does this. Trying to click on the box. There we go. So, yeah, if we get through that with some speed, then I think I would take that. Am I going to buy at the bottom of the 15 minute? No. Nope. I don't know that I'm going to. I'm not buying. I'm not. You can do it, Black Beauty. I, mean, I can't do it. <laughs> Janelle's hoping for the boner. You can force this price section to be more exciting by full porting 10 accounts. I could. But why, why would I want to lose? ES is an opening price. I don't think it's a bad. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad move, Light Beauty. Uh, what account do I have over here? It says it don't even have an account connected to it. Um... I'll tell you what, I'll do it on micros. <laughs> I'll do it on micros with one mic. So I'm long one micro ES. Oh, sh that's not the ES. <laughs> I lit. <laughs> I logged on to the NASDAQ. <laughs> Oops. All right, let me see. Hashtag Danero, uh, explanation point, Danero. <laughs> it would be funny if it accepted that, Rat Lord. If it was like, oh, he is trying to get in. Let's put them in there. You're pretty heavy on buys. I don't think it's a bad idea. Like, this seems like an okay reversal spot, right? We gave you 10 entries? Oh, man. They'd be mad if you won. Let me see if I can enter. Hold on. Let me see if I can enter. Can I enter? <laughs> Would that be funny if I entered and won? Look, watch. It's not, it's not giving it to me. Oh, he gave it to me. So if I win, you know, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. If I win, sorry.
Go full port short. You went to grab a bike. We tapped that 57 low. Yeah, we did. Does the 25 Quan Tower plan come with a VWAP? Yes. You get, I think you get, I don't know how many indicators. It's like five, maybe. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's more than that. If I win, it's a re-roll for 40. <laughs> Maybe. Alito jumped in there. Alito said he's kind of trying to pick up the W. He's trying to pick up the dub. All right, if it closes above here on the two minute, we probably take it. Elita, you forfeited one ticket. Oh, uh, look at Rat Lord. Oh, goodness. Oh, dang, it actually took Alito's name out. It's not in there anymore. I'm oh, just kidding. Alito's in there right below Methodical Man. Oh. I don't know, NASCAR. Where's your stop at? Oh, guys, I got to restart it. So hold on one second. Let me uh, resume entries. So just ain't right. Mawapo, you guys will have to redo it one more time. One more again. Thank you, thank you. Husk, you're already in there, guy. You're already in there. Husk's trying to win twice. He's trying to get more than one entry. Look at him. He's like, man, if I just do it more than once, I'll be good. Whoever wins the $2,000, be smart with your wins. All right, Rat Lord. I'm with you. I just ain't right. I want to close above here, and then I'm going to slap it. 22 contracts. Long duck dong. Taking 21 off at one point. Letting the other one ride for at least four points. True scalper. Four ticks. Four ticks. A real scalper. That's the way to do it. Problem is, it'll probably be instant drawdown, right? <laughs> Blow the account. I mean, I don't think short's a bad play if we don't close above, Nas. If we don't close above. I just get the feeling that we're going to close above. Uh, is that the 200 moving at 476, I think? I think it is. So I don't know that I want to long directly into that. Oh, I mean 20,000, I'm sorry. Got to get it correct. All right, we're going to jump in before the candle closes. You know, that's the greatest way to do it, right? 
the absolute greatest way to do it. Just ain't right, you're long. Let's go. I'm in a trade now. Uh, what was Andy looking for? I'm not sure. Let's give it the good old nutty. Rip it. Rip it up. Rip it. That's that's not that's not ripping it, sir, ma'am, Nasdaq. That's that's not that's not uh, what I ask you to do. It's not what I ask you to do. Okay, looking better, looking better. You're very sweet. You're the kind of girl that we bring home to mom. Be very sweet, Nasdaq. Very, very sweet. You're trying to get lit? <laughs> oh, goodness. That was not a good close. Come on. Why are you going to do me like that, NASDAQ? I wanted a better close. I wanted to close above. I got to call Nutty in the Discord now. Let me call him. Let me turn off this. Yo. About to pipe you through. Yeah. If you want, you can turn it on and I can uh, capture it. I've been having a little funkiness with the uh, video, though, where it's not showing it to me. But yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you are. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll do it. All right, we're going to pipe Nutty in now. Let's see if you guys can hear him. All right, Nutty, go ahead and speak. Testing one, two. Testicles, I mean, testing one, two. Yes, yes. Testing one, two. <laughs> do you guys hear Nutty? Let's see here. Hang on, I got to open your stream. I got to... Uh... Windows capture, yes. All right, they can hear you. Confirmed. All right. Confirmed. All right, let's go. I'm currently long. How we doing, methodical man? We're Gang. Good. I'm currently long over here, though. <laughs> oh, you're long? Hey, nice. Well, we're not in the green yet. I mean, it's, it's out looking our, okay. It's hanging out at our entry. How'd you do today? Where, where, uh, where did you enter? Um... Right about where we're at, <laughs> four seventy eight. Ah, copy. Let's go. You know what we say? Yeah, Rip it. I already said it. Okay. Okay. That it. usually works. I said it a few minutes ago. It works. Uh, <laughs> it works eighty percent of the time. The rest of the time, it doesn't work. Oh my goodness! It's not working. Yeah, it's not. You've probably heard that I'm on. And then it's like, uh-oh, we know that voice. That means we have to reverse. I've been getting into a lot of trades where I get in and then I'll get in long and then it'll decide to, that is the moment it decides to have the biggest, reddest, longest candle possible. So it's a pretty fun time. We're also the in the midst of, of a giveaway, Nody, if you, uh, if you want to you oh, really? give away. Can I can I join? Yeah, of course. If I win, you have to double it and give it away again. We can do that. I'm also in also, just full disclosure. <laughs> nice. I joined my own giveaway. You know, that's gonna be that's gonna be rigged if you win. I just wanted to see if it was uh possible. Uh, okay. I like it. I like it. I did um a couple of giveaways this morning already and the, the one person won the first two giveaways. 
So, no way. Yeah, no kidding. I was like, what? Um, this is not looking good. What's the deal here? Uh oh. What's the I deal? apologize, methodical man. This is definitely my fault. These are the kind of red candles that I experience every time, every day. <sighs> Eventually, you just kind of get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. I think I'd accidentally changed over to something. I don't know how, what I do there. All right, I got you back up there. Uh oh. Yeah, we left. Uh, yeah, let's see, we left equal highs there. Hmm. See, my my break even stop would have been just above that swing, so we didn't quite. I was trying to be disciplined, and we didn't quite get it. Yep. So forty dollar. Yeah, you did, James. I remember, but yours was the larger winnings, I think. Right? Yeah, you got the larger winnings. So, guys, if we get back above this swing, we will break even, stop it. So. You were green when I stopped watching your stream this morning. I think like eighty dollars or something. Yeah, I gave back some of it when I ended. I ended stream right now. I'm up a whopping six dollars and twenty cents. Hey, green is green. <laughs> hey, green is green. That's right. The I do not discriminate on green. The price action has not been great today. So. Oh, I was just looking. I so I I had to leave. I was in a meeting. I literally just came in. I'm just now looking at the charts again. Huh. I did not miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad that I didn't uh, sit through this. Yeah, that looks ugly. Yeah, there's no stream tomorrow. Just ain't right. We're not trading at all. So. Yeah, I don't think the markets are, or futures yeah. aren't even open, are they? No, they're closed. So. This thing's got to <laughs> rip back up here. I'm also long on the ES to <clears throat> one micro. Okay. All right, Mark, you need to rip it. So if we sell off here, then as soon as Nutty gets in the stream, cool. we stop going up. I know. I, it's, I mean, I, I, I tried to tell you I should put in a disclaimer. I'm not responsible for the market <laughs> and Emac, what it does. Emac says, oh, no, not Nutty. He's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Emac, do I know him? Emac, hey, you better be careful, guys. I'm a mod here. Yeah, yeah. Not even, bam, I'm hammer. a mod in here, and if you, if you, if you, if you know me, I have zero problem using the band hammer. True, I true. actually enjoy it. I enjoy it. Gives me great pleasure to ban people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not How fan. has the stream been? When did you start streaming? Uh, Four a.m. 4 a.m. Okay. I mean, that's, you know, I, I actually was talking, maybe, I don't know if you were listening or not, but I was talking about doing a 24 hour stream. And uh, I don't know that I will do this, but I was thinking it would at least be entertaining. It maybe it might not be smart, but it would be entertaining to, uh, you would do a 24 hour stream. You would start at 6 p.m. when the market opens. Technically, it would be a 23-hour stream, and you would stream, you know, until 5 p.m. the next day. <laughs> right. And here's the catch. You could only use the reverse button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of insane. No, um, Nutty's, <laughs> Nutty's uh, stuff is in sync because he's live. I'm using his – he's live in the Discord with me, and the other people, I was just using their stream – Recording, which is about five seconds delayed. Oh, so you guys, I see. So they had a slight delay. So can I actually predict the future here? Yeah, go ahead. Am I like, am I like, you guys see me before it happens, right? No. Because the stream is delayed. Well, no, I guess that wouldn't work. They see you after it happens. I if I could, somehow we can find a glitch in the system where I can have a five second glimpse into the future. I'll try to help you out. Did you buy any more nutty bars, nutty? <laughs> you were out last week, they said. You know, I didn't. I'm I'm trying to lose some weight before I go to Jamaica next month. And one of the things, the, the sacrifices that were made was the nutty bars. So it's a very sad, it's pretty sad, but uh, we had to make some sacrifices. And that are was the, one of them that went. Are the kids going with you to Jamaica or is it just you and the wife? 
Yes. Yeah, we will be uh, the whole family. Nice. Yeah, that's a big trip. So it'll be a, it'll be quite an ordeal, I'm sure. Have the kids ever but been on the plane? Looking before? forward to it. Um. Yes. Yes, they have. I think awesome. twice. But we've never been out of the country, so that'll definitely be an experience. Oh, Dane says he's from Jamaica. Where are you uh, going to in Jamaica? Sorry, say again. Oh, Dane says he's from Jamaica. Where are you headed to in Jamaica? Oh, you are? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hey, we're going with, uh, we'll be, we'll basically be pairing up with Jamaica Relief Ministries is what it's called. That's where, who will be. Oh, is it like a mission trip? In that coordination. Yeah, it's a mission trip where our, our youth group will be putting up a home for a needy family down there. Oh, cool. Cool. No more Wendy, says be. Emac. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did have a Wendy's this week. But I will say the Wendy's can actually be healthy, though. I mean, ish. You know. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, you can. The main thing I I, I change with my eating is to not overeat. It seems very simple, but uh, literally when I start to feel like I'm full, I immediately stop eating, and I've lost. 12 pounds now in the last uh, four weeks. The Wendy's dumpster you probably can't is tell, but 12 pounds. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Not too bad. I'm happy. I feel better. I don't know yeah. if it's just from not eating as much or if it's from not eating the nutty bars, but I'm all down, I can uh... say is when I get back from Jamaica, I'm eating nutty bars again. I've already made that clear. I think I'm down so... one pound over the last three days. <laughs> nice. In hey, retrospect, it's, it, uh, it's probably just a large poop. <laughs> <laughs> Oracle hey, says, there's don't nothing forget better. The, uh, don't forget the oatmeal pies. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, man, I'm being funny. tortured in this long over here, Nutty. Just straight torture. Yeah, I see that. I so, see. It's one of those trades where it wants to give you enough hope so that you don't exit, but then it'll just slowly, like, it'll just slowly grind lower, and all of a sudden you're like, wait, <laughs> what happened? Or that is how it is with me. Well, if it closes below this gap here, I'll take it off. So that's kind of the... the, the oh, okay, like below the 64, three. Yeah, so if, we, if price closes below 67, <laughs> then we'll take it ah. off. It can wick. It just Isn't can't it? close. Oh. I forgot about the giveaway. All right, that's what I was doing. Let me move. Uh oh, that that's what uh -oh. I was doing there. Let me move that up there. Okay. So okay, who's gonna win? Let's, let's close see. Uh, the cl close the entries here. You got ten seconds. If you want to put in exclamation point cash for the giveaway, I'll give you ten more seconds. We're gonna do a twenty dollar <clears> giveaway <throat> here. We'll say. There we go. Oracle's beating beating the timer. McLovin's trying to jump in there. I want to turn up the market. I don't care about the volatility. Let's just go up. All right, entries closed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill this. It looks like, and then we'll pick a winner. It's being, it's being a douchebag. Well, technically, it's a close below, so I'm trying to give it a moment. Oh yeah. All right, I got, go ahead I got pick hope. the winner, Jin. Jen. Jen is the winner. Should show up there in the chat. Jen, you are the winner. Congratulations. Uh, is she here? That's the question. Or do they not have to be here to win? Yeah, they have to be here. So we'll All see right. if she's here. I say we give her 10 seconds. What do you think, chat? 10 mm -hmm. seconds? 10 seconds. She doesn't respond. We have to do it again. Oh, she's there. Oh, oof, that was close, Jen. All right, we had to kill it. <laughs> Jen, uh, send me an email to methodicalman at gmail.com and just send me a screenshot showing you're able to <clears throat> um, delete your comment and then uh, send me your cash app or your uh, PayPal. Gmail.com. Oh, congratulations, Jen. And Man, welcome to the Methodical Crew. Jumping. Amado and Ash Evs, thank you for the subscription. You the man. Let's go.
There it is right above you, Jen. And, yeah, I just got killed on this trade right here. Yeah, I'll take the blame for that. Trash. We just got trash. What happened there? I mean, goodness, it's just dumped right at 2 o'clock. Yeah, it just dumped. Oh, well. What time is it? Okay, 2 o'clock. There's yeah. not like a bond auction or something weird, is it? Nah, there's no more news today. Nope. No more okay, news. Okay, there's news tomorrow. Did I hear right? Yeah, so I guess they're saying that um, we should have a pretty <laughs> filthy open on uh, Sunday. On Sunday night, right? Yeah. So Mimi says, that's how it's done. It won't take the full day. <laughs> oh, you mean for a giveaway? Hey, don't you be... We tried doing giveaways, okay? We tried. <laughs> okay, got... by the way, Methodical Man, did you do... You do the giveaways with Streamlabs, right? Yeah. Have you... like? I haven't confirmed this, but I feel like the it doesn't include everyone that does the exclamation mark cash like it it at least for me some people weren't included i'm not, I'm not sure why um, did you have the same experience or no no my uh you can actually see i mean so like i just watch as people enter and you know you can see it here so you see everyone that right enters. and i can see it like for me i can see it fill up but when i refresh it then it almost like i'll have like 200 entries, and then I'll refresh it, and then I'll go down to like 100. No, I haven't seen that. I don't refresh Weird. it at all, though. I just, oh, let, it, I just let it run. Problem. So I don't know. Anyway. So now like my I'm mic sounds, uh, right, but... his mic is louder. Well, he's, I don't know. It's probably because he's in Discord. Am I too loud? I can turn you down. I'll try to talk. I'll try to keep my voice low. I can turn him down like this right here. Watch, we just mute him. He won't even know. Yeah, I just mute me. <laughs> He'll just be there talking to himself. Oops. Sorry, not much I can do about it. I got the mic set where it's set. Nice job, Rondrez. Man, I guess I should have went short. Like, normally I probably would have moved my stop there, but I was trying to just follow my rules. Little double top with equal equal highs. You would expect that to kind of work, but... It's all right. It's all right. We were already in the green on that account. Now we're only up fifty dollars. So, so I was willing to hold it longer than uh, maybe I should have. So now we do have that manipulation leg lower here. Yeah, I'm curious. Is this just going to keep keep dumping into the close now? I mean, it's only two o'clock. That's it, it. It feels like it's later, but it's only two o'clock. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about the uh, sound. I can turn the gain up a little bit, but I don't want it to be too crazy. Hang on, methodical me. Let me let me change my. Let me let me uh, change my sound so I'm not as loud. Yeah, Hello. Probably, How's probably, that? I mean, I hear you fine, so I don't know about it. it's up to those people. Those guys. Do another test. But I can turn my mic volume down. Does that is that better, guys? Hello, testing one two. And see, I got my mic volume turned all the way up. Yeah, I, I had mine turned all the way up too, and then I just turned it down a little bit. That's good. Donovan says that's good. Okay. All right. If How we try this, today? if we try this long. Then uh, it's a little more dangerous, but we might try it again. I'm doing one of these, just kind of stair stepping its way down. Kind of give it a fake out. I'm stair stepping my way up now. Hmm. Let's go up. I like when the market goes higher. I'm totally down. I got design in the chat saying the market only goes up already. Oh, yes. Design, design. Design knows. <laughs> design knows. The market only goes up. <laughs> all right. That's what we like to see. Just hit the first TP so we can move to break even. And all is right in the Rip world. It. Rip it. Oh, did my headphones just die? I think That's they did. Your headphones right, died. Uh -oh. the speakers. 
Oh no, not on the Say speakers. something for me. Hey, testing one, two. All right, I can't hear Nutty right now. Hold on. I can't hear you right now, Nutty. Hold on one second. Can you hear me now? I must make an adjustment. Let's make an adjustment. All right, now I can hear you, but I don't know if they can, so let me adjust that too. Yeah, I got to change it. My <laughs> headphones you gotta died. You got to change the input. There we go. Now I'll say something. What happens when you do 12-hour streams? I know. The headphones just don't last. Things start dying. Well, they've been beeping for like hey, an this hour. Hey, working out. Yeah, they've been beeping for like an hour or so. Uh, Maybe we'll get some of our profit back here. Should we just take the yes, low-hanging yes. fruit here at the mm -hmm. equal highs at 80? That's kind of what I'm thinking. True. You should have taken the 50 ticks, Naz. If we, can, if we can get above the 80s. If we rip above the 80s, though, this thing might. Well, might we have do, low resistance. Uh, what it did yesterday. yesterday, we had a big rip. We have low resistance liquidity here that it's built up. So I don't know if I should maybe target higher. Because we have equal highs up here at 86 also. I don't know. What do you think? You think this target up here at 94, maybe a VWAP touch? Hmm. What I was looking at, it's either going to be the 94s. If it starts struggling at the 80s, you know, I wouldn't trust it. You know how NQ is. As soon Just as you have right. a little Still. bit of hope, it's going somewhere. 478, bottom and down close candle. On the four hour. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking the low-hanging fruit at 80, but it may not even get there. Momentum is slowing up. Just ain't right long, 464. Four. Let's see. Everybody has a better entry than me. <laughs> hey, one thing I've noticed about streaming and trading is most people in chat are better traders than I am. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> they can be better. <laughs> they can be better. Yeah, I really mm. didn't trade any of my PAs today. Did you take a lot of trades on yours? Um, Let me look here. One, two, three, four, five. Traded five accounts today. Yeah, All sounds... green. Not, not huge, but... I think I traded three. Yeah, not... So, it just did very early on, it didn't seem like a day that was going to be... You know. Yeah, this morning I had hope. I had hope this morning that maybe we turn into just a nice bullish uptrending day. I was totally on board. And then we just started pulling back into the 15-minute opening range. And then we just went sideways. And then I gave up. Rondrez says he's short. I'm sorry, Rondrez. I'm rooting against you. <laughs> he's, you said he's short. I don't think they make any cure for that. Yeah, they do. You can get your knees. You can get. You can get your. Uh... I guess yeah, they do make extension. Like I saw a video of a guy that he was always short, and he went and he got some kind of extensions in his legs. Yeah. <laughs> and he was saying how painful it was. Like the rest of his life, he had to live in pain, just so he could gain six inches in height. Oh, I'm like, I would, I, I would just be short, you know. I'm six foot two, so I mean, I'm okay height. You're six foot two? Yeah. Man, you're a beast. Six you know, two. I'll make sure I'm on your good side if we ever meet in person. My, uh, my brother is like five seven. My mom is like five foot. My sister's like five foot. Oh, so well, that's I, not fair. I think I was the milkman's. I was ready to say, pretty sure. Did you ever get it genetically tested? No, nah, we all look uh, exactly alike. I don't know. My grandfather was like seven <laughs> foot tall. <laughs> oh, so. God. He was a big man. Man, I tell you what, the ES is looking so much stronger here than the NASDAQ. 
Oh, let me look at the yes. I don't look at the yes. I'm Barely. currently up ten dollars on yeah. my micro long. Man, I I look at the ES on a two minute chart. <laughs> wow, that looks ugly. Looks you got like, a tall brother too, Smurf. Uh, like a barcode. NASCAL, if we don't see four twenties, you're gonna quit. I don't know, man. I mean, it could go either way, right? That's the kind of the deal. I think I might just take it off at get 80. above the four eighties. I don't know. I think I might just take it at eighty. I could see how price reacts there, but after taking that big loss there, we'll just take what we can. And now she heard me say I was going to take it at 80, and she's like, nah, <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, no, here we go, here we go. So. Making a move. Don't, don't move. Danny don't Boy move and don't say has a fire-breathing thing? What is that? Danny Boy. Traders it'll evolve fire breathing. I don't what? know what that is. What did I miss? I heard I heard Patrick and Danny Boy like they got some kind of beef or what? Oh what yeah. Did, did you see the Twitter the Twitter post yesterday? No, I didn't. Check See, poor out. Patrick is the he blocked me on Patrick blocked me on Twitter. His ego couldn't, couldn't Yeah, we allow know, we know it, so. we know you have that alt account. Just pull it up. Yeah, that's what I'm looking. I, I, I keep forgetting about my alt account. Uh, so I need to get in. Let me sign in. Okay, where are we at? I have an alt account that I, I don't even make a comment on Patrick's because I'm afraid he'll ban me again somehow. Okay. It was kind of funny. The uh, only prop firms made a little meme where he's holding Danny by the feet. That looks like It looks like a fish. Yeah, it was kind of <laughs> comical. I mean, that Danny Boys looks like a clown. <laughs> I watched a couple of his videos. I don't know. I mean, together. you never can tell about somebody. No, I was part of, like, the video that I that he was in a, what is that, a bathrobe? I haven't seen with... that one. <laughs> you haven't seen? Hold it. I don't get it. What are they trying to do? I'm scrolling through. I still haven't found what I'm looking. Oh, now I see. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, holding them up oh, like a fish. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is just, oh, man. I think it's Traders Evolve, Maverick. I'm not sure. They are the same person, right? Danny Trades and Traders Evolve. Is that the same person? I think. I don't oh, know. That's funny. I'm not sure. Man, this thing is not wanting to give me the 80s. Like, come on. That's what I'm saying. Let's go to the moon. Let's get through there Yeah, already. it's being very, very stubborn. He likes to trade oh, without a shirt. Patrick. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I can't make this up. <sighs> you know Nutty's alt Twitter account is not Nutty Bar Trading. <laughs> like Patrick's. That is true. I will give you a hint. Not Nutty Bar. It is not 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 nutty bar trading first time you watch patrick he was ranting about people in his chat being broke yeah he does that he'll say he'll do members only and yeah, they'll say all right let's let the brokies in yeah i know <laughs> let's let He's the brokies in now bag. i was one of the brokies i'm not gonna lie you know i watched him from the i'm not gonna subscribe to his channel like i subscribe but not become a member exactly. i think he has enough money over there so yep i need three points i it, mean can we can we get 12 more ticks come on this is where i you do you do better than i do because i would just take my profit here <laughs> if it doesn't want to if it's if it's gonna try that hard and fail i'm like okay i give up well, if we didn't have the equal highs there, I might would just go ahead and take it, but I, like, I don't see how it doesn't Yeah, but I see there. too often where it won't quite make those equal highs. It'll just tease it. Yeah. It probably will just stop me here. It's okay if it does. Yeah, you're still in profit. Or are you at break even? Yeah, yeah, I'm at break even, so there's no worries. No worries. It'll probably stop me out and then run through there. 
No, wait, we're supposed to be positive, like, so no, it's not going to do that. No, no, this is a fake out to go higher. It's it's trapping the shorts right now, and now it's going to rip. Patrick Whelan, I see in March 19th, he's saying that he has to pay over half a million dollars in taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, which I mean, I don't know how much money he's making, but like, <clears throat> well, I can figure that up pretty quickly. Yeah, if you're making half, if you're paying half a meal, you got to be paying. I mean, probably about one point three million. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> YouTube revenue? Nah, Mike, Mike, bike. I don't think it's YouTube revenue. He's yeah, only making like 80k, I think he said. On re that's the only thing he'll show you really is the 80k. But um, I think he made 80k last year in YouTube revenue. It's not YouTube revenue, and it's not his trading. So. Well, he didn't he say last year on the market or what is his what is his Discord thing that he was at one yeah. point he was pushing that really hard. I haven't really heard him promote that recently. Yeah. But he had what was the cost? I well, for the program, the it's five hundred dollars for the for the course. Yeah, five hundred dollars, and he had over a thousand members, right? But for the monthly, the monthly access, it's like fifty or sixty dollars. I believe. I think no. it might be ninety nine. I don't know. He made seven hundred k from the course. Yeah, that probably sounds about right, right. About right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, that's why people do it. That's why people do it. There's a lot of money out there that just. I always wonder, like, who buys it? Who who keeps who keeps buying these courses? I don't know. I've said openly, like, if you ever see me selling a course, someone come for me because I, I will. I'll call you. I got your number. I'll call you. <laughs> I'll I'll never you sell don't a pick course. Up, I'll come find you. <laughs> yeah, I'll never. I'll never. You sell can do a the course. same to me. If I ever sell a course, you come find me. <laughs> it got me. Oh. Uh, Someone just had the uh, ASMR for the Quant Tower sale there. Yeah, it's all right. We're still at two twenty five on that account. So even after taking that big loss, did you did you know I actually went in Ninja Trader, and I disabled the sound for stop loss hit. I I disabled those sounds. Why? It would trigger me. Oh, because it cause triggers you. It. Like, yeah, I'm like I don't like hearing it. I can see that my stop was hit. I don't need some, you know, annoying voice telling me that my stop was hit. I can see it with my eyes. It's like it was rubbing it in. Change it to something I, different. Good. I understand. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I should have done a special recording. Well, the thing is, Janelle, with the with the courses, like I tell you guys all the time, there's nothing in a course that's going to teach you that you can't learn for free. Number one, and number two. The psychology and the screen time, which is the most important. There's no course that's going to give you that. So, Maxi, the dog is barking. Good, yeah, that's exactly 100%. Something that can't be bought with any course is screen time. So, screen time and experience is just, it just takes time. Well, Nettie, it's 220. I don't want to keep you over your time. So, yeah, I just saw. It is two twenty, and I have, I have to go uh, babysit, and I have to either babysit or go get the kids. <laughs> I don't see how so, you sit uh, so far from your keyboard right there on your desk. Well, okay, so the view is kind of weird that you see because I feel like it's Closer. like a wide angle lens. Yeah, because right here is where I like. This is how I sit. Like this is my my drawing thing. <laughs> So I have that here and here, and then I did it, did it, did it. SP said you should sell a course to uh, let them know how to disable the stop loss sound. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Oh, man. Well, all right, Nutty, I appreciate you jumping, dropping all right. in. Hey. Yes, uh, Methodical Man, appreciate what you're doing in this industry or in this space. Keep it up. Keep it real. And also, congratulations on your uh, – you're at – Almost 2,700 subs. Let's go. If you're yeah. not subbed, if you're not subbed, hit that sub button, guys. Come on. And hit the like button. Appreciate right? you. Those are my parting, parting words. <laughs> we'll see you later.
right. Appreciate you having me, having me on Methodical Man. Take care, and I will catch you later. See ya. All right. Let's uh, turn this stuff off. There we go. And let's see what happens. Oh, goodness. You're always going to say this. You rock because you're transparent, honest. Yeah, I try to be raw. I try to be. I try to be. I mean, I think, man, I, I really hate that it stopped me out there. There's not much I could do, though. Like, I mean, I could put my stop down here, but you just don't know, right, with this price action. You just don't know. That's too really small of a gap to do anything with. We are long ES over here. Um, Black Beauty, what's the target? Still 20? We're long ES from 08 on one micro. Fire drill going on right now on top step. Yeah, you can get over there and... Um, Hit that form if you need to. I think it's going to be, what, 75% off a reset or something like that? Uh, we're hating, but people at market flow are printing money. Uh, I mean, how do you know that, NASCOUT? How do you know that? I'm not hating on market flow. We're just I'm just saying a course in general. you got to understand market flow. They have the live trading room with Sage, and Sage is very good. No one is hating on Sage. Um, they have the live trading room with Sage, and uh, he's very good at what he does. And um, he trades ES mostly, at least last time I saw. So, yeah, nobody's hating on the uh, market flow community. Just saying you don't need a course. Yeah, nope. You haven't got in yet. You told me to long. <laughs> you said long. I just jumped in long duck dong. Let me take it off then. <laughs> Waiting on the bottom touch on the 15. All right, let me put on the 15. So you're waiting for 305 or 300, 301 maybe. I don't know that we get a pullback to 301 to be honest. Come back in this chop, yeah. It's we've had a couple of little moves here, little sweeps to the upside, but no real follow through yet. So I missed your comment. May have. There's a lot going on today, Black Beauty. I try to stay up on them, but I may have. Let me plug my headphones up right quick. It won't take 10 or 15 minutes for those to charge. Because I like to listen to music. So hold on one second. All right, we're back. Get a little blood back in my butt. Uh, the one hour isn't set up. I mean, I think the ES goes up, to be honest. I really do. I think we end the day in the, probably like the 320 range like we were talking about. NASDAQ, on the other hand, I mean, it's, I don't know. I think if we get some momentum here, we can certainly push up, but there's none yet. No real momentum yet to the upside. <laughs> we should have some neg negative emojis. I don't know how to, how do I change those? I don't know if I can change those. I'm not sure. Oh. It's safer down there to enter cuz if it cracks then you know for sure I got you. Yeah, it makes sense. That's probably true. I 
I gotta turn the air conditioner on. It's hot in here. Yeah, it's hot in here. Let me go turn the AC on. All right, we're back. We got the air conditioner engaged. Engaged. Full engagement. I could just take the hoodie off, right? It's always an option. But no, who does that? Well, who called me? Spam risk. Well, we're going to assume that's probably spam then. Uh, Nutty ran your blood pressure up with the comedy. Nah. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Now, nah, I talk to Nutty quite often. Just kind of spitballing things back and forth. Fire sitting at 490. If we get there, it goes to the moon, is what you're saying? Maybe. Oh, you're still holding? Yeah, I mean, I held mine, too. It's like, you know, we hit here. How long do we hold that trade? I mean, for us, you know, it's not that long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen minutes for me, that's an eternity. <laughs> Thirteen minutes is an eternity. I mean, here's the thing. If you look to the left, like, you know, if we just get above those equal highs there, this thing does have the ability to kind of run up into the 90s. But that's just kind of the if right now. It's a big if. I mean, like, even this, if we close above here, you're like five points to those equal highs. So unless you're just going to scalp it. I don't know if it's worth it. You want the 90s? You were in a trade for eight hours? Oh, goodness. I can't do it. Where are you long from, Smurf? If you guys haven't already hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Once again, if you're unfamiliar, 80% off Apex is still going on, one day pass. Um, you will, you can buy those today and still have Monday to do the one day pass. I'll probably pick up a few more myself, probably five to ten more to kind of have in the bank for next week. And um, probably full send those Monday morning. 90% off Bulanox will end on Sunday. Today's the last trading day for that. I guess Sunday, if you trade the open at 6 o'clock, the Asia, you might could do it then. But 90% off will end at midnight on Sunday. So pick up your Bulanox account. Don't wait till Monday. It won't be there. And then uh, you'll, be, you'll be yearning for the 90% off, and we won't have it. We've been pretty spoiled this month that Bulanox has basically had the 90% off all month. So 
We've been pretty spoiled. And, you know, all the other prop firms, too. $49 top step, take profit trader, trade day. Um, my funded futures is a pretty good deal. $70 all in with no activation fee for a 50K account. Use the code MM, capital letters, link in the description. And we also have the link in the description to the Discord if you guys want to join. It's 10 bucks a month. That's it. That's the spiel. That's the spiel. We got about an hour, 28 minutes left in the day here. Counting down on the 12 hour stream. What are we? We're 10 hours and 42 minutes in. So we'll definitely be over the 12 hours today. Hey, appreciate you, Predator. We'll see you on Monday or Tuesday. I won't be here Monday. I'll be driving, unfortunately. I might make some call. I might make some posts in Discord if I see something. I'll be traveling, so it'll just kind of be on my laptop. So if we see something that's juicy, we'll call it out. Uh, Bulinox doesn't have a trade copier only trades. It's just whatever prop firm you're using. So like if you're using Quantower, Ninja, you got a Ninja copier, you got an Apex copier, you got a Replicanto, you got Quantower with the copier, Atos has a copier. It's basically just whatever platform you're using there. You can uh, use the copier to go along with it. But Bulinox doesn't have ryth ryth rhythmic. Bulinox is only a rhythmic account. So Whatever platform you decide to use with Rhythmic is the copier you would use. That's all. I wish this YouTube thing would show me how many likes we have had. I, don't know, I just try to refresh it. It's like freezing up. Yeah, it still didn't fix it. Uh, how many trades have I taken Bassett during the 10 hours? So in London, we took three trades. And then we took two on that funded. No, wait. Three on that funded account. So that's six. And then on this account which is the only other account we traded. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18. We are at 19 trades. In London, we had one loser. The other trade, we had two losers, so that's three. So 19 trades, um, one. So we're 15 of 19, 15 winners, four losers. Not the best percentage, but it's fine. Not the best percentage, but we'll take it. We could have probably done a little better. I'd say a couple of the trades could have been avoided, but 79%. Blue three evals trading on your own. Two were already pretty terminal. That sucks. Oh. Uh, I don't know what I can do about it, Tech. I'm trying to talk as loud as possible here. <laughs> I got it turned up as loud as I can. I mean, I can continue to turn it up, but like it's fine for most people. So I don't know why it's low for others. Let me see. Uh, lock volume. I don't know. Like I said, I can. I only thing I can do is maybe try to speak a little louder. But hello, hello, hello. Seems fine to me. I don't know though. Some people say they hear me just fine. Some say it's low. So I'm not sure. Not much I can do about it. Uh, 
Yeah, I realize it's not quite as loud as um, maybe like some of the other streamers, but I kind of have mine at like a medium level. I don't want to keep it, like I don't want to have the gain and everything turned up like super, super high because then you guys will hear everything like at my house. You'll hear my dog bark even louder than he already barks. Stuff like that. So I do kind of keep the gain kind of, you know, a third of the way there. I don't want you guys to have to hear everything. Keep it at the sultry level that it is now. <laughs> oh. Let's go. The sultry level. You didn't hear a problem? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I'm not listening to myself, so I don't really know, right? So, yeah, I think they probably do have it, like, just cranked up. So, that's all. Which I could do, but, I mean, I do have one of those little, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a little sound station or whatever where you turn the gain up and down and all that good stuff. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what the proper term is. Very suave. <laughs> He's got a he has a he has a voice and a face for radio. That's what someone told me one time in my chat. I don't remember who it was. Somebody said that though. Oh my goodness. I completely wish we just had setups that were just so nice and we could just be hammering out the setups today. And it would be nice, but just not the case. It's just not the case. Like, you can tell, this is how I know price action is not great, right? When I look at my trades, and you look at almost every trade, we're stopped out on the runner. So, like, we hit the internal, and we're stopped out. If you go back and look, this was our loser. But let's look at every trade. That's break even, stone break even, but look at this one. First one hit, stopped out on the runner. First one hit, stop down on the runner, you know? First one hit, stop down on the runner. Like, when you see that, first one hit, stop down on the runner. That's just, that tells me that's just a stone break even. That just tells me that price action is not, you know, this one here, we actually hit full TP. That's the only one today. Look, first one hit, stop down on the runner. Like, every time. So it's like, this one here, I guess we hit, I think I moved, I think I just took this one off manually. So first one hit and we would have been stopped out. But like when I keep seeing like my runners just stopped out every single time, pretty much that makes, that just lets you know that price, there's just no follow through. There's no follow through. So. Check out Purdy, a prop firm myth. Could be worth getting an affiliate. No consistency rule. No sim. Half max size of Apex. How many accounts? Did you say one account with that, though, Aaron? That's the only hold up, I think. I think you had said earlier just one account. Purdy. Purdia. Never heard of that one. That's new to me. I don't understand why this has me logged into the wrong Twitter account. Max, what do you hear over there, guy? All right, let's try to log out. I don't know what the deal is here. All right, finally pulling back here. I have no idea what in the world. Maxi, come on, man.
The dog is going crazy over here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, RM Trades. Major news release tomorrow morning, no market. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I guess that kind of tells you that maybe um, maybe the Open might have some volatility on Sunday. I don't really know. Maxi, I'm giving you a little bit of rope here, man, but you're about to get sprayed over here. He's pushing his luck. Watch him. If I just threw the bottle out, I'm like, Maxi. He's like, no, no, no. Do not hit me with the water. Oh, yeah, when the dog barks. <laughs> the whole week you've mostly been uh, picking three to four or five. I mean, that's the thing. You don't have to, right, Jamie? I mean, just uh, those are those are solid trades during, um, you know, during a market that is choppy. Get three, four, or five points. That's kind of what I was doing on my first. I'm trying to, like, take what I can on the first and then let the run let the runner go if it can. It's just just not going. It's just not going. But then, you know, the problem with that is you have all those winners, and then you take one decent-sized loser, and it kind of wipes all those profits away because the runners didn't work. So when I took this loser here, 17-pointer, full full size, I should have probably killed it up here, but – then uh then it kind of wipes out your profits so but that's all right we deal with it i mean we've just been holding up in this 15 minute gap all day you didn't miss the last raffle raul i don't know if you were here we did do one um, we are going to do another here in just a few minutes. So you're here for that one. Who won the last one? Uh, matter of fact, let me check my email. I think Jen. Jen won the last one. And we have an email from her. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a her. So let me fire off this money to Jen before I forget. But yeah, we'll have another drawing here in just a few minutes. Well, actually, let me go ahead and start the uh, drawing here. Let's fire it off here. Let's start it up. Uh, complete. Last one of the day. There it is. Alrighty. Let me make sure I got that spelled right. Indeed we do. What's up, Jeffrey? There we go. Friends and family. Boom. Your money has been sent, Jen. I don't know if you're still watching, but if you are, the money's there. Nice job, Captain Price. Let's do it. Want to make brownie batter and come back being stopped out? Oh, you came back to being stopped out. What kind of brownies we making up over there, Smurf? What kind of brownies we doing? All right, guys and gals. Um, 
Goodness, we didn't take out that swing. I don't know. This could just rip against us. No clean of clothes above there anyway, so. You have to kind of take into account both gaps here. I don't know what Max is whining about over there. Well, I wanted to see a clean close above, but. We will try it again. All right, we're going to target those equal highs once again. Maybe it's a 94. Yeah, I mean, 94 would still make sense. I think if we, you know, VWAP up in that area, still makes sense. But I'm going to try to take just the low-hanging fruit at the 80 that we were trying to target earlier. We picked off two 80 stops each and went to the 50s. So. See if we can get a rush up here. If it's been like it's been being, then we're probably stopped. But all we can do is try. Give it the college try. The only thing I didn't love about it, there's two gaps here, the same setup in the two minute, and then we didn't really sweep this low, so that's why I was like, eh, I don't know. I did want to get in, like, down here, but I don't like the weak momentum here. I think I'm just going to, like, lock in some. If that candle turns red, then I just leave it alone. So lock it in, like, almost five handles. Yes, I know I'm trailing it too close here, but like based on how the days went, this probably makes more sense than not. So I'm still trying to give it a decent chance to go, but I'm not going to let it come back and stop me break even. So we'll just kind of trail it one candle body behind if we can. And if it goes, it goes. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, no problem, Jen. Appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I was leaving a runner, uh, Frederick. I just, it's just so, like, based on how everything's went, you know, it just, you know, I don't know. Just, yeah, that's the thing, Bassett. That's why I didn't love it. We didn't take, we did take some liquidity. Now, let's be honest. We took this here but we did not take this so if we swept this liquidity here i feel much better about it that so like you know we came close but we just didn't sweep it so if we had then i would felt better about it so we did sweep some liquidity but maybe just not the liquidity i wanted it to sweep right for the setup to be a little bit stronger but that's the power of these inversions i mean you're taking the first swing right so the first up close candle so like basically here, you take your you take it off here, you break even, stop it, you see what happens. That's what I love about the inversions, but so I mean it could run for sure. We got low resistance liquidity to the left. I think a run into the nineties, maybe the five hundred level makes a lot of sense. 
but when do we get it? I mean, you like, you know, that's kind of the thing. I've tried three or four times to get it, and it's just one of those things. Mark, you can take some of those highs and still leave. Yes, exactly. Exactly. For sure. We say all the time, that, like, does it have to do this or does it have to do that? The answer is no. Would I like it to? Yes. Does it have to? Nope. Doesn't have to. You guys haven't already joined the, um, let me make sure. Okay, you have seven more minutes. All right. Join the uh, giveaway if you haven't already. I'm going to do $20. This will be the last one of the day. That'll be a total of $100. I know it's not a lot, guys, but like I'm trying to do what I can. You got to understand, like, I don't have a job. And I'll do a revenue video this weekend, um, probably Sunday, since it's the last day of the month, and we'll launch it on Monday. Let you guys know what my affiliate revenue is, what my payout revenue is, and how much I spent this month on evaluations and activation fees. That's going to be the new video that I just do every month. I'm not going to break it down um, affiliate to affiliate, but I'm going to tell you the overall monetary value. So, Kid Poker in the house. Let's go. How's your day going, Kid Poker? Hopefully you stayed away from the charts. That would be the most ideal thing to do. You guys do have to be subscribed, obviously, to enter the giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, jump in there, hit the subscribe button, get into the giveaway. It's a free $20, you know, let's do it. Did not trade PAs. That's an awesome, awesome thing, Kid Poker. Now, of course, you guys know I'm not in this trade anymore. I decided to just be um, passive. And so, you know, right now it's probably going to run. Let me just pick an area. Let's say right there. 505 is incoming. I mean, at the very least, I, th I mean, I think it takes out the 80s, which was my target on my, on my runner. But it looks like it wants to go. Oh, yeah, Bassett. The five minute, I mean, every chart looks trash today, to be honest. Pretty trash. Full rotation would be 94. Yeah, it seems to make sense. Hmm. Woo, buddy, I'm starting to feel the effects. I'm starting to feel the effects. Starting to feel the effects, guys. We got an hour to go. Are we going to make it? This thing is going to inflict some massive pain. It could. Um, this here is not what I'm supposed to be drinking, but I need a little something. It's just Diet Dr. Pepper, so it's nothing crazy. But I need a little something. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper high. Zero calories, but I'm sure it has some sort of uh, fake sugar. Some sort of fake sugar in it. Space Mountain. Kid Poker said he's done with trading four days ago. We all knew he would be back. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Maverick. I like Kid Poker. I mean, we're going to have days where we're like, I quit. We all are, right? We're all going to have days like that. All right, that might have been the top of the hour. Not quite, actually. So there goes the push through. Yeah, there we go. That's what we were looking for earlier over here when we didn't get it. And so then here, I guess we should have just held. But, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. We didn't. Randy's equal highs up here again. Let's see. I told you guys, just go ahead and get long. 505 incoming. You didn't know you were so famous. You are Kid Poker. Everyone knows you. My stream, Nutty stream, every stream. I think I've seen you in Alpines. We Everybody knows Kid Poker. 
Not to mention you're a multimillionaire with uh, the second highest uh, tournament winnings in poker history. You want 92? I think you get it. I don't see a reason why not. And you know how to shred on the guitar. And I think it runs at 94.50. I think we get 505 here. And I just pulled that number out of my rear end. You know, it's kind of the bottom of that three-minute gap that's knocked us down all day. Probably the 786 of that leg there. I don't know. We could fib it and see. We could fib it and see. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I put 505. The 786 is 504. That's pretty good. What I tell you guys? What I tell you? As soon as I wasn't in there, as soon as I moved my stop, it was going here. As soon as I moved my stop, you already knew. Boom. Just like that. Just pulled that one out of my rear. <laughs> nice job, just ain't right. So as soon as I didn't, as soon as I moved my stop, we knew it was going to be to the moon, to the moon. So what can you do? What can you do? You thought it was going to 420? Yeah. I don't know. We held the hour. We held the 15. We never broke it. So until we close below there on the one hour and the 15, like, this is kind of just told the story today, right? Actually, two of the three trades I lost today were sh uh, were shorts, right? I, sh I lost this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This was the only long I lost. The other ones, the other two both were shorts that I got wrecked on. Or maybe, no, wait, there might have been one more long. Yeah, that's right. So two longs and two shorts. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it wrong. It was two longs and two shorts. Oh, yeah, I think it was uh, Naz. He said if we didn't hit the 20s, he was going to quit trading. Oh, you missed it? Well, that's the thing on the ES there is up to 317. I was thinking that we get 320. I was long 308. Not really in much of drawdown on there, but it's at 317.75. I mean, here's the thing. If we bust above this... Uh, this three-minute gap that's kind of been holding us down all day, that's not an entry. But if we close above this strong, that pretty much lets you know we should be. Maybe we end the day at the 540s, something like that. I mean, power hour the last few days has been kind of crazy. We just crossed over. So either we end the day at the 540s or we end the day at the 420s, which it could go either way, right? If I look back at the results closing all contracts at TP1 versus one contract, um, no, Maverick. I am not. Yeah, we're in OTE now, for sure. I haven't looked at it. I'm, I'm going to – I can check into that. He bought another one at 496. Yeah, a tough buy up this high, but it still probably work. Back to the 505s already, so. Oh, let me resume the entries, guys. I don't know. If any of you guys put the iCash and you did not get a ticket, um, you'll have to go back and do it again. I didn't see anybody that happened. Drips, did you get a ticket? Yes, you did. Never mind. So everybody that's done it so far has gotten a ticket. For exclamation point ca uh, cash, not I. I don't know why I keep saying I. I guess because it looks like an eye. Let's go. Just ain't right. You the man. Let's go. Let's go. Got some uh, Got some accounts. I like it. All right. We got five minutes, guys. 3.05. We're going to do the giveaway. $20. Not $20,000. Not $2,000. Not any of it.
So about 305 here we'll do the giveaway for the final $20, the final countdown of the $20. Who's going to be the lucky winner for Easter weekend? Who's going to be the lucky winner? Quick 1.6k, nice. Well, that's the same thing with me today just ain't right. Like I just focused on my evals today, it made the trades easier. And I mean, we've taken some good trades. The thing is it's like 15 of 19 is not great. I think two of those trades, I broke my rules when I took them. We had equal highs above, and I took a short. And then I took a long before he closed. Actually, right here. I can tell you right where it was. Right here. I took this long on the other account before we closed above on the three-minute, and we got wrecked. So if I follow my rules, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Let me look here and see. My strategy, I trade the inversion strategy, Ash Eves. So basically just, um, you know, something like this here. Obviously, there's two gaps in this leg, but there's this is the cleanest one. So Generally, we like to be delivering from a fair value gap with a sweep of liquidity. We swept some liquidity here, but I would have ideally liked us to sweep that one. And then uh, we left the fair value gap. So my strategy is we close back above. I look for the internal liquidity to the left. I take one off and break even stop it there, and then I kind of leave a runner. On this in particular one, I did not leave the runner because I took basically the same trade here, and the runner got stopped out. So I was like, eh, I didn't want to just get stopped out for break even, so I moved it up. But typically, that's how I would do. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, no problem. I got a video on my channel as well. It's kind of a general breakdown, kind of a glass glassing over. It's not an in, an in depth one. Price actions poop exactly. So it's tough to like. When it's been like that all day, it's kind of tough to want to trust it. Like the the idea is to just keep keep trading the same way, and eventually it hits. Right, that's always the idea. But man, easier said than done. Now this two minutes, it does look decent. We swept liquidity. We delivered from that three minute gap again. And so if we close below, this looks decent. I'm trying to look around and see if the other time frames, how they look. I mean, the three minute has two gaps in the leg. The one minute, same. So I'll probably just use the one minute here and the two minute. I'd like to see them both close below. Both times you weren't ready. Oh, you didn't. So you didn't. Um, so you didn't have your order there. Is what you're saying? Took it off the 93s. Nice. Full inversion. Yeah, that's pretty strong engulfing candle here. Guys, be a little wary. I was gonna mention this. Um, Rat Lord just kind of reached out to me here. So just something that we just noticed with the. Uh, with the flexi trade, I paid last night for my account with a credit card. No problem. And now today, it says that they're only taking coin payments. There's not even an option for a credit card anymore. There used to be a credit card option right here. And it's gone now. So that's a bit strange. I don't know if that's a glitch in their system or what. But not a good sign. If I use trade evade, the runner would be the same thing as it is here. So I would take my, I would take, so on, if this closes down here, if this inverses down here, 
There's actually a couple of smaller gaps here. I'll probably have to use the one minute. Then um, the next internal, which would be here, so the next down close candle would be my break even stop, and I would scale here. So basically, I just take one off there. I hit the button twice. That's how I do it. A lot of people get confused by that, but it's not really, really ain't rocket science. I hit the button twice. This is a huge gap, though. You know what? I'm not going to take this because the risk to reward does not make sense. The risk to reward does not make sense here. 30 second setup probably would have been a better entry. But even though I'm on an eval, I'm still not going to take it just because the risk to reward doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'd be risking like 20 handles for what? 23. So it's a one to one, but that's a huge stop. Be careful. Take uh, profit trader to the same and they closed. Who is What is TFT? What is TFT? That address in Wyoming has over 20 fraud complaints, does it? Yeah, I saw that it's just like an old H&R block. I did look it up, Design. I didn't remember who told me to, but I looked it up. It's an old H&R block building. So full on 24-hour stream. <laughs> no. The funded trader, it's a Forex prop. Yeah. Well, Forexes are a little different. They're a little different than the uh, than the futures, but I get what you mean. Yeah, shorts have been tough today, you're right. That's why I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. We didn't inverse it anyway. Did not inverse it anyway. We held. Which is kind of what you want to see if it's gonna continue higher, right? And now that kind of sets up another long ski. Something along those lines. Again, get your orders in there, guys. Uh, explanation point cash. I forgot. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway here in about one minute. So we pulled back here. We held this gap. We retested the 15. So if we push back through here, close above, then you can be reasonably, you can be reasonable that we would uh, at least make it back to that swing. I'd imagine this might be an OTE playback to the uh, on this pullback here. Uh, pretty close. Pretty darn close. He went short on the opening range. Yeah, yeah. This morning, I did not. I only put my tar. I only trading for science. This is one of the things I'm struggling with. And when I go into the day with kind of a set bias, I like the longs more than I did the shorts. Um, and so I didn't even put the short entry on. I didn't even drop the order on the chart. I only put the long order on. So, and obviously the short would have paid immediately, but you know, you don't know that before the market opens. So just not having that confidence to put it on both sides today. Up 700. Let's go. All right. About to close the, uh, about to close the tickets here. So if you guys haven't gotten your ticket, let's do it. <laughs> rat Lord. This Rat Lord sent me about the uh, the flexi trade. <laughs> red flag, red flag. Oh, goodness. He's flagging it up over there. All right, let's do the giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. Close entries. Pick a winner. Pick a winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Lubomir Guban. Lubomir Guban. You are the winner. Are you here? Lubomir, you got eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just kidding. I just wanted to see if I can make him rush over or I'll like you try to get the, the keyboard out. <laughs> Only trade you missed it by that much. 
So, Lubomir, are you here? Art thou here? Man, Lubomir Goban is not responding. Does anybody see Lubomir Goban in the chat? Y'all see him? Him or her? I don't know. Which one? He has pushed up to 319 right there. Hmm. How long should we give? Three more minutes? Give to 315? If Lubomir, blah, Lubomir Goban has not responded by 315, we will get a redraw. Elidio's over there. <laughs> Cash, let's go. Cash, cash, cash. Money bags, money bags. I don't know if you can tell, my voice is kind of on the way out the door here. This 12-hour stream has put a beating on the voice. So. Yeah, that could be Alito. I don't know what's going on with it. We'll see. Should I dispute my credit card charge? <laughs> I can't redo it until let me, let me give a reasonable amount of time. We're gonna go three fifteen. Two more minutes. If Lou Bomir Goban does not respond in two minutes, it will be forfeited. Yeah, Raul, I do typically drink all water. Typically, that's all I drink. But I wanted a little something else today. Yeah, I do use TradingView, but I have it locked up for a couple of, you know. I got it locked up for a couple of years here on TradingView. Nutty said 10 seconds. <laughs> Wait time. 10 seconds, that's a little too quick. That's a little too quick to pull the trigger. All right, we got about 39 seconds for lube. Bomir, Goban. Lou Bomir, Goban, you got about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> Drink water, one apple, and wait for the candle to close. That should be my rules, right? Water and one apple. Oh, 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 you guys are disappointed. There's Lou Bomir in the chat just with 10 seconds to go. Lubomir, we got the, uh, goodness, I put my email up above, but I spelled it wrong. Methodical man. So what I need you to do is send me an email showing where you can, uh, just click on your, click on your last comment, show where you can delete it. It'll say remove, screenshot it, send it to me in an email, along with your PayPal or your cash app, and we'll get you $20 over. And if you're going to buy a Bulanox account with it, we appreciate it if you use my code. If not, have a beer, do whatever. Enjoy your weekend. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, Jamie. We'll see. I mean, I'm down a thousand on the account. I'm probably, I was just kidding about the dispute thing. I'm just going to wait. We'll see how it plays out. If we get it to pay out, we get it to pay out. We'll go from there, but not looking good right now. It is weird that they switched over to Coinbase, like to coin payments only. That's strange. I just paid with a credit card yesterday or maybe this morning. So I don't know. That is a bit strange. I would say that is a bit on the strange side. All right, let me grab my headphones.
All right, we're back. Got the headphones. Let's get them set up. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I wasn't even looking. We could have closed above there. I would have missed it. I would have missed it. Mr. Gamer, did you hate Power Hour? Eh, I mean, it could be good. could be bad. Yes, Maverick, get to 1600. You got to get to 1600 to get payout. But you can clo they'll close them out automatically. Um, once I hit 1600 and I take out 1500 so get to 1600 take it out close it out yada yada and be good um so I the thing the idea Maverick is to have so right now I'm dealing with like 10 25ks and like the idea is to have 20 in the in the 20 accounts kind of in the background past already ready to go and um i'm going to jump in here not full size just half size try to take a scalp but the idea is to kind of have like i said 20 accounts ready to go so when i take a payout on these i can just slide those right in there so that's kind of the idea. So we'll see. Take the money from the payouts and activate the other accounts and start recycling them. And out of the 20, if I can get out of the 20 accounts, I only need to get two to pay out to be profitable. So if I can get five of those to pay out, then I'll be making really good money. Five out of 20 doesn't sound great, but you just get five to pay out you're going to be profitable you do that twice a month it's pretty good living pretty good living so it's like 15k a month in profit i would take it all day every day and twice on saturday one delivery one apex account yeah yeah So let's see what happens. I want to see, decide if I want to give this room or do I want to break even stop it back above the wick? I'm long because we closed above. We pulled back, we tapped into OTE, and we reversed the two minute back above. So that's why. Closed above, I'm long. I'm long, duck, dong. May not work, but you know, it's an okay setup for me. But that's why. Also, we're above the VWAP mask out guide. We're above the VWAP. And I just got my stop below the VWAP here. I'm just going to kind of leave it there. Doesn't Apex say they don't want traders to blow accounts? No, you can blow accounts, Eric. They want you to blow accounts. It's more money they make. I think so too, Maverick. That's why I'm using... Uh, 
That's why I'm using the 25Ks just because, like, I only need five $300 winning days. And then um, from there, you know, it's basically 1500 in profit. You say six, that's 1800 in profit. I can have a losing day or two for 100 bucks here or there and then flip a couple days and be there. Still be above the 1600 So it's so really six winning days and you're at payout of $300. That's the idea. I could blow, I could literally blow 18 and still break even. Um, you know, I could blow 17 and make money. So, like, that's my thought process. May not be a lot of money, but it's kind of like washing accounts. It's just playing the prop firm game. It's all it is. It's all it is. And 470s went up because people stopped out. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I kind of feel like we finished the day higher. I don't know. That's just the feeling I get. But who knows? That may not be the case. May not be the case. And I'm just going to risk 10 points here. I'm not going to risk the entire, like, I guess it's really 14 or 15 points. Yeah, I guess I could move it down here and still end the day in green. <whistles> they have so much silly stuff saying don't average, don't full port. Yeah, but that's, Aaron, that's probably in your funded. In your funded account, the rules are going to apply to you a little bit differently, but in your eval, you pretty much do what you want. So, in the eval, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You hate the holidays, yeah, some people do. I don't mind them. I mean, this week's been trash. Last week was kind of trash, too, but we've navigated it. I lost two funded accounts this week, but, like, I was aggressive on Monday when I shouldn't have been, and then I pulled back for the rest of the week. So it's one of those things where, like, as soon as I noticed that it was going to be a tough week, I just, you know. You're going to sell from the 499s? Nice. Absent. I'm rooting against you, but nice. <laughs> Or you know it can at least get back above my my uh, break even, and then you and then it can sell all it wants. That's uh, once it gets above that swing, then it'll be my break even. So come on, see this is what it did to me last time. I didn't break even, stop it. And then it stopped me out for a huge loss. So, eh. I didn't get the stop in. It literally did this exact same thing last time. It double topped and then just ripped lower and stopped me out. You guys remember that? Right here. See that? It did this exact same thing. I was long here, double top, one tick above, I would stop even. I would break even stop. And it just ripped lower and just killed me. So, dun, 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 dun. one tick away. Why has it got to do me like that? I would have put. The, I would have dropped the break even stop there, hundred percent, if it broke through there. I'm just trying to follow the rules. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to follow my rules. Win, lose, or draw. I just want to follow the rules. That's it. All right, there we go. It's still triple top. All right, there we go. Now it pushes through there. I was originally just going to take this swing, but I think if we go, I think we really go.
I will trail it up. I don't want to show weakness here. So I'm going to trail it up. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. It really can go here. I just, man, annoying. Up 20, 525, nice. 525, 525. We just hit the 520 on the spy there. Oh, I should have been in right with, at the close of the one minute at 309. Well, the problem with anticipation is that it gets me caught, right? Like I'm not bear, I'm not gonna blindly buy a gap, and that's what the, that's what you'd be doing there. You'd be just blindly buying this gap. So like I get what you're saying, but this way, I mean that scalp guide, you got to see that. I mean I'm 16 out of 20, 80 percent win rate today. I'm typically running like 86 percent uh, on a daily basis. So like you have to see that this strategy does work. It has a very high win rate. And you scale at the internal liquidity. You follow the rules. I think on two of the trades, to, I think one trade today was I think, and one trade was a break of the rules. So really, following the rules, two losses. But we'll see. It's all you can do. You just trade your own strategy and, you know, go, go forward. It's all we can do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good probably plan there, absent. Uh, no, Tom, there's no trading tomorrow. Yeah, I live stream every day, Ash. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the uh, – Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the London, 4 a.m. Eastern, which actually will be 3 a.m. Eastern to 4 next week because I think London springs forward. And then – Monday through Friday, 9.15 to 4. Most days, some days I don't have my kids, I might end early, or if the price action's crap, then I'll end early. Oh, some back testing session. Yeah, I may do back testing. Maybe tomorrow morning. That might be good. If you guys want to hang out tomorrow, I will. So, what's the official name of the strategy? It's an inversion strategy. Super Todd. I have a video on my channel if you want to watch it. It's just kind of a bare bones video. I left a lot of stuff out in it, but it's just kind of a bare bones breakdown of the strategy itself. Kind of the basic setups that I'm looking for. That's all. You know. You just had the diamond hand to pass your eval. Let's go. Oh, you have a great weekend too, Ash. Appreciate you jumping in. Thank you for the subscription. You wish you'd trade your PA. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, once I make a decision, I try to stick to it. And that's one of the things that I've that I've changed about my trading. Um, you know, when I first started early on, I felt like every day had to be a PA trade day. Every day had to be, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, I had to trade all the accounts every day. And what people say about certain days are better than others and things like that. Um, it's just BS and all that good stuff. I've learned along the way that there is certain price action. There's a signature in price that makes more sense than others. And if you can recognize that signature in price early on and, um, make a decision early on to say, you know what, I don't like this and put them away, then that's the best way to do it. And then later in the day, you may say, well, shoot, I could have made money. But at the end of the day, most of the time, it's, you're making the right decision. So, Um, Lubo, uh, the PayPal address that you sent me is not showing valid. Mirgo Bond. Can you, can you check it again? Oh, wait, hold on one second. It might be my fault. Huh? Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's good. I fat fingered it. I fat fingered it.
And the money is sent. There you go. Is there trading on Monday? Yes, sir, but I don't I won't be streaming probably. Tom, uh, because I'll be traveling, so you can see why I took this, right? Why did I take profit here? Because, you know, I know if we get to this gap, we could have some problems. So I decided to just take the take it there. Yeah, I gotta go. On, I'll be on holiday. It's funny that you say that because uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's uh, the little her little adopted daughter. Well, she's her daughter. Whatever. Her name's Emma, and she'll say her. Emma and Jules both will say, uh, used to say holiday. Going on a holiday? Because they watched that Peppa Pig. You know, Peppa Pig kind of would say, we're going on a holiday. That was what they would say all the time. All right, Naz, we're not going to, let's not be arguing in the chat. Remember, we don't, we don't like that. So, now if we close below this, this is no trade. Um, Frank, the trade is to close above, but you would already be out break even. Why? We created a swing. See that swing that we created there? So, once price pulls back and price trades back above that swing, then you break even, stop it. So, I just decided instead of taking the break even stop, I would just trail this up because of how price action has kind of been today. So at this point, this trade would have been a break even trade because you would have broke even stop it here. And then we pushed up. We didn't hit the swing. So you would not have scaled really. And then on that pullback, you would have been stopped out break even. So that was a break even trade. I decided to scale. I was in only in half size and I don't know. I figured it should blast right through here. It, We've been held down by this all day, so if we're going to disrespect this gap at this point, it's going to be a fast move. And we didn't get that. Hey, let's go. Different gamer in the house. Welcome to the Methodical Crew. Thank you for your subscription. You the man. Fight night is a no-go. Oh, thanks, uh, Tom. So when we inverse that box, we can delete it. Yes, you don't need to keep it on there. Now, if you're in the trade still, this is still an important level, right? Because, like, this should turn into support. This should kind of turn into support if we don't close below. So it should kind of turn into support. I think the last couple of days, guys, we've been getting a big move at, like, 345. So let's see what happens here in about the next 10 minutes. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. We're winding down on our 12-hour stream. We are currently in the stream 11 hours and 46 minutes. I did start the stream a little bit earlier this time because last time it said 11 hours and 55 minutes, and I was like, what is this? So we will definitely be hitting the 12 hours today. Yeah, I don't, I don't pull hammer. I don't usually ban anybody. I got some mods in the chat, and if they get – if they get annoyed with you too much, then they can uh, they can they can pull out the old band hammer. I don't usually do it though, but Alito's not wrong. Nascout God knows he knows he knows he likes to stir the pot, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it, but we don't need to be picking a fight. We're not two year olds. Yeah, it's a long stream. We're we're in it, guys. Eleven hours and. 46 minutes. See right there, live. 11 hours and 47 minutes. Let's go. I appreciate you guys watching me. You can't ban anyone. You're too weak. <laughs> Tom, are you in the bed? 
I know Nutty was talking about doing a 24 hour stream, and I was like thinking to myself, are you crazy? First, you should try a 12 hour stream and then consider a, 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 a 24 hour. So, if you guys, if Nutty's watching, try the 12 hour first. <laughs> Give that a go. See what you think. 24 hour, there would have to be like a lot of, uh, a lot of um, breaks. So you're just eating dinner. Uh, what, let me guess. A uh, sausage sandwich, Tom Sabo? A sausage sandwich. Uh, Black Beauty, we did it. We're almost there. 12 more minutes. It was almost the sausage scent. What was it? Uh, what was that you said earlier? What was that? Salami. You said salami, right? Salami sandwich. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 12 hours is already long. 24 would be a little, a little excessive, if you will. Yeah, I'm going to do the 12 hour stream like once a month. All right, let me check out what Tom sent. Are these, um, what are those called? Um, uh, tomahawks? Are these tomahawk steaks? All right, well, that's not looking good for the long duck dongs. It's just duck. Oh, dude, long duck dong. He's eating the duck, guys. Five eighteen. It could. Max Payne didn't quite get up there. Yeah, I don't mind anybody like talking about my trade. I really don't. I just don't want you guys to argue with each other. I don't care if somebody says something about my trade. So, Janelle started with 2K, but you're down to 950. Hey, 950 is 950, though, Janelle. Don't beat yourself up. That's good. Duck life. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, Janelle. Tom's going long duck dong for dinner. <laughs> oh, goodness. You work graveyard, your work starts at 12 a.m. to 9, and you trade in between. Just woke up to trade the power hour. Let's go, Jay. Hopefully, you're making some money. Hopefully, you're making some money. Um, I don't know if I want to press the button anymore here. I mean, I don't hate this trade. There's a nice little 30-second setup here, right? It's 30 seconds. Yeah, the 30 seconds cleaner. Not much, but it, eh, not really. You have to take both gaps into consideration there. But I don't like this. I don't like when it inverses back below and then try to inverse back above. That's kind of your sign, right? I'm going to take this 15 minute off here because we know it. Everybody knows it's there. Clean the chart up a little bit. Do, 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 do. The funded trader has been closed. I heard that. I heard that. Nice job, nice job, Absent. I got out. We both won, Absent. I hit, I hit, I took some profit, and you took some profit. That's what I said. Let's go. Um, Tom, I don't think so. Probably in that, in over there, in the, in the, what is that? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Not the futures. No, no, no. I know that. Absent. <laughs> Skilled funder trader is down too. Lazy, you got a 300K on accounts with that. That sucks, Lazy. I hate to hear that. Oh, 4X, I guess is what it is. 4X, right? 
The Forex space is kind of in trouble here, but they're not. I don't know. I've never traded Forex, so I don't know. I have a friend who does, but I hear they're like an unregulated, very easily manipulated space. And you guys can tell me if that's wrong or not, but that's what I kind of, that's my take on it. Thank you, Clarence. Thank you, Clarence. I do it for you guys. I do it for you guys. I do it for the likes. I do it for the subs. Let's go, lazy trader. You the man. You the man. Forex Prox Space is having a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no hate for anybody. I think that's everybody. So, yes, Alito, I am going to go to sleep. Actually, the kids have soccer and baseball games tonight. I'm assuming they start at 6. So, I'm going to have about a two-hour window to lay down and take a nap. So, and you know, it'll be hard to go to sleep. Like I'm tired right now, but it'll be hard to go to sleep. So let's see what happens at 345 yesterday and the day before. That's kind of the move started. We had pretty big moves during that time. I mean, let's look at this kind of structure here and let's think about where we could end up. I mean, I'm thinking the highs. I'm thinking the highs. I think we either end up at the highs or we end up right here. We go nowhere. We either end up at the highs or we end up in the Tom Sabo box. We end up in this Tom Sabo box. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, Sam Bankman only got 25 years. It seems, seems a little light. Does all future prop firms have to be regulated? Yes, Tom, they do. Uh, no, I don't fall asleep on camera. I don't think, I, like, I'm one of those people, Alito, like, I cannot fall asleep. Like, if I'm driving, I ain't going to sleep. I can't fall asleep. So, you know. Yeah, soccer, it is at the same park, yeah. So you got two kids in soccer, one in baseball. So you got the first baseball game and then the soccer the Ratbot's doing good, but he, it uh, it didn't take the trade today. It should have been in the trade. I think it would have been a loser anyway, but he needs to send me an updated version because it, it uh, it's outdated. I guess it, my subscription ended, so he's got to get send me one that doesn't have a subscription. So I don't know how well it would have did this week. But I'm probably just going to give it a funded account and just let it go with one to two micros because I don't want to pay a monthly fee on it. So I think that just giving it a one to two micro account would make sense. Uh, baseball is just practice. Oh, okay. So never mind. Baseball is just practice. But soccer are games. Murderbot is at 